must be. But when he learned to do that. Cat's an angel in a box beneath my bed. Little beast that broke her jaw. Then I tried to fix her head. They said I had to put her back. That I had to put her back exactly where I found her. But I know I saw that she was doing good until the cat got her. And I came to write a letter, but my pen was full of hymns. I came to drown a sorrow. It seems they've learned to swim. Mouth full of pins and heart pumping gasoline. It's late, I'm still at the sewing machine, stitching up strays for 15 years. But this one's me. Well, I fixed you up when they said you were past repair. And I stitched you up, I thread a needle with my hair. And I fixed you up when you were still a common sparrow. But look who's on the shoulder now when the road goes narrow. Uh. I kept an angel in a box beneath my bed. Little bitch who broke her jaw. And I tried to fix her head. They said I had to put her back. That I had to put her back exactly where I found her But I know I saw that she was doing good Until the cat got her Well, I'm putting you out of my misery We ain't got much, but we got history It was a mercy kill, no It was a suicide, no It was an accident, no Well, at least I tried Well, at least I tried With soft drugs and a sink ripper Self-love and a tight measure Stitching up boys is different that way You fix a bird, you buy a cage You fix a man and uh, You fix a man and, and he flies away When I ran out of thread uh, I couldn't let go But that's not sewing, that's 
that's just poking holes And it's a strange breed, a different kind of creature Looks for love through the eye of a needle But the creed of the seamstress is That you're pretty in peace I kept an angel in a box beneath my bed Little beast that broke her jaw And I tried to fix her head They said I had to put her back That I had to put her back Exactly what found her But I know I saw She was doing good until the cat got her Take a seat and let me get a look at your face Busted, back, been broke for days, not much Little soft for the pain, don't bust Or I'll never get a scene to lay straight And I keep it clean as I can with just Just the machine and a mattress plus I never did need for a pad and just Some good restraints in my bedside manner What's up, everybody? Oh, I love that song. Love that song very, very much. How we all doing? How's life? Oh. Someone running up on me here? Ugh. Hang on here. Oh, my shit broke again. <laughs> the moment that I started streaming, for whatever reason, all of my stream deck shit just bugged out. Anyway, I fucking love that song. B sound of the week? I haven't. No, I just realized that B does that the other day when I was on a stream, Silver, and I fucking love that. We might start doing that. I gotta figure out how to do split audio, though. But I can play that one and not get DCMA struck, so. <laughs> I love that song. Listen, any of you guys who, uh, I don't know if you, you get sappy and weird on like unto the characters like me, but I love, I love some character specific music. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That one's a very, Des is amazing. She's an indie rapper who I've listened to for years and I love her to death. Um, but that one's amazing. Go look up the lyrics. It's a very, very schlony baloney song. Anyway, hi everyone. Kojo splits his audio. I will not ask Kojo for help on how to do anything ever for any reason. Because the only thing that I will get from that is mocked. Okay? Not happening. <laughs> not happening. <laughs> anyway. Potato. Potato. Thank you for the three months, sweetheart. Ali with the five bomb. Thank you so much. Tiroski, four months. Love you too, sweetheart. Uh, Empress of Blurbs. <laughs> I love that name. Thank you for the gifted to fate. Thank you so much, guys. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Who was in my chat already saying it's going to be a quiet one? I don't think it's going to be quiet. If you say that, yeah. Versa has made Slim Shady Carlos. Okay, I'm disowning him. I'm going to take him back up to the fucking snow and I'm going to shoot him in the head. Um. <laughs> I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with that. I can't deal with that. Cody, Cody, baby. Mwah. Cody. Thank you so much for the gifted. Your name's Espresso? I can vibe with that. I can vibe with that a little bit. Um, let's go check our telegrams. Well, well, that's not what I want to do. What's, uh, what's the over under on Sloan getting arrested today? Pretty high, it seems like. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, wait, we should actually, we'll do, you know what, we'll do this first. Can I have a bath? No? No? No bath? Bath illegal? No bath? Oh, there we go. Bald? Why would she go bald? <laughs> Why would that happen? Oops, did I forget? Did I? Okay, whatever, I bathed. That's fine. 
Depends on how sneaky I want to be. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's... We're gonna re-up the smell. Oh, only four. Oh, shit. I did it for the wrong time. I'm a moron. I'm a fool. A goon. How did this happen? We'll do it for one day. Wig confirmed. Sloan wears a wig. We all knew it. Uh, brrr, uh, we'll get rid of that one. She doesn't feel like she's dying anymore. We are gonna up that one, though. Trem tremors, 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 tremors. N n is that... Is that how you spell tremors? We'll go with that one. <laughs> we'll go with that one. I don't know. Spelled correctly? Thank you. Sprout, you're the only one I'd... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming to my stream to be my spell check. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's for the morphine. Opiate withdrawal does that, so anytime she's like not on it super heavy, she'll she'll have that effect. Ironic, you can't spell either. Nice, very nice. Well someone's gotta help me. I can't stop my stream to Google my shit all the time. Do I need food? Ugh. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta buy some food. I could go hunt for some food, I guess. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. We're just sorting our many correspondences, chat. How we all doing, by the way? Ugh, ow, sorry. Getting my leg. Y'all ever try and fucking get your goddamn leg up from underneath you? So I'm gonna wait in Strawberry. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna send him a telegram because I'm gonna go hunting for a little bit and see if I can find some shit, but, um... Oh, 
my god, this telegram from Nate is killing me. Uh, I'm taking the uh, recruits out on uh, just a Cumberland Forest Patrol, or are you uh, wanting to go? Uh, is Josie going? I don't Lawrence. know where I couldn't find her. Where is she? Okay, I I don't know where she I'll is. Go. I, guess I couldn't say I couldn't find her because first place I looked. Okay, okay. I'll go find uh, her. All right. Oh, I want to check the... Here, hold on. He's not going, so uh, okay. he wants to rest. So I'm sure I'll see you later. All right. Oh yeah. Sounds ha good. Did everyone All try right. Overwatch too? Is that what y'all are playing right now? Because I got tried to. I opened it up and there was like a 300 person queue, and I was like, "Oh seven boys, I'm out." <laughs> I'm so thank you. <laughs> Enjoy your time. Two and a half hours of sleep. Oh my god, go sleep. Go fucking sleep. Oh my god, our hundred thousand telegrams, guys. Uh, what the fuck is Oliver's telegram? Wah, 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 wah. Okay, all right, okay. Jesus, that's all our telegram sorted. Good lord. Good fucking lord. Monkey sex, of course. I'm so sorry. Monkey sex 901. I'm, uh, I just don't like him that much. <laughs> 
I just don't like Oliver that much. Who the fuck is up there? Bitch. Cowboy up. Need to get my fucking cowboy shit on. Yeehaw. Howdy deedy. This is, can you change? You can change here, right? Yeah. Huh. Easy. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one. Who missed Beanie Sloan? <laughs> who, who, who wanted the return of Beanie Sloan? <laughs> I like her in a beanie man, I'm not gonna lie. Probably because it's monkey sex? Yeah. I probably don't remember it because I hate that it's monkey sex. You missed it? I like- Um, um, guys, I like this outfit. I know everybody clowns her for like the billion belts and everything else. I like this fucking outfit, man. To me. So, hopefully, I don't get. I'm. Um, I might try and go to Blackwater. I don't know. We're gonna hunt a little bit. I need some food. I want to get a little tiny bit of money. Um. <laughs> But I know lot. Oh, Jesus Christ. You had somewhere to be, huh? Yeah, belts are what makes Sloane slow. Exactly. She looks good, man. Did I just write past Cesare? Was that, was that Cesare? I didn't even look. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Nature is scary in Wild RP now. Why? Because none of our guns do anything? Horses, wild horses. Rabbits. I have this Irish lullaby stuck in my head. Hello, pretty. I love having the bolt. I love getting fucking three stars on the goddamn bolt action. Ugh. Thank you. I was playing RDO all this morning. <laughs> I had a I had a hankering. I was playing all the R R RDO. RDO. I was playing RDO. Let's see if we can find a couple little. Get a little thick in it. Rabbits or something. Go with this. Ooh, or some pigs. No, the pigs only give you game meat, don't you? I don't want that. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. Dude, literally, I don't know if any of you guys play on, like, RP servers or anything. Just get on RDO, take the fucking crosshair off, and just uh, drill. Just PvP, just do shit all the time. Also, uh, <laughs> I cannot tell a lie, 
When I started, I love Sloane's hat. It's an old one that I used to wear all the time. But I started wearing it in uh, on another server because the, the big hat helps you aim so much better. Because when... Because look, okay, because this... Actually, I'm pretty close to town. I probably shouldn't shoot. When you're aiming, it's right... I, I'm pointing at my monitor right now, like you can see. I can't... It's directly between the tip of the head and the shoulder. If you draw out to where they intersect, that's that's where you're aiming pretty much every time. So if you can generally find that space, then yeah, you're fine. Oh, it is them. How do you? Want this coming around? Go have to get ready for it. Yeah, nice day. Nice Thank day. you. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that they all slept here too. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I thought he was still up playing Overwatch. Does the deer, is it doing that thing where it fucking sits up? Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. Because literally anything you have on your horse does that when you ride past. I fucking hate it, dude. Where's the fuck enemy? No, that wasn't Sissy. that wasn't Sissy's horse either. That was the that was the iron gray uh Breton. Sissy has the the red one. I don't think it was Sissy at least. Oh my god, I got the hiccups, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go, we'll do a little bit more hunting. A little bit more, how much is We need some food. Some food. Oh, we got a little bit of money on us. That's not terrible, actually. Shit busted. Is my fucking stream deck just busted again? Hang on, guys. Hang on, hang on. Something, something is annoying the fuck out of me. If my music cues are going to be fucking up all night, I'm going to be very angry. What is Sloane's impression of Maeve? Um, she thinks she's a little naive. She thinks she's sweet. She's a little naive. She's definitely loyal, which is nice. But, but clearly just not the the smartest. Although she, she seems clever, it's just like... Sloane is she like she appreciates that she was there for Carlo and she was helping him with everything but at the same time it's very clear that Maeve was helping him with like no context of the situation and she didn't seem to demand or want any context from him yeah exactly a little green to that way of life that's that's a good way of putting it 
Um, cause it's, it wasn't that she was, <laughs> you know, terribly fucking, uh, just like, oh my god, I'm in love with him and everything and I'm gonna, like, she just didn't, she didn't understand what was going on and it was just very clear she hadn't pushed that understanding out of Carlo. Cause Sloane, you know, Sloane goes solo and she helps people like that too, but she, um, oops. But she'll demand context. Sloane wants to know what the fuck she's getting into. <laughs> Which makes her naive and gullible and a weakness. CM with the blistering hot takes, as always. Want another little dare? I want another little dare. Little dare? Yeah, my daddy, little dare. If she had any context, the family would have hurt her and wouldn't look good for Carlo. No, it's agreed. 100% agreed. Oh, oops. I missed! Ooh, I want that buck. That's a pretty fucking buck. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. Yeah, like, you're not wrong, because any context at all, the family probably would have gone after. But it was one of those situations where it was like, yeah, we're glad you were there, we're glad you helped, you helped him, we're glad you saved his life and everything. Um, more context would have killed you. Uh, but, um... <laughs> it's pretty, I want to kill it. <laughs> it's the most Sloan thing ever. I don't know about that one. No, I, got, I just got a bolt. I fucking... the... <sighs> the bolt and... or not the bolt. I used the Carcano online, but um... <laughs> I was playing RDO all morning, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, here's the thing. This doesn't make me a good shooter in shootouts or anything. I know the I I do a lot of hunting and shit online. I know where the animals like run and shit. So it's like it, it's you know where they're gonna go. It's easy. You just track your shots. It's easy. It's easy. I promise. No hacks. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Know what these are? What kind of what kind of birds is these? That's oh, a quail. Lovely. It's an emu. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's an emu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously, obviously. <laughs> you rid of the poses though. Don't even joke about that, guys. You can't joke about that because you'll get me in trouble. Listen, the problem is, you guys have seen it, the moment I get into a fucking gunfight anyway, the fucking desync. How many deer could a fear deer fear if a fear deer could fear deer? I don't know, like five, maybe? <laughs> like, oh, five. Oh, I love, I absolutely love. I wish there was, and there's nothing in the base game, so they'd have to like create the asset completely separate. But I wish there was anybody who knows about horses, you can get like um, these big saddle, like huge saddlebags, and you can get shit that goes across the back where the deer is right now. Like you can get these big, like really cool kind of like camping saddlebag apparatus things to horses. They're they're very old. They've used them forever. But I really wish that there was something for that. 
in game. And I wish it gave you like a ton more storage on your horse or something like that. Oh my God, it'd be great. Yeah, pack horse stool, pack horse stool. Yes, style. Stool, style, I'm illiterate. I just said that like I knew what the fuck you were saying. Cause I forget. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how to speak English. Oh my god. Oh, you're eating crab? I'm a little bit jealous. Tiny bit. Ollie's officially an old man? Yeah, we knew that though. That's not news. Seafood boil? I have never had a seafood boil. I am eating sushi, though. It has fake crab, so life is good. Hot pot, oh, I love hot pots, Korean barbecue. Oh my God. I would kill for some Korean barbecue. Wish there was actual canes in game. Same. I could see Ollie beating the shit out of someone with a cane. Yeah, probably. That definitely sounds like him. Oh, some gyoza? Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. No, I got a, I got a whole fucking thing of um, sushi. I, I got a big party tray and I ate half of it, but. Hello, Tony. Yes. You been drinking blood? No, I was out hunting. Hunting game, huh? Mm hmm. <laughs> you got some of that on you right there. Got a little something. Got a little something right there. Did I? Just, just a little something on me? Did I? A little sun right there. Oh, that's a that's a shame. Just out of bath and everything. Wild. Unfortunate. It's real unfortunate. Uh huh. Really. Mm -hmm. We head back to the city or what? Yeah, uh, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Did Oliver wake up? Jesus Christ! You clean yourself. Look at you. I was Blind hunting. Oh my God. You're it's hunting. like you fucking know you what you were massacring. That's a fucking massacre. Look at it. Yeah, I'm quite good at it. We should Oliver really get down up. Where, where did nah. he? Where did he sleep? Where did Oliver sleep? He upstairs in the fucking welcome center there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, we'll see now. <laughs> Holy shit! You sell for eight dollars. You sell for eight dollars. Holy shit! They do sell for eight dollars. They are good. Sure, he's, I gotta he's gonna get arrested for animal cruelty. That's about to be what happens. Oh my God! What the fuck? No remorse. How am I, how am I getting yelled at? <laughs> Holy shit! A Clementine? No, I think that's a fucking deputy. She didn't see the cat. I hope not. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my fucking god, Santino. 
menace. He's a menace to society. He is a genuine fucking menace to society. Okay, I need Gnoil. Six of these, save it, play. Why is gun oil so expensive? <laughs> uh, so expensive. No, we can't take Sunny literally fucking anywhere. I need water. I need water. <laughs> this is it. This is the family experience. Sloane is covered in blood. Sonny's kicking cats to death. It's, it's great. It's beautiful. This is what it's all about, guys. Oh, I have water. I have water. I'm just an idiot. Lol. It's funny how many people don't know about that gun store. Is that like a not well-known place? I mean, I guess it kind of... It took me a minute to figure it out. It was there, but... Ugh. Is there really a cook in Strawberry? I don't even know if there is anywhere to cook. How you doing, sweetheart? You all right? Yeah, there's like nowhere to cook in here, I don't think. Who's getting married? What? Hiya, Tony. Great. Thank you. Hey, I think we should be staying away from the building that says jail on top of it. And you know. Oh. This town brings back some memories. Is that you remember up that road? You know what happened up there? Yeah, Robbie Gold. Oh, uh, well, yeah, Robbie Gold won, but I'm talking about the road behind us. Up there towards oh. the mountain. Oh, you were talking about that road. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sent some flowers over to some deputies. They loved it. Yep. Hey, that was, was that you looking back for back a best days. deal, Dick, not long ago? Best what? No, not you, him. The one in the sweater. Oh, me? Oh, my God. Oh, you don't even know his name. I do. What's my name? Just Tony? Yeah, that's right. Oh there my you God, go. That's God. pretty good. Do you need a best deal deck still? Because I've got one for you. I've been holding on this entire time. Uh, no, I'm I'm all set on a best deal deck. Are I've, you uh, fucking for real? You said you needed one. I took all oh, oh, I took me. Two I did. Days. That was a long time I ago. I've like already acquired one in their time. I held on to it. I told everybody I had it for you. Clementine, you you're yeah. very late. You you're like two months late on that. Yeah, but I. I've been trying to look for you for two months. You've seen you me, ask, they... I came by the house, like, so much looking for you. I've been busy. Wait, I do remember you did come by once. I was, yeah, I, I remember that. I once? I came by a lot! Yeah, it was. A lot! Oh. So I've just been holding on to a best deal dick. Anybody want to buy any dick cards? Are you yeah. saying dick or deck? Well, you got what makes me more money? Uh, I did have. Get the fuck out of here. No, I did. I found it. I sold it for $7,000. Oh, Cheap. You got that much money. Well, not more. I spent it all. And what? This. <laughs> this. You spent the $7,000 nice. on that? No, not just that. I've got other commitments. 
Oh man, this new something with the new salty chat. If there's people standing in between you, it makes them sound muffled. I hate it, man. I think most of that money went towards your fines. Actually, no. I have I had somebody hold on to my money for the most part. I ain't that. Yeah, it's it's there's because yeah. Cesari has people Smart. in between him and me, so it sounds muffled. Oh, really? Smart person. But not all the time. I don't know. It's the weird. Person decides to betray you. She's See? Got all, they've, oh, they've got all that money. No, oh, they've never money. betrayed me. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Until very recently. It's just a bug. Like, my they're just aunt, working it out, obviously. But put my tea cozy. <gasps> now I ain't getting it back no more. Sometimes you never know. You know, your brother. Why does your pot of tea need to be cozy, though? Because. All right, family tradition. What kind of tradition is that? That's weird. Start a new one. Start your own one. Yeah, that's a great fucking idea, Clementine. Huh? Oh, thank you. Why don't you, why don't you go get a family and then you start telling me how to fucking handle the family? Huh? That's just fucking rude. And then you you go fuck yourself, huh? You huh? go fuck yourself. I'm gonna fuck. kidnap what you, you say one to day me? and I'm gonna rip your beard off. You better, you better get get going, Clementine. I'll beat your or ass. What, or what? You're not gonna beat my ass, stupid old man. Get him! Get him! Oh, get him! Fucking ass, Clementine! Get him! Get him! Deserved. This is what happens outside of somebody. Too, pretty much all the time, man. I think I've seen her start a fight with someone in every single city in the crossing. She used to fight me all the time. I think I've beat her ass like three times at the house. Yeah, I'm so glad I don't fight. You guys done? Nice hat. Motherfucker! <laughs> what did you come into? Family shit. That's... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nothing no. Nothing no. Do you miss? Oh, he got the drop on me. Uh huh. He got the drop on me. It doesn't count at all. Me all the time. I'm not mean to you all the time. I was being nice. You are. No, you, you've been mean to me for a while, Cesaro. Was that so? Yeah. How? Huh? How? Every time I came by the house asking for food, y'all stopped giving me food. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? We're fucking charity over there? How, speaking of food, is there any way to cook shit in this fucking town? I got pockets full of raw meat right now. You got it. You got to make a campfire on the outskirts of town. Oh, fuck me. I hate it here. Kind of barbaric. <laughs> what is this? Absolutely hate it here. Inexcusable. What do we got? We need it. Sugar. Wasn't there like fucking hay or something? Didn't they add hay somewhere? Uh, like, am I an idiot? Can I just not find it? I thought they added a hay item. I think I'm just genuinely a moron and I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know. <laughs> Love DC out of the city. We're idiots. See, this is where you buy the lockpicks. I don't know why people don't know how to buy a lockpick here. I'm looking at Kojo and how long he struggled to find a fucking lockpick on Asher. Idiots. <laughs> oh my god. Love him, guys. Love him. Love him. But I gotta keep him humble. That's what I'm here for. They did add it. I know they did. But I don't know where the fuck it is. Give me my fucking money. No. Watch him say the same thing when he finds Put the hay first. A fucking grand. No, you won't catch me. I'm too fast. Uh, watch me. I'm too fast. Let's get out of here. 
No, fuck here go. you go. No, take your ten dollars. I need to craft it. What am I, a farmer? I you were going there with that fifty, but hey, you know, it's fine. I'll take that ten dollars. gonna be, it's gonna be fifty cents. Oh my god, look at all my various. Oh, gonna, okay. <laughs> Ooh. I don't, I don't. Like I'm not no fucking farmer. I'm not crafting fucking hay, my dude. No, no, you go fuck yourself, Clementine. No, no, fuck you. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Fuck you, huh? Fuck you. Good lord. Hey, we got to relax. I hope you run out of water. You dehydrate out in the middle of a fucking desert. Taking the fresh air, okay? Fresh strawberry air. I mean... They're all right, yeah. Howdy. Uh, howdy. Uh, howdy. Don't mind us, we're just looking at pretty women. Oh, but yep. speaking of which, hello. Uh, howdy. Yeah. Hey, Dr. Doctor Sloan? Yeah, it's me. Oh my goodness, hi. This is yeah, right? right? Oh my goodness, what are you doing in Strawberry? Well, you know, shooting things. It's usually where I come to shoot things. Hence why oh. I'm covered in blood, you know. Oh, I, I just figured you were being hot doctor stuff, you know. Elbows deep in bodies or something. Oh, <laughs> you you consider that hot, do you? Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna go back to, to the a doctor <laughs> now, so I guess I have a thing for doctors. Good lord. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm just gonna step upstairs and have a bath then. But thank you for the compliments, darling. All right. Well, I will I will stand down here and keep watch because the last time uh -huh. I accidentally walked in on someone, James Kelly came in here and took us hostage. Oh yeah, that'll that'll happen. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is Oliver awake yet? Kick the door open. Nope, it's not here. No, Oliver. <laughs> that woman. Well, we should uh, we should probably get out of town pretty quick because that was a that was a medic, and I know I'm wanted right now, and I don't know if the medics ever know who's wanted, they might know that I'm wanted. Yeah, that was Erica. That was Erica. Shout out to Erica. She's streaming right now. <laughs> I love Adelaide. The medics do be snitches. We know that the medics do be snitching. Wait, so I just want to see. Yeah, so that's it. So if you have a bath, it cleans up all of your fucking conditions. So like the gunpowder, everything else like that. That's cool. That's cool. I do like that. And this one, we fired this one a couple times. I wonder if it compounds. I wonder if, like, you f if you fire a gun a ton, it gets hotter, and then it stays hotter for longer. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I fire two shots on this gun, it's going to be warm for a little while. If I fire 25 fucking shots. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I hope that's the case, because I think that's that, that would be pretty cool. We gotta customize this bolt, too. I don't know what I want to do with it, but... Like, that's... Man, it's one of those tricky little, like, um... I got changed as well. It's one of those tricky things, because it's like... In real life, obviously, like, of course that's how it fucking works. Um... We have black. What do we want to go with? Doctor? I'm going to go with doctor today? What are we feeling? What are the vibes today, kids? I've seen it get scalding. Oh, so it's okay. So that that's a tricky. I don't feel like and this is the thing. I don't feel like that's meta because it's one of those things where it's like, that's how it would realistically work. So I don't under. Like if it doesn't work like that, you know what I mean? What's Sloane's default? That's her default. <laughs> That's the default is she has different boots, which I kind of like. I almost kind of want to wear those boots again. 
What's the vote? City? Are we going city? I don't know if I like city anymore. <laughs> I have mixed feelings. We might go with doctor. I do kind of like doctor. City, doctor, spook. Spook's a classic, though. That's like default Sloan. That's default Sloan. You know what I like about city? Yeah, I don't know. City's just... I'll come back to it. I think it's been a minute since I fucking wore it, so... The black version of Doctor now. We might go with Doctor. Actually, maybe we'll just keep on stealth right now. I mean, we're at... We're still in Strawberry. We're bumming around out here, so... I might keep that until we go home. Are you standing guard at the door? Good lord, my darling. <laughs> well, you know, I gotta protect my favorite customers, that's all, you know. F am I your favorite customer? A preferred customer, yep. Uh, I've taken care of this lodge now, so uh, you can stop by any time and a free stew on me. Uh, are you taking care of this lodge as of five minutes ago? No, I've been taking care of for like a week now. Oh, genuinely. Yeah, That's no, on no. you then. I have open, uh, I have performances on Thursdays. People come in and perform things and, uh, oh, if shit. You, if people ever, you know, get brought in by locals and they've lost all their stuff, the pantry is full of basic equipment and supplies that people can have when, if they have no money. Shit, look at you building the community out Is it nice over by Strawberry? Because I'll be uh, honest, I, I never come out this way. There's some nice people here, but I also bartend at, out in Armadillo, and that's a fucking nightmare. Uh, yeah, I would not do that. You are... Well, my on opening night of that saloon, I got my <laughs> head bashed in with a hammer by Jack, so that's fun. Yeah, I know you sent me some telegrams. My life has been a fucking bag of cats lately. Oh, that's, that's okay. We all have our stuff. Uh, oh, you wanted me to tell you if Jack ever wants anything from me, and I, I, I guess he does have a set of demands. What would those demands be? Mostly just uh, if I'm in Armadillo working and we see anything about the law or any suspicious people to send him or any of his gang, I got all their telegrams and stuff. Oh, sadly, I also have all their telegrams. Well, they, oh. uh, they, they sure are having a lot of fun over at that Fort Mercer, that's for sure. So that's where they are all the time now? Yep. Interesting. Is anyone else crawling around the West consistently? I know Kettleman and his, everyone oh who is... Gosh, uh... Yeah, it's, uh... I feel like my life is in danger every time I work a shift there. Um... Oh, joy. Uh... There's this group, some people call them Sam's Club, other people call them the Unhung Bastards, which uh, sounds mm -hmm. like they really didn't think that title through. Uh, you know, I don't think <laughs> not being hung is something to be proud of, but, uh, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I, what would I know? I'm just a lady, and I apparently am gay, so... Uh, yeah, not known for their brain power, though, so don't worry, though. Um, they tried to marry me to a Sambas the other day. Jabas tried to marry me to... They some... tried to marry you to Sambas? Yep. Hello, darling. Uh, oh, hi there. Um... You get married to Sambas? I, no, I'm no. Engaged, yes. But, but uh, someone tried to marry me to Sam Bass uh, out west, and the, the Boone Boys are out there too. And uh, I'm supposed to give warnings to all these people of the law come out there. Any suspicious people? Are either of you suspicious people w going out west? I am the most suspicious person, darling. Well, suspicious, yes. Out west, no. Perfect. Then I don't have to, uh, you know, say anything. You would no? give me up to Jack Kettleman? Good lord. No, no, um, I think if, I'm playing nice with Jack to avoid getting a hammer in the head again from work when I work out west, but uh, mm -hmm. that's why I'm trying to make this place nice is to make it like, hopefully I can quit out there and just be here then. Yeah, good to know. I actually quite like strawberry, so you might see me around a little bit more. We'll see. Oh, are, are you okay, sir? Yeah, no, just a hammer in the head it reminded me. That's all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack got me pretty good. And then I, I spent three days thinking I was someone else who I got tortured because people thought I was this other person. I, uh, I life is funny, huh? 
yeah, who would have thought when I came to the crossing I'd have murdered two people and been to Sisica for almost 400 days? Uh, life's been wonderful. All because I was looking for a husband. Oh, Love is bad never. for business. <laughs> He's a cowboy. You're wearing a fox around your neck. Yeehaw, motherfucker. We're ready to go. Yeah, yeah it should be. Yeah. All right, well, I'm yellow. Nice catching up. Yeah, appreciate it. You stay yeah. safe here. Who would have figured that after a coma, you'd oversleep? Weird how that fucking happens. Are you... are you riding, young man? I probably shouldn't. No, you probably shouldn't. Come on. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah. mm. Here and there. It's alright. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, I figured. Morning. Good morning. Where's, uh, Sissy? Sissy? Did we let, uh... Good morning. No, she's, oh, she's uh, in the conversation. Everybody runs everywhere. I don't. No, you take life at a leisurely pace. I do, I know. Oh, okay. Bye, Sissy. like that huh they didn't like being out in the wilderness i was hunting all the morning i had a very good time why is everybody so quiet today i don't know They all seem annoyed. And we're fine earlier. I don't know. They must want to put me back in the coma. Yes, clearly, Oliver. Everything is about you all the time. Should be. The entirety of people's moods shift on your appearance. Bro. Bro. You joke, but true. <laughs> I do joke, but also true, yes. Tony. Yeah. Not a set about it, I'm just surprised. <clears throat> no, I agree. Hi, Tony. I am doing just fine, Tony. How are you? I'm doing quite dangerous, <laughs> my friend. That is good. The weather is uh, terrible today. One might say yes. 
At least it's not snowing yet. Well, when it snows, it would be quite spectacular. Would it not? I mean, it's... It's good looking, but... I feel like the, the all the snow falling down on the ground kicks even more dust up. It's just, it's just headaches. Back and, back and right. Back forward. Back and right. Wow. Back, back, back and to the left. What an outstanding idiot just, you've come up I with. I just woke up. I just woke up. Uh huh. It's fine. I am not looking forward to winter this year. You don't love winter this time of the year? Every time it's winter, we get busted and we go to prison for a long time. So what? It's, always, the last it's two true. Years, it is true, actually. For really long sentences. It's true. I'm it's true. going on vacation to Tahiti over Christmas. Goodbye. Guama. No, we're not going to Guama. Guama. I didn't say Guama. We're not going to Guama. I want to avoid Guama at all. Well, first of all, we couldn't all go to Guama. Second of all, fuck Guama. Whoa, 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 whoa. You watch it, watch it, watch it. Fuck Guama. Fuck it. Fuck Guama like a $2 hua. Don't, don't go there. I won't. I won't go there. Don't go there. I'm, I'm, I, this is what this entire conversation is about. I don't want to go there. Yeah, I think we're not going there. Well, what? what, 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 what As you weather ever told you, huh? That you know, if you got nothing nice to say, don't say it. Careful, Tony. I'm just saying. I'm talking like Wama again. Listen, just because there's a thousand girls over there you met, Tony, it doesn't mean it's a nice island. Listen, I made... It's very... Look, I'm not You can talk about it with Pearly, I'm sure he'd understand. He'd ask you if you've been to Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> bring up Tony's experience in Brazil. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> that. That is a personal story that I share with a lot of people, okay? Uh huh. Uh, been to Brazil, motherfucker? I've been to South America. Look, I, I've been all over the globe, my friend. I've been to a lot of places, alright? Got illegitimate bastards all over the globe. How many, many bastards? Chased. How many? What? How many kids you had? I mean, they wouldn't be considered bastards because I, I've never been married in my life, so... Nah, it would kill I don't think it really depends on that, whether you're married or not. It's just that you're abandoned with your body. You're an absentee father. See, that, that's a better word. I'm a bastard, I guess. <laughs> Me too. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And there he goes. <laughs> oh, he's taking it out of that guy. He's just trying to take a piss. Good lord. Never ends. There it goes. <laughs> the way he just... <laughs> Shouting at him. I feel like there's some misplaced anger in this family. I wouldn't call it misplaced. No, I, I mean, there's genuine anger in the right directions, but I think everyone also has some very misplaced anger pretty regularly. Nah. Santino, don't turn and look at me when I'm talking about what, misplaced what, anger. Talking about? I, don't know. I don't know what she's talking about. What, she's talk what is she talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I definitely I didn't. What? Hmm? I I can't take a word she says seriously when she's got that fucking thumb cap on her head. I love. Okay. You look like a thimble. Okay, I hate you. You look I like, like you're trying to you protect your thumb from sewing. Thanks. Good what? lord. Does that guy owe you money? Or... <laughs> oh, he just got in the way, you know? Oh. Well, he owes you money now. <laughs> We're giving twenty dollars, paying for his funeral. It's an expensive funeral. You know, pine isn't cheap these days. Who's he pining after? Oh, 
I'm gonna put you back in a coma. You can't keep threatening that. I can. A fuck kind of a hat was that? Somebody just getting ideas for a new outfit. I'm judging people's hats today. Yeah, apparently. See that guy's head? Yeah, it was fucking. Motherfucker was wearing a snowman on his head. It truly is Christmas in October. Don't, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What? I don't, don't want to heat it. What? I don't want to heat it. Yeah, we're all going to miss Sunny oh, when he's gone for a Christmas couple weeks. Tree, I, oh, Christmas tree. We'll throw you off this horse. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm Jewish. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't say it like that, but yeah. <laughs> what do you mean how? My grandfather was Jewish. Was he from Mexico or Italy? Italy. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. I'm like a microcosm of serious issues. No, I mean, I'm not like Jewish. It's just I was raised Jewish. That's all. Oh, Cesario's trying to kill all of us at once. That's fun. Sorry, I don't really, I don't really like follow any sort of thing. Uh oh. Where is he going? You chasing a turkey? And you're missing. Turkey or the money. <laughs> it's and I really like this new bolt action, okay? I can't help it. Yeah, everybody in it's all the rage now. Yeah, well, you know. Move with the times and whatnot. Sonny <laughs> sounded so incredulous. You're a Mexican Italian Jew? <laughs> it's a hell of a combination, I'm just saying. Yeah, mm. yeah but a lot of spice in there. Yeah. So much you choked on it. It's too much. Yeah. Yeah. Good talk. not looking at the roads no you weren't nope almost dropped my cane why did she go this way i don't know blame says i why yeah. did she go this she, way she literally she literally was actually I like how frequently the trains are running lately. It's very nice. I was thinking we should uh, maybe rent one of those coaches, one of the big ones, the nice ones. Are we having a party? Good. Life's a party. It'd be something. Excuse me. Excuse. Oh, excuse you. Right, my bad. Yeah, excuse you. Yeah. Excuse. Yeah, excuse. 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 Excuse you. My bad. Yeah, you're bad. Excuse you. Excuse you. Sorry. Excuse you. Excuse. Excuse you. Excuse you. Excuse. 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 Excuse.
got like a curve, you know what I mean? Oh, no, oh God. We're not jousting. Joust me. We're not jousting. Get me on the long side of joust me with Tony. I'm away. I, we're not jousting, Tony. Because I'm going to get oh, hit. You didn't even catch me. You tried, old man. Good. I could. Oh. That's a challenge. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Thank God nobody's around to see this. <laughs> Uh, he's on an Arabian. I don't think we're catching that. No, and your fat ass is making a horse slow. Wow, that has never been more factually inaccurate. It's very true. Oh, shit. Hello. You're right, uh, what happened? I don't know what happened. Just saw these, uh... Oh my god, is that Shiro? Interesting. It's me too in disguise. No enforcement. No, no, absolutely not. Yeah, there were many people around here. You seem not resting well. Stress? Yeah. Or call stress. Then I will uh, retreat from here. Somewhere it is. Yeah. I'm trying to make a habit of looking. Smell, right? No, no, no head. Uh, okay. At people's conditions. Farewell, Misota in the lady. Oh, shut the fuck up. Stay safe. It's good. What the fuck are they doing? I, I don't know. Picking tobacco or something. Tony had his gun out. Yeah. Concerning. Right. And since he crashed. You okay? She might be down over there. Yeah, she's down. No, she's down. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Hey, you What's going on? Train? What's going on? No, just seeing somebody was in the tobacco fields, you know, because of the, uh, the car. Just oh. look like an ambush okay. result. We just want to be, uh, look for out there, you know? Right, right, right. Okay. Come on, let's cut through. No idea. Something's going on. Something an feels weird today. Uh, yeah. yeah, something, something, I don't know what's going on today, guys. Maybe everybody's upset because they tried to check out a book from the library that like 40,000 other people were trying to check out. I'm so glad I can't read. Yeah, I heard about that too. <laughs> Maybe that's why everybody's in a mood. <laughs> yeah, everybody's trying to play Overwatch today. <laughs> He's talking about Overwatch. Overwatch 2 launched today. No more Overwatch 1, only Overwatch 2. But I literally, I, I went to try it earlier and there was 300 people in the queue. And I was like, wing, bye bye Jeez. Fuck. Cavalry has arrived. Oh, right. a lot of people. Eh. 
I can't hitch there. Let me hitch my horse. Let me hitch my horse. It's the only thing I want. Strawberry laying low a little bit, you know. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. screw up. Anybody in the office, real quick. Hello. Yeah, overwatch. It's it's that's the funniest thing is it's the exact same game. <laughs> they just for some reason re-released it. Office meeting, office meeting, everybody. I I don't have room to take my. F Fucking bolt action off. Okay. All right, just meet before uh, we, uh, you know, that day started. How's everybody so far? Hopefully in a good mood. Yeah, going all right. About as good as it can be, right? Yeah. yeah. Not a box you've been looking for this entire time. Oh, good. Go ahead. All right. So, shall we break news uh, with them all? Sonny, about yesterday? Yeah. Okay. So, yesterday, uh, we did a little bit of a search party. We searched for Carlo. After uh, Oliver had received the telegram from him or from someone with him, from right? Him. From, from him. him. Well, we wanted to confirm if it was true or not, or if it was somebody baiting us out. So we um, we checked any common spots up in the snow, and uh, we indeed found Carlo. So he is alive, not doing too well, but he is alive. He is sane. And he is recovering. Hmm. That was a What's wild way of retelling that. Yeah. Would anybody like a cigarette or uh, I can light you up? Anybody? I think <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. Actually, I, I think I'm going to need was... a cigarette. Light me up. Just went out. Uh. <laughs> mm. Thank you. When, when it's out of kerosene, do you have to flick it a few times before the light will? Yeah, shut up. Yeah, just shaking it, you know, it's got a little That's matches. There. That's oh, your box of matches. Shit. That's my fucking box. Hey, I found my matches. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah. I will not give you the I won't give you the satisfaction. I will. Anybody else? Yeah, right over here. Sorry. 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 Oh, uh, hey. You know Fuck you. Is there anybody else? <laughs> you really want to? All right, yeah, light my, light my, light my cigarette. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wait, no, wait, try It's not lit. Try again. It's not. That was a failure. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Uh, what, uh, no, almost, almost, almost. <laughs> I, I, think, I think I think you're I think you're running out of kerosene in that thing. Try again. No, make me smack you across yeah. the head, my fucking yeah. bell, huh? Okay. No, no, there it is. There it is. There, there it is. There you go. Beautiful. You go. Wonderful. Wonderful. Suck that down real quick, didn't they? Yeah. What? Uh -huh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, Carlo is indeed alive. We spoke with him. We got his side of the story about what happened exactly with Olivia. We concluded that he was in the right mind and he was acting. Although against our wishes. He was doing it with the mindset of looking out for the family. Apparently, Olivia was on a date. Uh, it seemed like it. With Jabaz. She was playing piano, or she was going to play piano, or whatever, and they were giggling inside a saloon before everything happened. So, yeah, they were having a good time.
He also apparently, uh, I mean, tried to dodge Olivia as she was in front of Jabaz and emptied his uh, six bullets into uh, Jabaz. Uh, may maybe one of them was a stray one and potentially hit her, but he was not looking to harm her at all. He also gave her multiple warnings and, like, she stepped in front of his gun, what, four or five times? He kept on moving. Yeah, against hers, right? Well, it's the only word we have now, right? Well, she gave hers before yeah. she died. She also called him out to Wallace and didn't push it very aggressively, but did try and have a sit down between him and Jabaz there. Of course, I said that. have an episode, which there means was... he was completely lucid going after them. Maybe on the spot, at the very last moment, he it was potentially triggered. Olivia, in her letter to myself, did mention that she take that she took um, full responsibility for um, what was the word she used? Uh, yeah, enabling him, uh, triggering him. He has full memory of the events. He remembers even what happened after he got shot. A psychotic break like that. Previously, he's never had any memories. He blacks out. So, while it may have been a slight compounding of things, no, it wasn't an episode. It wasn't anything too far out of control or anything like that. Carlo was looking out for Olivia. And he was disappointed to see that she was going against our orders. It wasn't his place. And I think we can all agree to that. He was looking out for the family and not going after some personal vendetta for Jabez. He could have mm. settled that personal vendetta when he turned the book in, but he did not. He could have had plenty of opportunities before. Yeah, he had like six people around him that time and only Sissia by his side. True. I feel like it might have been a... Madman things, right? Combination. It, it might have been mostly worrying about the family, but I, I find it hard to believe that his vendetta against your past didn't come into play. His words were, if Sissy was not there, he would have done something. Well, yeah. Well, there you go. His words were, I'm glad Sissy was there because I would have acted if she wasn't. Yeah, that's, that's what he just said. But it's, it's essentially the same as what I said. Regardless of whether or <clears> not this, <throat> there were six people, he would have done something, uh, but he did not. He found self-control. Which is good. Look, I'm not excusing or I'm not saying he is entirely okay. He might still have an episode, and that's something we might need to deal with. The easier way out would have been to put him down. Yesterday, we did not put him down. But we did punish him for going out of his way against the family's, family's will to meet with the enemy. I feel like people think and that Sloane is, like, really pedantic Olivia. about shit. But for my money, and no shade at all, for my money, the exact wording, like, matters. You know what I mean? What Am I crazy for that, guys? What if this turns into war? I might be pedantic. Oh, I may be insane and pedantic. That's part of the punishment that we gave him. If it turns into a war, then it turns into a war. There's nothing we can do now. There is no turning back. Because no shade on it. Like, the way that they said it was like... Was like Wouldn't Carlo phrased it, it like, entirely. Oh, if Sissy wasn't there All to see us. me do it, I would have done something. The way Carlo actually phrased it was... I'm so glad that she was there to mm. ground me so that I didn't do anything. You might uh, want to have a look at this. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Again, no shade. No shade at all. That's Sloane. Sloane's pedantic, man. What's this say? Whoa. Holy shit. You want to share with the rest of the class? No, no, no. Don't tell them. Motherfucker. What? <laughs> what happened? What are you reading? Um, titled 
Sam dead. What? Message what? goes as follows. Just got the confirmation from one of the medics Shit. that was around when Sam Bass got shot by law. Shit. There is no doubt. He was there when they pronounced his death. Only death he is aware of. So the rest is probably still out there. What? What does that mean? Only death he is aware of. From the, the, the rest of the gang. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Only death he is aware <laughs> of. Okay. So Shit, Sandra's dead. Fuck. For about my friends tomorrow. <laughs> Boo hoo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ho, fella, that's war. <laughs> well, that solves that problem. Probably not entirely. Uh, I, 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 yeah, Jabez will still come. Isn't Jabez supposed to be executed? He'll probably wriggle change? his way out of it. They always do. Yeah. Look, at, look at a chain of reactions that just came out of everything Carlo did. I'm not saying it was the right thing to do. All I'm saying is, eh, maybe there was a positive thing at the end of the day. He gunned down Jabaz, which, let's be real, anybody here wanted, would want, would have wanted to do that. Second off, he got sent to prison, probably going to die over there. And third off, left Sam Bass entirely vul vulnerable out here, resulting in his death. That motherfucker couldn't go two, three days without Jabaz, without dying. Yep. Yep. I've been telling you, Jabaz is... Uh... Despite not being the face of the operation, he's definitely the head of the operation. Yeah. Shadow leader. Yeah. I must admit, he was doing a good job at it. Was he? Eh. Hey, he was doing anything. an okay job at it. He was incredibly disrespectful towards the end. I wouldn't call that Gosh. doing a good job. No, not not outside. No, not, not definitely not outside. Inside in Death Shark was probably... Jabez kept, kept Sam Bass under control. Yeah. Right. You want this back? Uh, yeah. no, it's, it's, not, it's fine. Probably sorry, burn it's, it. uh, that's not from me. Okay, we sh we should probably burn that. Uh, yeah. Give this to Effie. I can't. I can't take. All right. This is a letter uh, Olivia wrote to Jabas, yeah? Yep. Have you read it? I have. Do you recommend me re reading it right now? Yeah, go ahead. You want me to read it out loud? Yes. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come on, on. Okay. Did she try to give Jabas her necklace as well? Here we go. Her choker? Oh boy. Oh Let boy. Jonathan, if you are reading this, we both know what has happened. It's unfortunate, but it is so seldom in life that we are dealt the hands we feel we deserve. What do any of our actions mean, though if we are not prepared to face the consequences of them? I have faced my consequences and am at peace. The only pain I hold in my heart now is knowing the, the ripple effect of pain I have caused for yourself and my family. I hope you know in your heart, though, that it was never my intention. I hope, you were, I hope we were right. I hope that time does heal all wounds. And so, too, this will this heal if given the chance. I know my family will never understand. But you had my respect with that. A part of my heart. Enclosed is the red sash I wore around my neck. I know it's not much, but I want you to have something to remember me by. I want you to remember that, yes, I cared for you. I hope it is a long time until we meet again, Jonathan. Until then, don't let me haunt you for too long. 
con il mio amore. Olivia. Ugh. You fucking burn that. And the sash. Nope. Fuck that. I think that clears up any questions about whether that was a date. How long? How long? How long has this been, has this been a thing? Bruh. Probably for a while. He was always talking about that gin he owed her. Doesn't really matter now, does it? No. No. Fuck. Just raises the question, how much do you best know about us? Zani, a while back, I got a telegram from Jabez asking which head of the family he should telegram. Remember that? Yeah, Dominic. Yeah. And Tony, myself. Wow. We wondered back then how he, how he had those names. Specifically Dom. Oh, Christ, guys. <sighs> Olivia wouldn't give them information like that. I just don't know that. anymore. You see, I, I don't know. She goes Please. against our orders directly. A capo regime. Someone I confide everything to. Someone I trust to build, develop. Oh, Olivia, man. It's rough. His family. It's fucking rough. Amazing RP, but fuck, it's rough. Betrayed my word. What else could she have done? Say, so, what was that um back in the day when Dom did the... You know, he did the, the shit he did. What did he say about Olivia? Sniveling the, the, rat turn turncoat. Coat. <sighs> Fuck. I almost right this entire time. Maybe Dom knew something that we never knew. Why the fuck didn't he say it? Because it wasn't it, his place. He acted like life it was, was on the line. Lie. He acted like it was a lie he told Dahlia to, to get a reaction out of her. No, Dom didn't know shit. I don't believe shit. he actually did know. Damn, he acted Dom like it was didn't a lie. know fucking shit, bro. He said it was a lie. Well, because he had a gun to his head. Practically. Is that not the time you tell the truth? Right. It is. It is. Okay. I don't believe it. Okay. It's just Maybe it was coincidence. a coincidence. Yeah. Right, right. I don't know. You always say, don't believe in coincidences, but it seems a little far fetched, but at the same time, I don't know. Don was really insightful the whole time. Every... I knew him. He was insightful with many things. He knew people. What else did Don say? That I'm a lying psychopath, which isn't technically incorrect. Uh, I believe he said uh, I was going to tell, tear the family apart, I think. Something to that effect. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't uh, believe everything that's yeah, being said. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. agreed. Okay. Or we do. Oh. This is slow. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> At least, as much no, as I love. No more. No more. No more. I his have love. His... Go ahead. Sorry. No. Actually, you go ahead. I'll ask in a minute. As much as I'd like to continue this conversation here, I think uh, we might need to. Right. Effie still does not like Sloane. That, that, like, I don't think she's maneuvering anything, but... 
So we'll do the following. If Antonio, you want to talk to me and my uh, my brother, oh, we'll go to you. And then we'll be back and forth from the house. Who else do you have around right now? Uh, shit, I have just went to bed. This I might be it. This might be it. Three of us. Okay. I'm going to bed uh, after this, so. So then, me and the, so then, yeah. then Danny and I, yeah. No, that's the thing. I think I think it's the Alice situation again. Of she does not know Sloane at all. I know she was mad. Uh, remember when Oliver got okay. in a coma and Sloane yelled at the person treating him Probably in the doctor's office there? I know she was annoyed about that. I think she just doesn't like Sloane overall, which is totally fair. Again, Sloane is an unlikable character. Like it's great RP. It's all right. totally, Sonny, totally how do fucking you, uh, fair. Propose we uh, do this. But yeah, she hasn't she hasn't spent a lot of time with Sloane, so there's well. You mean talk to you and Danny? Yeah. Well, unless there's something. Okay. I am. Um, I'm gonna be laying my head in a bit as well. By the way, I'll be back later. Okay. Is there anything super important, pressing that we need to discuss right now that everybody needs to know? I'm curious as to why Carlo didn't come home. Why did he, he run? He was severely injured. He also didn't run. He was taken by a friend of his. A friend of his was in he Valentine was... when Olivia dropped him off. He picked them up, saw to him, took him to the mountains. Met the Mimical, who's a broad named Anya, apparently. And, uh, yeah, he's just stayed up there because he was scared. Who's scared the friend? Scared of what? Scared of what? His, name, his name is Mike. He was scared of the uh, idea that he started another war. And that, I don't know. I had the telegram. I don't know what happened to it. So he lied with the with the telegrams that he's dead. Who's the, who? Okay, so Mike, who's the his doctor? friend Mike. His friend okay, Mike. So fuck sent, Mike, right? Sent the bogus telegram. Why? I mean, I don't give a shit. Fuck what, is, what the fuck is this, Mike? He's a okay. friend of his, I guess. What, what, not pressing right now, not yeah, What is the you confusion right talk. here? No, that was it. I gave you the telegram. That was the information I wanted to give you. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably work around town for a little bit. Telegrams and shit like that. Yeah, actually, I gotta check telegrams as well. As do I. Yep. Was, uh, was Carlo punished? Yeah. Yeah. Is he coming back? We burnt half his face off. Oh my god, so Good. sorry. Anyway. That was a joke. Maybe, maybe it was what? not yet. I, oh, I think you're forgetting I... who this like what that that is no, a totally reasonable punishment, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, us yeah, to no, say. No. Oh my god. You'll see god. his punishment uh when um whenever he gets back. Okay, so um well maybe uh, the Fantonis, Sloan and uh and, and Oli, you can uh, continue discussing and probably, of course, discussing the uh, the whole uh, Carlo thing. I could probably come with you. Is everybody else stay here at the house, okay? Yeah, I'm right. to bed. So, all right. Again, I'll be good back, night, uh, back later good night, tonight. Good night, Sonny. Good night. I'm going to bed, too. Good night, Effie. Good night. Bye, Effie. Bye, Effie. Bye. Bye, Bye, Effie. Bye, Effie. Bye, Effie. Oh, my God. I need food. Bye. I said good night, Oliver. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm what, just what saying it over and over. I'm g <sighs> where, 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 where are we going? Wait, wait, I don't know. Will someone give me something to eat for fuck's sake? I don't, <laughs> there's there's some meat in the kitchen. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have any food on me, actually. So I know. have pockets full of raw meat. <laughs> we got I, I will take some. I'll trade you. Need your raw meat. <laughs> Fuck you. No, you have to keep it now. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Yoinky. Oh, my fucking God. I was out hunting. I have so much meat and then I didn't get to fucking cook it. Sounds like a skill issue. I'll beat you with your own cane. I talked shit, <laughs> but you probably could right now. I, I know I could.
Nice. Good shit. Are we talking in the game? What are we doing? Yeah, we're, we're, Why we're, was there we're, so we're, much we're, confusion we're, about what? We're going to Telegram. We're going to Telegram. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Why Jesus Lord. Confused? Because, because... <laughs> Do you know what? There needs to be more. All right, good. Everyone, fuck off. Figure out your own lives. I was, I, I was pretty clear on what was happening. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, no, we, oh man, it's beef. Uh, Forty paces. But you don't need to go that slow. You make my life difficult. Yeah, I know. Oh, what's going on, Scarpo? Thought you was going to bed. Yeah, I, something was keeping me up. This is that. Oh. Hey, yeah. Right there. Uh oh. Quite fine today. We're gonna be lucky. I'm just I'm going to the kitchen for a cup of joe. That's all. All right, all right. Sounds good. Right this is that I need a word. Okay, I'll stay here with the uh, with you. You guys uh, go off to the telegrams and uh, you know, shut all that right. out. All right. Is it the guy? It's a private word. Everybody else in the Italian system. What's going on, Marcel? Not much. You busy right now? Uh, probably at the Pearl. Around. Just uh, send me a telegram. All right. You need some? No, no, I don't good? need none. I was just coming to see. I just got back from uh, out west. Ooh, see. You see something over there? I seen, I seen something, all right. I, what just, you seen? Uh, we can wait. Yeah. Elaborate, motherfucker. Is it? What is Nothing, it? motherfucker. Don't worry about it. It ain't that serious. You make it I, sound serious, but all right. Yeah, see you around. You, Marquis, and that guy all say motherfucker the same. What you mean? Motherfucker. Right. Okay, well, now I feel weird. I'm, I mean, <laughs> how do you say it? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Oh, Sloan, don't ever say that again. What? Do you not like my accent? Motherfucker. Okay, <laughs> all right, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twilly potatoes. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Oh. Just slowing everybody down. Is that right? It's a nice night out. Not anymore, so. I can sprint with my cane. Ooh, I'm sprinting. Oh, yeah. If you try to what? I mean, my legs are fine. I just can't <clears> support <throat> my own weight. Okay, well, you, you'll fall on your face if you Yeah, then your legs are not fine, you idiot. They're not injured, is my point. Oh, my God. They're just very, 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 very weak. <gasps> no, your ass. It'll, it'll come back. His tits right and now. his oh, ass. Yeah, yeah see, there it no goes. Telegrams, by the way. Are y'all expecting telegrams? Uh, uh yeah. I might be. <laughs> All right. I think I have some. All right, maximum overdrive. Oh, what's that? 60 God. paces? It's 50. 50, whoa. I know. Step back, kicking up dust trails. Almost halfway there. <laughs> you think you got enough pomade in there, yeah. really? Hell no. What happened if you put pomade on your hair and then you shaved your head? Be a shiny bald head? Probably not. Probably just be a bald ass head. Gotta put you, some look, you look funny with a bald head. I look funny with a bald I look great with a bald head. You look funny. You look like a thumb with big ears. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that was him. That was him. Stopping himself from saying several thoughts he wanted to say. <laughs> it was. He's got self-control. That's what I like I about. Did. I 
That's what I appreciate about you. I don't. You don't appreciate me? No, I don't have self-control. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta say what you gotta say. And sometimes you gotta shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. That, that is also true. It's the second part I'm learning. <laughs> I learned the I learned that one right. Dog. What you say about toes? What? Huh? No, I, heard I said toe. Oh. No, I said toe. He's got he's got grippers on the mind. Hey. Did we all miss the city walks? I missed the city walks, man. <laughs> yeah. I really did. Three. He's, he's Carlo. He, he's yeah, still yeah. very much Carlo. It's, it's good to hear he didn't have any sort of mental issue. It's just he didn't believe that Olivia had the best interest. Right. Is it a good well, idea for him to be recovering in the snow? Yeah, what I mean, he's, he, he ought to be brought he's, back home. Well, he's, he's got people up there with him. Who he got? Who the he got? He got Maeve and he got that guy Mike. He got Maeve up there? Maeve? He got Maeve. Yeah, oh, she tried yeah, to lie cool. to us a bunch. She tried to lie Maeve. to us and... The guy that then Maeve? Oh no, she got fired. Well, I bet she is. Yeah, no, the fuck she's fired. doing up there? Okay. Forgot she was a gunner. He fired well, a fuck sake. Well, what, what about, he what about a guy with a gun? Oh yeah, what was that for her interview good? process? What about this Mike? You think he uh, good with flowers and shit? Uh, <laughs> you want to hire probably, Mike as a gunner? I think he probably doesn't like us all that much. Who's that behind? That Marcel? Uh, someone. Smoking. Yeah, yeah they, they too far. Turn the corner, and wait for him. I don't. Is oh, that I think he's going across the street. Uh, I actually don't know what Marcel looks like. He, he, he was just the guy by the by the house. Yeah, I but I didn't get a good Marcel. look at him. Nice hammer. You just met Marcel. Yeah, no, I never met him before. Okay. I met Marcel before. And I wouldn't say I met him. I exchanged no words. What the fuck is that, and why is he walking like that? Because he's stiff, very, very smoking a cigarette. He's smoking, yeah. Stiff smoking. That's a law lady. Who's want it? Mm, Me. No. At least I don't think I am. I am not, probably. Hopefully. Probably. Eh, yeah, we'll be fine. Shut up. Huh? Only have a navy on me, if you anything, so... Horse looks like a cow. How you doing, man? Yeah. They, uh, Miss Deputy. Miss Deputy. Howdy, yep. Look, I got thirty dollars for one of them photos. I, sir, they're not for sale. Thirty-five. Uh, they're state property. I've been Forty dollars. Yeah, <laughs> they're not for sale. What type of bullshit is this? Three hundred dollars. Look, you know. <laughs> A little pearly. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, it's against the law to sell me one. I can't sell you government property. Well, can you give it to me and I'll just give you money? I, I, I cannot. Can you just can drop it a, and, a, and then scan he something? drops money and so then you trade like, like the old days? So here's the thing that y'all don't understand. It's it's actually not useful for anything but things that we're using. So it, it's not actually useful. So I can't put my own little papers in there? No. If I, well, if I tear a page off of my note, I can't put that there? No, they're, they're genuinely not useful. You serious? They're just for evidence. What? Yes. That's... that's I, feel, I feel like that's a lie. Yeah. So Unfortunate. Is that it's a lie? Disappointed. Prove it to him. Look, I, can, I can, can, can we try tell you, No, I cannot let you have one. I'm sorry. Liar! Hey, tell her, old man. Liar! Where's my butterscotch? I can't. I'm sorry. These fucking idiots. <laughs> I'm, I have a cane, so I'm, I'm overtaking the role of an old man. 
you should already have the discussion and just digging it I get it legally, of course. All right. I need to head back to the office. You take care of this. Be right. Good luck with that motor, Scott. Also, I love that you're finally playing into the role. I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. They get that shit for free. See, I told you. Oh my god. Horrible, truly. It's part of being old. Where did I get this? I don't even like butterscotch. Just materialized in your pocket, did it? Getting old. No, he is old. I just Thank have a, you. I have a vest pocket filled with butterscotch. Good lord. I need to go uh, head up the kitchen. Oh, there he is. Oh, Angelo. No, 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 I have a cane. No, hey! I have a cane. 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 Pearly was about to shoot your ass. Jesus Christ. can't run at people like that. All right, all right. Beat the shit out of you. Hey. 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 Hello. I just sent you a telegram. Yes. Oh. You said what the fuck you said. I just said I was around. The last two telegrams you sent were a bunch of nothing. So... No, the first telegram I sent you when I woke up was just the, the tagline, I lived, bitch, with nothing yeah, else. But a whole bunch of fucking nothing. And then the second <laughs> one was, like, the actual words. Well, yeah, but, and that one I responded to. Well, I responded both. Hey, hey, Angelo, I just sent a telegram that we were around. Hey, hey, how you feeling? Oh, look at that. I have two telegrams <laughs> saying around. Oh. Hmm. Oh, you're around St. Anilio? Yeah, we were around St. Anilio. Imagine it. Okay. Give me, give me. What? I could right, go. Yes, I could do with going by the borough real quick, so I can I can drop some stuff off. So we can give us some more butterscotch. Yeah, I can find my 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 stash of butterscotch candies. Yeah, I think they came. They came with too? the cane. Yeah. They they came with the cane. I unscrewed the top of this, and I found a sword and a bunch of butterscotches in the in the sh in the hilt. Is a sword in there? Is a is a knife. It's a cane. Oh. Oh, a well, knife. It's not a sword, but okay. It's a knife. Sure. It's not a sword, though. You know how much power a man has when he holds a sword? Not much. Stop True. it. True. I, I have more power when I'm 30 feet away with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> right, but what if you're within five feet of a man with a sword? I still I have a gun. I feel like I still have more power with the, <laughs> with the gun. <laughs> and I also have my legs to run away from the sword. What about a sword gun? Well, a gun with a sword on it. I feel like that's this a is heavy. No, I feel not like this is heavy. Wait, no, fuck, what's it called? Like a bayonet. A sword, I'm talking yeah, like a, right, 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 a gun right. that shoots a sword. Yeah. How well, I guess that, and then you're fucked. How would you, how, how would that work? work? Essentially. But it don't shoot. I know, Canadian, the peace and or the quiet. Would you consider an arrow a sword, though? Consider no, I'd consider it a fucking arrow. Like a spear? Why would you consider an arrow a sword? What Why would eating? you talk with your mouth Butterscotch, for? Yeah, what you... Oh. Literally unwrapped it in front of your eyes and you're asking a what she's eating. Seriously? I was reading my telegrams, motherfucker. I don't have eyes on the back of my head, believe it or not. Well, she gets some, they're very useful. Yeah, exactly. How the fuck? Never mind. <laughs> oh, you gotta do eat fish from Butcher Creek. Yeah, you get oh, eyes in places you never knew about. Oh, Jesus you gotta Christ. see things you've never seen before. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse Damn, me. man, been here for a long fucking while. Right. Yeah. What's going, Pearly? Hmm. What? I'm alright. Nothing. You I love cowboy? this gun, man. A cowboy? <clears throat> I love this fucking gun so much. Oh. I mean, that was fine. I'm just, you know. Well, you I think I want to add. I think I want to add a little bit of color to it, though. He looks like, like... Nah, I don't feel like a cowboy. No, he looks like a deputy. They always look like a deputy. Yeah, you do yeah, kind of. I don't get. It. I don't. I don't understand that. It's a vest. It's understand. a deputy vest. It's just something about you. You just look like a deputy. He looks like that uh, former marshal that just died, Andrew Weaver. 
Oh, yeah, I yeah, met really? Weaver a few times. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've really. never seen that man. I feel before. like he looks like a like a wolf sheriff or something. Yeah. You got some pomade? Do you want some pomade? No, no I, I tried pomade. Nah, yeah, no, 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 put pomade in the set. No, don't put pomade. I already tried it. I don't like it. Put it in the set. Put it in the set. Put it in the set. As an associate, as an associate, you are required to follow a maid member's rule. Yeah. And if, as if Pearly, who has his button, orders you to put pomade in your hair, you must. You're also, you're also in my crew, so put put pomade in his in his hair. All right, all right, okay, all right. Oh, oh, look who's oh, ready for look the picture day. Oh, I hate <laughs> so it, actually. Oh, that was so lovely. Bad. I hate look it. Who's ready it's so for the lovely. Day. It's fucking terrible. Beautiful. I need oh, more it, it looks great storage. on the Come on, Grandpa. So tight, man. Pinch, pinch, his, pinch his cheeks. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. I hate it. Take it off. I feel, like, I feel like I'm experiencing blood loss. Yeah, exactly. That was, that was, <laughs> Weaver ran into Sloan that one day when she was just walking away he from the chat. Cabin, it really does. Yeah, you gotta wear that. I mean, you gotta stop looking like a deputy. You know, we had that same problem with Norma. We had to, you know what I mean? He had to On deputizing, yeah. yeah. I mean, if I grow my beard out, I'm gonna look like this fuck. No, 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 fuck that. I'm you're gonna look, you're gonna gonna look like, like discount me. Okay, I don't know about discounting. Mine. We've seen diet, you with the beard diet, on. Diet, Oliver. Oliver, yeah. <laughs> How is diet? I would say he's the diet. Well, How right is he? Now I, oh, okay. Well, that doesn't bad joke. Shit right now, he gonna well, yeah, smack the fuck out you. The diet. Uh, you try this new weight loss program I'm on? It's called getting shot half an inch from your heart and in the neck. I'm laying in a bed for two weeks. Yeah, good. Pounds just shed off. I feel like I would have, I would die because I, I have nothing That's on me. I'm over the skin and bones. I hate this pink rabbit on his hand. I, I don't, I'm not eating. Yeah, it is pretty fucking ugly. How, how, about, how is anybody gonna take me serious when I approach them with this? You know what I mean? <laughs> with a pink hammer? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't. Ooh, I know. I'm so scary. I mean, I'd take you serious. Maybe not walking like that with the pomade in the hair, but I'd take you serious. Who, you talking to me? Yeah. Damn, really. <laughs> <laughs> I look great. Actually, no, I do no. need a medical bag. Yeah, I'm not even walking by. Actually, if we're going to the lion's den, I might grab a few. I think we're just we're supposed to go for a walk and then head back. <clears throat> I need the kitchen, for God's sake. What kitchen? I need to cook shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's called a fucking fireplace, not a goddamn kitchen. I do whatever the fuck you want to count it. I was out hunting all morning. You call, you call it a kitchen? Yeah, the, you know. I know I have like 140 or something. You got low standards. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm with Oliver, so. <laughs> That's <gotta> true. Go. <laughs> I gotta go to the gun store. Go to the gun kitchen. Store. We're gonna. Okay, we're, do. We're, we're, we'll be right there. Okay, Actually, okay we're gonna. Yeah, yeah. Catch up, dude. Fuck's sake. How the fuck are they gonna catch up? Nah, they're never gonna catch up. All right, look, we gotta walk slower. Slow? How slow? So fucking slow. So slow. So oh, fucking oh, slow, Pearly. Okay, oh my! F I'm not going. Fuck that! I'm not dealing with Frank right now. <clears throat> oh fuck yeah! No fuck that. Fuck that. But, all right, look. Regular city speed, seventy paces. All right. Yes, it is. Let's fucking go. Jesus Lord Christ. How you been, Pearly? You don't care. Not too I, I can't really complain. This this whole thing with Carlo, I, I don't know. I thought he was dead, so it's I don't know. I thought he was dead too. I'm glad he's not though. Yeah, so am I. I I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't when I saw him because it was. I thought we were gonna have to, but the shit that he told there, there was a lot of details Cesare left out there. Okay. Not good ones. Like what? Um, 
Well, like I had to bring up like uh, the fact that he was called out there. The fact that a deputy told Carlo that she was wandering around with a random man. The fact that they were out for, I think, three hours together, fucking around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, shit like that. It's just one thing after another. I don't know. I, uh, hmm. I said this earlier today. I, I figured it was going to be you know, more shit coming up. And um, I'm glad we we had the thing last night and not later on. Yeah, uh, that was one of the things I was thinking about when I was up there with him. Was... I don't know, you feel dirty even finding out these things, you know what I mean? Yeah. So how long is he going to be up there for? I don't know, a few days maybe. Few days. He's recovering still, and I think he's. Well, and I mean, Cesar didn't really mention it in the meeting, but from what I understand from talking with Carlo, part of what he was afraid of is because I mean, it was the capo, and he thought. He thought he was doing right by the family, right? But. Right. He also thought that. You know, if she was the one saying it, then, then maybe maybe he was going to get punished all the way down. And he wasn't yeah. running from it necessarily. He was just... I mean, he has so much of my blood in him last night. He was practically dead when we got up there. Okay. The maid was over there too, huh? Hey, it's that poor girl. I mean, I'll give her credit. She... She did try and, and remain loyal and not spill any secrets, but... I think she just didn't understand that we were trusted, so to speak. She was trying to protect Carlo. Okay. What is a good and a bad thing, I guess? That's the thing. Sweet girl, but fucking stupid. You done? Oh yeah, I'm done. I wouldn't really blame her. This is Carlo bringing his girls along. You know how he do. Well, that's the thing. I don't really blame her at all. I mean, I personally would never have gone along with someone who told me absolutely nothing and was hiding out in the mountains and all that. You know, you patch him up, but then you fucking leave. But, uh, you know, he's he's charming. Uh, okay. Yeah. Not for us, but you yeah, know, yeah, the yeah, average. I'm sure, you know, yeah. he's, he's pretty boy. Yep. Now, this news that we just heard uh, mm. from that telegram. See how that goes. Well, I'm sure it will still come to conflict. Yeah, it'll it'll be something. I I figured um they either gonna take it out on the law or they're gonna take it out on us. Fifty fifty. Yeah. Do you think they're still in the gun store? I kinda wanna get changed. Um We can go over there and swing by. Yeah. You getting new clothes or you just getting changed? No, no, I just want to not dress like a fucking cowboy. Right. And we go down to the gun store, it's fine. Yeah. You got any idea what you want it for? Uh, I don't know, actually. I mean, it could be anything, I, I don't really know. But I was up in Big Valley a little while ago. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, there was an incident with a bear and everything else, and a bunch of deputies turned up, and they kind of... I think a few of them kind of oh. recognized. Fuck. Oh. Hold on, take, take this one. <laughs> Good lord. He swears he's pimping. With that outfit? 
Yeah, he, I don't know. He's just been by himself, you know. He's, I don't know. I don't think you can pimp by yourself. And get yeah, gone. See, that's the thing. You defeats can. the purpose, yeah. It does. <laughs> but you say he was out of Big Valley? Yeah, there was a bunch of bear attack, bunch of deputies, everyone else. They definitely, like, recognized who I was and then started pressing it. And then kind of had it stay right here. And then when they turned around to do a deal with, like, the four or five people who were down by the scrutiny bear, I just... Whoop! Right out the side. Right. And then I saw them kind of... I, I got up on a thing and I saw them galloping after where I went and kind of milling around and whatnot, so... They were definitely chasing. Yeah. There was, um... Dr. Shipman, he... Him and that girl... What's that girl name that he went... Aaron, I think. Yeah, they they uh, they put up a little thing for for whatever they got going on there, a little note in well, front you, of the bar. Yeah, because they're not with the med board anymore. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, I was talking to them last night. Apparently, practically no one is, and a few people they know on the board are about to walk out as well. Really? Yeah, it's bad. Okay. Okay, There's now we're in the back. There's a, there's a fucking horse. Back out slow. Yeah, down. bitch, that's... I don't, don't need that in my life today. So nobody's with the medical board no more. Pretty much no one. Uh, from what I understand, Lark and... Oh my god, is it Bridget or Brianna? I always forget her fucking name. But they're basically Bridget. these Bridget, yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, blonde. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait. Yeah, Bridget with the uh, the dark hair girl. No, 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 no. She's blonde. No. Uh oh. Now these two, she she's always been attached to the hip with Lark, and it's these two blonde girls. They just wander around all the time. They always have fucking pump actions, and I I don't see them do a lot of actual medicine. But apparently they're okay. absolutely terrible. <laughs> hey, where was up, sweetheart? Might be Bianca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that. Yes, it is Bianca. Because yeah. she was the one who almost killed that guy that one time. Yeah, I don't know about that, but yeah, okay. No, it was, I don't even remember who it was, but it was some kind of... Med literally, she was brought in to a medical office to take care of someone, and then it was, I don't know, he killed someone or hurt someone or something. And then she just killed him while he was on the table with her. Oh, okay. Well, you know, Great. she's a senior medic now, so well done then. All right. So look, if if uh, if if that whole thing is crumbling down, right? Mm. You should probably look into uh, the office down here in San Denis. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, I need to talk to um, Shipman and them just to see yeah. a little more information about what's going on and where the medical board stands on. Because the medical board wouldn't talk to me about shit. Because I mean, yeah, well, that was nobody there. I mean, you ain't got nobody to talk about. You ain't got shit to worry about. Well, that's the thing, exactly. But, I mean, my plan initially when I was there was, like, I'd work it out with the medical board. Because I never got in their fucking way with anything. With anything. Right. The only time that sort of there was a moment was when... You remember when Tony got shot? When Tony got shot? Yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, and I, and I mean, it was, it was done. The surgery and everything was done. Y'all were getting him out of there. And the medical board turned up and tried to demand all of the details of the surgery. And I said, he's right, right. there. You know, I'll release the details if you want it from him. But he's right there. Yeah, they, yeah, they could just ask him. No, no, look over there. Speak of the fucking devil. Well, and I think a few of you, a few of the family told him to fuck off yeah. as well. So, right, howdy. Right. Yeah, you know, fast with it. We don't know. Everybody fucking they went to the gun store and uh, me and Sloan went to cook. Now they're not at the gun store, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure they're around somewhere. What's going on, Tony? Not much. It's so early. Not a whole lot. Good day. You headed mm -hmm. back to the house? Yeah. All right. We should probably try to uh, find Oliver and them. They probably, to be honest, they probably went up to Brown Town. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. Because I don't know how many people are even left in the medical office. And that's the thing, guys. Like... Again, you know, like I didn't, I, I had no interest in in stepping on the medical board at all. I don't know if out of it. What? 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 I was just gonna ask you, like, get a moment of time. You get a moment of time right now, yeah. 
go away, it does. Good lord. Do you, do you need the changing room there? Yeah, I, I figured somebody else was in there. No, no, you're good. You're good. I just came out. Oh, all right. I really want to go play blackjack. I kind of do too. You're going to lose all your money at blackjack? Uh, just $100 every day, you know? See, uh, see what I can do. Oh, yeah, sure. Keep the accounts moving. Yeah. Well, I, need to get, I got a telegram, but I forgot. So I need to get get back in contact with you. Know? Okay. Is that Jasmine? Jasmine. Yeah. Yeah. Get a gamble at least once a day to see if you're lucky. Exactly. Hundred dollars a day. Yeah, oh right. my God, my back. I know you know. You're he can pull a blackjack. He always has a ten. I know. Pulls a you know a twenty. Yeah. When you have a nineteen. My own. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Who, Marcel. Who is? Hey, on my shell, how you doing? You know, uh, that's a nice suit Jasmine. that man got on right there. But this like one right here? Yeah, I, I couldn't I couldn't find a color tie I wanted to go with that, so I tried to, uh, so I, I couldn't really put it together yet. Damn, I'm, they I'm, looking I'm good. Look how I'm fucking fine. good these anyway, two uh, look. you said uh, a, a girl named what? Jasmine. A girl named Jasmine. Can't say a that Guarma. I do. Nah, I definitely don't know nobody from Guam. Alright. Okay. Yeah. All right. Look, probably me, uh, some of them keep it out. You see you see Romeo and uh Lydia around today? Not today, I haven't. Alright. I seen All I right. think I seen Romeo yesterday, I think. Yeah. Anything you want okay. me to keep uh yeah for? No, 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 that's fine. I just figured you may maybe you might know. No, no, yeah, no. Uh man. lady by the name of Jasmine. She comes around Saint Denis or she comes around to the crossing on Saturdays. Only on Saturdays. I mean, I, I keep an eye out if y'all need to. Yeah, keep an eye out. I just need a telegram. That's all. You just want a telegram. All right. That's it. That's all. That's all, all I need. need. I uh, I pay you handsomely for that. Huh? All right. Oh well, yeah, I, I'll let you know. I keep I keep an eye out. All right. I appreciate yeah. it as always myself. All right. Well, I see y'all around. Y'all stay dangerous. See you around. <laughs> Take care. Brush that hair. All right. Jasmine, what, what, what you want with Jasmine? What's she about? Oh, what she's about is that um, she comes to Saturdays to the crossing to, in order to do trade with everybody, and then she goes back to the island, you know, to sell to okay. people. So when she comes around on Saturday, I'm looking to sell her some shit. What you trying to buy? Some, you know? Firearms, gems. Okay. Bananas. I mean, they got bananas over there in Guarma. I don't think she needs that. She needs herbs. I got a fucking fuck, fuck for This motherfucking herbs. Frank. God damn. The fuck? Oh, hold up. Oh, hold up. yeah, yeah. This is gonna, right. gonna be a problem. Well, it's gonna be a problem. Hey, right yeah. hey, yo, stop right there. I need to get someone doing herbs again. Just forgot. You could probably ask Sophia. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and get a couple people to. It's real polar bear around here. This is real polar bear. I don't skimp out on my fits, all right? Nah, nah, nah. Mine's made of Sicilian lion fur. Okay, the last Sicilian <laughs> lion, I killed it. All right, with my bare fucking hands, and I made that fucking coat. Same one. You steal my coat? Yeah, I yeah got we. Shit to say on it, except oh, fucking right. America, Mike. Good oh, lords. That one's got the American flag on it. Your, your one has the Italian flag on it. Oh, yeah, mine is. Oh, never mind. It's not mine. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm sorry about exactly. it. Exactly. Mm hmm. There's an American good. polar bear right here. Imported from American Siberia. Okay. Okay. I, re hmm. I respect it. I respect American it. Siberia? Yeah. Where they yeah, imported from, huh? deep south of New York. That's what I'm saying. Oh, what? yeah. Where the hair come right there? Where the hair come from? My hair? No, no. Your hair. Your hair. Oh. I got that off an old pimp down in Louisiana named Pimson Crim the Crimson Pimp. Oh, the Crimson really Pimp. Mm. 
Yeah, I desperately, desperately What's wish there was like a I folder or something. Well, I'm Frank. Frank, Frank what? Pimpin says Pimpin, been Pimpin, go Bonnie. Yes, please. Oh, Pimpin. not Frank, go Bonnie again. Mm -hmm. We'll get some food real quick. Hi, Frank. All right. yeah. I see you, Frank. All right. I see you. I see you too. I desperately wish that there was a fucking folder, like something with like yeah, eight slots or more. I don't a folder for just all of the fucking the pages, the telegrams, because yeah, like, there's so like many of them, and they took a full. They take a. Ugh, you can't store them anywhere. I don't know. I just so so desperately wish that there was like a folder system or something. I need a buff. Yes, you do. Holy shit. Wow. All right, Cesare. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> yeah, the law has stuff like that, right? Like they have. Why? 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 Why is me as a civilian? Can I not buy a paper folder? Because it's the thing. There's all of these these pages and these books and everything that take up. So and because we have no storage either. You ate things of personal storage, you ate that like fuck, dude. Fuck. So is it do they have like an evidence folder or do they have an item that stores pages in it? Cause I want like uh like the jewel bags. Like I want something like the fucking jewel pouches for my my folders. I need to do pads. Cause fuck that. Cause it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The amount of, you know, my pockets should not be full of like a couple folded telegrams. You know what I mean? I hate it. I hate it so much. You believe it's like the jewel pouches? Fuck me, dude. Why? Why? With okay, then it's coded in. Then why can't I have one? Oliver and they're probably going crazy thinking Sloan got kidnapped or something. Yeah. They'll probably head back to the house. Oh, worried about me all the time, I'm Should sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's go. That's crazy. I just want a yeah, fucking yeah, folder, I man. Like pants. I like these pants too, but I'm out of the We're no longer deputies. We don't even. Yeah. Nah, apparently I like that outfit a lot. Those pants are. It seems cool. that my pants look like stretch marks. All right. Out. Oh, well. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Sissy is also wearing my outfit. <laughs> no, it's Sissy's outfit. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Get here. So. Everything cleared up with the, the Fantonis regarding Carlo? Uh, not really. We didn't go over much of it. We were walking around and we lost them, so. You lost yeah. them, really? I mean, they went to the guns, told me and Slow went to cook. And then we ain't really had no fan after that, so. You went to go cook, but then you had to go to the Bastille to get soup? I ain't cooked no meat, she cooked. Yeah, I was hunting all morning, remember? I was covered in blood, that whole thing. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Love me hunting this time of the year. Santino kicked a cat to death? Yeah. How much did you get? Seven dollars? Do you know I didn't ask? Hey, Tony knows. Tony, guys. how much did you get from the, uh, for the cat? Seven. Ooh. There you go. If he had not fucking bad. give it that one last kick, it would have been eight dollars. Damn, eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> New headline in the newspaper: Cat killer Paley. That's fine. AKA, I'm, I'm not gonna say it. Oh yeah, don't, yeah, don't say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as we all just started at the same time, it's as good as saying it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
Hey, is, uh, is Scarpo all right? Hey, Scarpo's good. Scarpo's good. Okay. Shlan, how's your uh, sleeping, huh? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sleeping, you know. Listen, I'm not gonna drop dead. I'm, I'm all right. Appreciate the concern. Hi. Hello, old man. Have you been? I'm back where I belong, Cesare, on this fucking porch. Goddamn right. <laughs> porch. porch duty, baby. Fishing at this point. Nah. Uh, Fantoni's a buying Angie a horse. What the fuck? Yeah. Why ain't nobody buying me a horse? Yeah, I didn't get a not, horse. You're not an associate. Also, Wait a you don't have so a right. Kentucky, you don't have a Kentucky Saddler named Caraggio and think it's the best horse in the fucking world. I so do I have a Kentucky Saddler. Two hundred dollar horse, not named Caraggio. Probably shows is the fastest horse in the, in the family. Yeah, yeah, the, that is the, the warm blood, the there. Dutch warm bloods. What do you got? I doubt it. We got a Dutch warm blood. I hey, whooped Cesare's ass and Scarpo's ass in a race down the street. Uh huh. You, you raced in town. Beat the Duke oh, yeah. ever in your life, Pearly. You cannot beat the Duke. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> See, the, the, every horse reacts differently to the city surrounding. That's not a fair. That's not a fair metric of a race. I don't give a fuck. I won. You got to do it outside. You got to do it outside the city limits. I'm not doing it outside. I already won. Oh, so you're a sore loser and a sore winner. No, I, I'm a good winner. I they, I won. You know, they they lost. It's, it is what it is. You're a bitch. How am I, bitch? Cause you're not willing to race outside of the city, city Look, boy. I ain't got time for no, no, no city boy. stupid games. <laughs> where's uh, where's Sissy? Where else was Ryan here? Where's Effie? Where the bench? Sissy just walked in. Effie went to bed. I assume. I assume you I know where Scapo went. This is right there. Oh, I only saw going. Somebody else around here too. Uh, Sunny, he's uh, asleep. Yeah. All right. Hundred dollars on blackjack and the ammo. Oh shit. I don't gamble. Well, you you gam watch? you're gambling today. Oh, you're gonna gamble today. Good lord. Oh, oh god. Oh, you, got you, got, you, need, you need to go to the lab for some blood samples or some shit. Well, I was going to go up to the lab, but yeah, no, it's fine. Going uh, up to no. lab is her excuse to not be around us. <laughs> don't say that. I don't don't out you in front of everybody. Don't say that. Hey, yeah, by the way, uh, Ali. Uh, huh? That is a black American standard bread. Yes, it is. Uh, that it is. Good observation. Thank you. I'm very smart. Yeah, you are. You're with the oxygen. Uh, All right, let's uh, let's go back to the to the lab. A hundred dollars? Going like 180 or something? Maybe like, one, yeah, probably like 180 or something like that. I don't know, somewhere around there. Someone's it's a very good horse. I have one yeah. and I love it. Hi, sissy. Yeah, they're quite good. Thank you. How you doing? <clears throat> Damn, I kind of wanted to get a We're black fucking standard We're gonna, uh, red. Business. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, important oh. business. Important. Oh, business. I need to, yeah, I need to look around there, actually. Do you mind if I ask what kind of business? Uh, important business. Gambling. Type of business. <clears throat> oh. we, we're gonna look into uh, I'm the... sorry, what? Very, so you're yeah, very, nothing, nothing, I'm nothing. Sorry, so what? I'm fucking looking to replace the table for the gambling. Set up I'm out a meeting with the Tony's Irishman. upset. Tony's what upset do they call themselves? The ga no, the Murphy the Brothers Paved. The Pavi. The, what? Huh? Huh? Nah, this is Joe and Shay in there, bro. Pavrati? Pavrati? That's Italian. Pavrati? Is it tiny? Oh, you remember that? You remember that broad named Janice that changed Pavy. her name to Pavarotti? I think Pavarotti. I think so. Yeah, that was weird. I that was the one with the, with the leg, firework. right? No, no, no. That was the Russian lady with the leg. She was the one oh, with the big oh, hair. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Are we going to rounds? Yeah, I guess we're going to fucking rounds. Yeah. Guess we're going to rounds. How many Shit, of you are going to rounds? Well, I'm getting lost here. A lot of people talking. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? 
mean there's a lot of people talking about there's it? There's a lot of people talking about it. I don't know what, what you're talking about, Cesare. There's not that many of us fucking talking at you at once. I really don't understand what you could be complaining about here. You know what I mean? I think everybody's just talking about it. Swing it over here. Fucking motherfucker. Oh. shit. He had the bell out. I thought you were in a wheelchair that was about to explode. <laughs> hey, maybe this bell does fucking work to clear out the crowd. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, everybody, you know, everybody's attention goes there. It's, 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 a, Pav, it's a Pavlovian response. This is his stand up. Who the fuck is that? Hi. Look weird. She's just Your sitting. pants look weird. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Good lord. Are we going to Rhodes? Should I get the old man a chariot? Get the, get the get the old man a fucking chariot. All right. So you wanted me to set up a meeting with the Irish fuck, eh? Hey, get away. Get a whole get a whole wagon. Do we want to? Is everyone taking the wagon or am I getting a smaller one? I, mean, I don't want to ride if I ain't got to. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me go with the roads. You can be roads as well. I mean, don't just because we're there, you guys. Oh wait, where's my horse? Right. I mean, we're just gonna do our business with them. If they die, if not, then we're gonna fuck up. I did not think you were gonna say team. Okay, listen. So. <clears throat> Parley. We need to look at wagons. Pearly loves his Sloan wagon rides. Yeah, I'm the best wagon driver in the crossing. Fuck with me. <laughs> I will say, I kind of love the new thing where the horses... Wait, how much money do I have on me? Oh, I got like 60 bucks. That's fine. I do love that you can only get the horses at the stables now. I'm very into that. I know some people have been fucking hating it, but I love it. Although the problem that it's causing, uh, especially because a horse counts as a player, so it's making the dust way works because you got to keep your fucking horse out all the time. See, I want to get this one. I want to... I could just get a... Ugh. I wish there was more smaller wagon options. <laughs> no, we'll just, we're gonna go with, well. <laughs> Thanks, Canadian. Thanks, appreciate that. Morning. Are you are you dead, darling? I'm dead, dear. What, what did what did Pearly say? Sissy. Oh, uh. sissy, sissy. It was sissy. It's fine. Uh huh. Just talking I mean, about. Pearly also said something that got me going, but it was mainly sissy. Oh, accident, lovely. I'm gonna shut up for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, say no, 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 no. You, you, you're on a roll. You're on a fucking roll. All right, roll. let's get your roll. ass on the oh, fucking yeah. couch. Hey, Dolly, uh, Fantonis were around here with uh, Angelo. Um, you just missed them. I think they're... I'm not sure. They said, um, they said, uh, Rose down to the, with the Irish. Irish. Yeah. I've locked us in. I will drop you off. They have a meeting with the Irish, but not Swan. Oh, yeah. this wagon right here uh, yeah i did <laughs> good job i figured out a way to lock the doors <laughs> good job holy shit apparently go ahead and take us to roads <laughs> I, okay, I guess i i guess i can't Hello. get outside okay just hop on why you sound so sad i'm not sad i'm, I'm just, just chilling jump we're like jump. hello oh, are we driving are down here first Hello, Oli. No, 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 we all yeah. going to Rose, right? Is that better? We all going to Rose. We all no. going to Rose. I'm the day. <laughs> Let me try this one. Where the fuck are you going? Oh, Rose. God. All right. All right. Literally, you had two options. That feels like backwards back back progression for some None reason. of these go to Rose. Yeah. No, these go to Rose. Trust me. And I just don't have energy. Holy shit. Wait, who's driving? Desire. Oh, God. You're in for a wild ride. I'm in day. for another fucking coma. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Where's Tony? Wait, hold up. Whoa, this is what happened last time. Did we just fucking leave? We just fucking left Tony, man. Well, you said, you said, let's go look for him. Then we just fucking zoom off. Where we You're driving the wagon. No, it's pearly. It's not me, motherfucker. <laughs> Do we go? Where the fuck is Tony? Back in the city. So what do we do? Dahlia steals that horse right over there and goes to Rhodes, and then we go back into the city. That might be Wallaby Kid horse. That very well might be Wallaby Kid's horse. Yeah. Even more reason to steal it. Does, does Tony not know where we're going? He, he does not know. He doesn't. He does not know. Tony. Tony doesn't know where he's fucking standing. All right, come on. The fuck is that? You see that on the front of the <laughs> Why? What is that? Huh? What? Hold up. Bridge Gator. What? What? What are we looking up? I don't. What? I don't see shit. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm not getting out this fucking wagon. Are we actually going to road some? Let's stop I, by the stable, drop uh, off Dolly so she can pick up a horse. I think I can call it. I just woke up. Uh, you'd be surprised. It's the, they're probably. usually at the stable really far away. Never mind. She's got one of them water horses. There you go. Lovely. Seahorse. Seahorse. I see it. I can, I, back this side of the day. Oh, oh my god, you killed Dahlia! No, I didn't. Relax. Figure of speech, Slan. Of course I know you didn't kill her. Now, Slan, if you were Tony, an old grumpy man, not far from... From... Where would you go? Barbershop. We just came from there. I don't think he'll go there. Yeah, I don't know. To go back to the house, maybe? 
Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 oh, oh, oh. Uh, Do Dahlia just uh, oh, is on her way to Rose. Rhodes. She's going towards Rhodes. She's on a road right now towards Rhodes, probably in front of Caligo Hall right now. Oh, shit. I love how we're calling right. her Dahlia, out Dahlia. like she's an enemy we're looking for. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> she went that way. It's... She's going left, she's going left, she's going left. She's pushing, she's pushing. All right, okay. Uh -huh. Too far. Okay, I didn't mean it like that, you know what I mean? Far. I just thought you knew. Too far. Stay left, stay left, stay left. Go back to the house, slide. Whoa. Ellie's so aggressive with me when her backseat driving. Oh. No backseat driving. All right. Oh, oh my shit, God. fuck. Maybe I should backseat drive more. Ow. <laughs> no, absolutely not. My bones. Sometimes I feel like I can take corners quicker than I can in this carriage. It's very sad. What is that hook for in the middle of the, the, mat, in the, middle of the wagon? It's for sex. Oh. It's for a lantern, but yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's for sex. Not in the carriage. Oh, you, guys, you guys see that guy just fucking staring at the wall back there? Wait, what? Who? What? 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 I think there was a guy like over here in the fucking conversation or something. Never mind. Go ahead. Listen, eavesdropping is illegal. Nobody would ever eavesdrop here. Yeah, look, oh, yeah. there's Tony. Look, we figured it out. Oh, Tony, we were looking for you. Get over here. Get in the carriage, you curmudgeonly fuck. I'm gonna get some prosciutto now, right? Let me just look for it here. My coat, mm -hmm. my deep. Mm -hmm. Bring out the coat, cheese. What's going on? Get in the carriage. Get All right. He's down the roads. Going gambling. Glad you finally decided to join us, Mr. Solano. Yeah. Thanks. As you can see, we've put quite a lot of effort into having this meeting with you today. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay. We need he to talk. Paid. Yeah, he, he doesn't give a shit. Okay. He doesn't give a shit. No. Not a funny bone in that body. Ain't no funny bone in this body. What, were you trying to scare me or son? I was trying to make you laugh, you curmudgeon fuck. I mean, look at you. You're like a ladybug with its legs cut off right now. Where are we going? Okay. To roads. We're just going around. It's not fucked, fucked up. up. Okay, because when a ladybug lands on someone, that means they're lucky. All right. I mean, you just I got my legs cut off. You said. You you landed on me. I landed in the cut, which means I'm lucky. Which means I'm not gonna do anything. Talk your way out of a pair of cement shoes, couldn't you? Yes, I could. If the cement does not exist, then how could the shoes? Shut the hell up, Tony. Oh, I was fucking with you on that one. Yeah, <laughs> shut, shut the hell up. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. What are we doing? What's going on? We're on the roads. I got no money. Have fun. Oh yeah, shit. You spent it uh in Guarma. That's right. And hookers and blow. I'm so I didn't say what you were doing with the hookers. You could ask them to read to you for all I know. You know, that seems like something you'd do. It seems like you'd hire a hoa and just have a read, you, read the, like Shakespeare to you or something. That seems like <laughs> something not a bad do. idea. Just company, you know? You fucking mind reader? How the fuck do you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It sounds like a good time. Where are we going? Hey, to roads, Pearly! Stop backseat driving! 
I don't think this is the right way. We're going the scenic route, I told you. Well, literally, yeah, we, we passed roads. We're going, oh my god, do I have to repeat myself a dozen times? Fine, we'll but go on the tracks. It'll be, yeah, it'll be great. No, 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 because we need to get there so quickly. Oh, uh, great. The train's not definitely not going to pass around now. Who lets know that? She's trying to pull me back in the coma. I'm going to put everyone in a coma, and then I'll have a week of peace. I want to organize a sit-down. I believe Sloan is trying to kill another family member. Oh, Nate. my God. Another one. Wait, another one. Who's the other one? Yeah. Another yeah, who, one. who was the first one? I may have misspoke. Oh, I don't oh, know. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You said they mean something other than that. What are you trying to say, Oliver? Oh, my God. He's trying to get me killed. I don't think I can explain what I mean. In in polite company, I can't explain what I mean. It's concerning. The other family member's my dick, okay? Yeah, nice oh, save. Nice save. Okay, oh, that's sure. oh, excuse, excuse me. There's people running. Well, I'm trying to not hit the fucking horses that they left in the middle of the goddamn roads. What the fuck is going on? Come on, I gotta go to the bank. Go Take a right. I, yeah. I, I think it's probably a bank robbery. No, this should be the fucking general store robbery. They're robbing around the fucking candy. They're robbing candy? No, we need candy. Ready. He's good. Stop right here. Stop, 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 stop. On top of the bank? Mobilize. No, they shouldn't bank. get us talked to. You know, on top of the bank. Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah. No, that's very, very I'm conspicuous. No, we go to the front of the gun store where we talk to a bunch of people that just stand there. Like, yeah. That's I'm gonna sit in front of the Undertaker. Yeah, it's less, uh, you know, conspicuous. I like that. You know, we just go up to the front and say... Oh, oh, they, oh, the they really, they, they really robbing the place. Holy shit. Hey, Hold on. Who, who's rabbiting? That's a good question. Can't tell from here. Who's that long lady with the pretty hair? One is this. Hey, I'd like to buy your, your, your finest meat. This is a cool place. <clears throat> no, we don't, I didn't bring any meat over on the Mayflower. Shit. Damn. Who the fuck robs the general store? You so he was no bad nice hair. I mean, you should go find out, Pearly. Actually needs. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 that's the drummer. What the fuck is drama? Is it actually? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, it is. Just Do you hear them sure. talking? No. No. I, but I see the motherfucker standing in front of the place. Oh, <laughs> that's drama. That's. Holy shit. The fuck is drama? Fucking uh, Van Horn bartender. I thought he was dead. Flown back up. That man over there on the stairs about to punch you. That's right. Uh, holy shit. Oh, it's, it's Summer's Gang in there. It's Summer's Gang? Yeah, that's Coho in there. And Drummer's with them? Oh, that's very interesting. He's a goddamn star. What the fuck? Nice try, Pearly. I wish we, would hear, we could hear from them, you know? I mean, I can barely hear what Coho's saying. Just listen. Oh, 
Oh, he's got a deputy hostage. It sounds like someone's folk in there, right? Yeah, it's Coho in there. So he's got a uh, Kramer hostage in there. He wants one of theirs freed. Oh, okay. Who the fuck is Kramer? Kramer. It's a deputy that Aurora's fucking. Oh, okay. God, I feel Tell like me a font of information right now. They got Coho in there? Who the fuck is Coho? Coho Fox, uh, Summer's Gang. Oh. Fox? Yeah, he he changed his okay. name to Coho. Okay. And Coho mean like limp in Spanish or something? Yeah, it does. I think it's a really cool name. Nah, I don't think so. I think it's great. It'd be better if it was pronounced different, but... Yeah, it's like yeah. lame. It, it could work. I don't know. You should add something else to it. Wait, so so the law just leave it alone? They no, no, they they're hostage trading. Oh, okay. Wonder they're who they got. Get, they're, they're probably getting ready to. My guess, Hawk. You said her, so oh, my okay. guess is it's Hawk. Oh yeah, I said it's Hawk. Yeah. I'm trying to eat my sushi, guys. <laughs> to show my sushi. Dog is really asking for a kicking. It's just standing there for it. Looking at me. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> is Summers actually in there though? I don't think Summers is in there. Sucks we can't really, like, provide a distraction for them or anything. Does anybody have any fireworks? No, I mean, like, we can't. I know, darling. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. That's a sick ass. That, that, that horse is sick. That, that is not. <laughs> that's not. Say that loud. Say that loud, Pearly. Say that loud. Say that real loud. <laughs> I'm say it really loud, Pearly. Say that's a sick fucking horse. Hey, why y'all giving him a sick horse? He's <laughs> got a condition or something. One of its well, legs well, is a little limp. You said what, sir? What? I can't hear you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I can't hear shit. All right. He, he said go inside in case shit goes south. Okay. It don't go we'll do that if you're further down south than Lemoyne, though. I don't know. Yeah, it's, you if know. These, if things do go south, I'll go inside, eh? Yeah. If, if, if things go to St. Denis, I'll go inside. <laughs> Just vibing on the porch, man. Man, that star horse don't even have a fucking saddle, man. <laughs> that Clementine over there? Horse is fucking Clementine over there. Where? Yeah, uh, over there by the doctor's office. She uh, she went behind the car, around the car. Hey, God, dude, what the fuck? Don't laugh like that. What's going on? It's 
it very fucking dusty or is that just me? It's very dusty. Okay. I'm gonna go sit in the carriage for a minute. I need to. Sorry, we're not going to watch the fireworks chat. I need a couple minutes. I need a drink and I need to stretch. So we'll be back. Everybody behave. Slang. Slang. You gotta love me. Tony? Tony, what the fuck you doing, man? Come on. Tony, get into the fucking car. There's no room for you. Tony? Okay. Yep, this is good. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. I'm getting off. Fuck that. You don't get off until, until the car stops moving.
We've been moved. What happened? Am I kidnapped? Oh, hello, darling. Is he also AFK in the wagon right now? <laughs> He's also AFK in the wagon. Okay, fun. Fun. We'll, we'll wait for him. <gasps> oh, I got the hiccups, man. Hey, what? Hello, are you still, you, you good there? I'm alive. Everybody definitely thinks we were just boning. Yeah, such is life. At the mercy of Billy Blasters. I would wring Billy Blasters out like a fucking cheap towel. What are you talking about? Oh boy. Yep. Oh. Jesus. I don't, what? The fuck? We just got here. I, I can't right, hear shit. I, I got, I got, if you can see me, but not everybody else, I got it. They're upstairs. I got it. All right. Are we being kicked out of roads? Okay. Yep. They're, they're clearing everybody out. By, uh, federal order. No, federal order. Is that specific? Yeah, on federal we... order. That most <laughs> urgency <laughs> leave. What a fucking hey, uh, they are literally making us all leave now. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Fuck that. We go to Blackwater to play Blackjack? Federal order. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know. Man horn. Yeah, oh, cool. hell no. I'm not going, I'm not playing Blackjack. Well, no roads, adventures. Man horn. He's amazing. He's a menace. I can't believe you got a blackjack. I can't fucking believe it. I can't. Van Horn. And we go to Van Horn? Yeah. Is the other way. This is a scenic round. Listen, we got this under control, all right? Okay, no, 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 I know. Holy schlun, you ain't uh, you ain't gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble. And I, I don't really gamble. It's just not my thing, you know. Eh. What do you mean, eh? Fuck that dealer. Listen, sweetheart. What? All right, everything what? you do, everything you say, is a gamble. All right. No, it's not. It's highly calculated. I'm a fucking surgeon. Fence. How do you know? Because I can see out the window. Could have been a post. Could have been a post. Good lord. No, I can see out the fucking window. Good lord. How? How do you see out the window? Well, it's a transparent material called glass, Pearly. Oh, okay. And what happened was you can see through it is is the magical part. Hey, it's a tree. <laughs> Holy shit, maybe it was a tree. Holy shit. Listen, don't worry <laughs> about it, all right? She's a treeologist as well. 
Uh, she's a barkologist because she barks, barks, barks. <laughs> Did you just call me a dog? Sissy, uh, why would you say something like that to her? <clears throat> huh? I think he called you a bitch. Yeah, I think he called me a bitch in the roundabout way. Well, that's that's just true, though. Wow. Oh, shit, it is. Well, you're going to tell me it's not? I'm a delight. Ollie, Ollie getting me to be safe. I am a sweet treat. I am a pleasure to be around all the time. Uh-huh. Did we lose the road? I think we did. Road lost us, sweet Ann. Uh, we make our own roads. Listen, okay. when life gives you lemon, you make uh, whiskey. That doesn't work. Exactly. You cannot make whiskey out of lemons. For sure you can. No, no. I, I believe the Irish would have tried. Did you already meet the Irish that are in Rhodes? No, I hate them. I I mean, I've never met him. I don't know. Why would you hate them? They're great. Desire, ain't they great? I don't like other Irish people. You don't I like left. anything. What do you mean? I like lots of things. Like what? Money. Money is pretty nice. I like money. Yeah, you see. <laughs> Money's, money's all right. Spoken like a right, name with more than $10,000 in his bank account. What the hell are you eating? A sandwich? A yeah. veal parmesan. I need to get my tits back. Yep. There's no one the wrong having flat tits. Nothing wrong with it. But you just prefer... I old prefer some fat old flappy. fucking honkers, yeah. Yeah, a heavy rack, yeah. I know a guy, train rider, might be uh, something you're looking for, Ollie. If you're about to tell me about Goon Bones, I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> oh, that's his fucking name, Goon Bones? Yeah. We yeah. we met him together. I didn't know that. Do you think we're gonna die in Van Horn again? Yes. Hmm. Oh, Van Horn, this time of the year. There's nobody around here right now. It's lovely. This time of the year, right here, right now. Mm mm mm. Cholana, you, uh, you, you're gonna be playing. No, I'm not. I don't gamble, says I. No, no, I said Solano. I have no money. Yeah, I know. I'm scratching. Now, sissy, sit down, huh? I'm not. I fucking hate this dealer, Cesare. Go ahead, sit down. Don't, don't, don't do nothing like that, all right? <laughs> you fucking know you want to gamble. All right, so sorry. What? We're having family time. Mom, with this motherfucker, stop bullshitting me. I'm getting up. I shot Federico last time in the foot. He ain't gonna do us dirty. Oh! Oh, bada bing, bada Thank you. Double down. Hit me with it. Tanner. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did the seven look like a ten at first or what? What, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I was celebrating before it came out. Motherfucker. What'd you say? You wanna say something, sissy? <laughs> no. You wanna fucking, you wanna speak, huh? No. Go ahead, sissy, say so. I said enough. Jesus fucking Christ. Clementine. I find oh her my up my God. ass. How the fuck is Clementine time. All the time. Oh, up my ass. She seemed upset. She always upset. She's always upset, man. She ain't never happy. Which is good. That means she grown up. Yeah, I mean, I'd be upset if I was Clementine, too. She's still in our fucking wagon. No, she isn't. She's almost. She's, she's sitting. She's just she stolen. Is, she's, she just... Is, she's totally not stolen. The fuck do you think you're doing? Take your carriage, Mr. Green.
Okay. Uh huh. Clementine, I will shoot you in the back of the head and dump you somewhere. I swear to God. Over a carriage? Baby, I'll do it for a lot less. Y'all don't know how to do pranks. I was just gonna hide it. Jesus. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. Don't talk to the wagon again. Don't you think about it. I'm touching you. What are you going to do, huh? I'm about to beat your ass is what I'm about to do. Oh, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even got to do nothing, Clementine. People go beat you up. That's right. I just I always wanted to beat her ass, Tony. I'm going to be honest. Pity on me? On her or me? I'm not understanding you. That's right. You ain't gonna have nobody working for you in your life because you're a bum. You're nobody. <laughs> you look lazy. What are you talking about? I, I don't know if she's doing a I don't know who no, you, you are joke that? or if she really doesn't know who Sloan is. Dumb and lazy. Also, Lammy, hi, happy birthday. I forgot to say that. Happy birthday, Lammy. Hi, hi. Everybody wish Lammy a happy birthday. She's Oh, no, I don't. I don't give a shit. She just likes to talk shit. She was trying to pull some sort of impractical prank. It's all right. It's okay. Where's she at? She left. She walked all the way down the fucking road because I told her I was going to shoot her. She on her way. It's all right. All right. She just likes to talk shit. It's all right. I'm on a... I'm gonna just stay out here with the wagon for a little bit. It's all right. I'll stay out here with you just in case you don't fucking kill her. <laughs> nah, it's all right. I wouldn't kill her. Who knows? I mean, have you seen her? I you mean, put a finger on her, she's gonna snap like a fucking twig. That's the thing. I don't know if she's playing stupid. If I don't know who you are, but she has legitimately tried to kill me before. <laughs> We've had ongoing arguments for months, so it is a bit of a question. Uh, she's fake, stupid, and lazy. There you oh, go. Trifecta. Look at that man. He's walking into the barrel. Stupid motherfucker. Yeah, you know, sometimes you drink enough and... We all been there though, you know? Long night. Oh yeah. I mean, usually you trip over the barrel, but... Uh... No, 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 you keep on working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she knew which slow, not vampire slow. I'm so sorry. The distinction, of course, of course. In order to get the fish market here now. Do they? Should I stop yeah. fishing? Look, Tony, you see over there? Yeah. Between the uh the, the telegram and the stove. I might stop fishing. People make a lot of money off it. Can you not? Oh yeah. People go they, they go fishing over there, can the river, bring the fish down there, and sell it. Who's that over there? The Clementine and her friend. They're leaving town though, it's good. You can make a couple hundred dollars pretty goddamn fast, I mean, you know. Yeah, fishing's not bad, I guess. I just refuse to do that shit. I just, I never really got the hang of it. I don't really like I just, it. I, I just don't like labor, you know what I mean? Your soft hands weren't made to work, is that it? No, it's not that, I just despise it. Yeah, fair play. What's going on, drummer? Oh shit, drummer. Oh shit. You all right, drummer? Hey, I'm all right, yes. Saw that shit over there in Rose. That was something else. Yes. Uh, tell me about it. Everybody got out all right? No. Oh shit. Somebody need help? 
I don't know the specifics. All I know is, well, what you saw, I saw you outside the, the gun store, no? Yeah, we was over there. I was by the general store. Yeah, yeah no, I, I see you. I thought you, you was robbing the place or something. I was a bystander. Funnily enough, the law didn't even question me. Okay. But, all right. Uh, so, yes. All I'm saying is that somebody got hurt, you know what I mean? Probably help out, maybe. That I don't know. Okay. I know all six got arrested, and I know that they cohort traded one for Hawk. As for right. injuries, I don't know. Okay. Why have you heard something I have not? No, I just heard it was a big ass shootout before all that. I see. Yes. They tried to rob the bank. Oh, oh, that's not good. Hey, that's hey, not good at go. all. Yep, time to go. go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. God damn it, Cesare. I think we're fine. I you think you're you fine, but uh, regardless. I did not. Enjoy your ride. Hey, take care of yourself, drummer. And you. Who the fuck shot? Who do you this think? is Avi. That's why we can't have nice things. Hey, I came out on top, all right? Uh-huh. Seventy dollars. Hey, I'm not sure. You want to go to the lab? You wanted to do some shit at the lab? I, I mean, I have nothing specific, but we can't. Actually, I would do want to show you all something up at the lab. All right, let's go. It's okay. Well done. Cool yeah. That's yep. right. And drill me off in his face. You tired, Tony? So May's gonna go die. Okay. It is monster. It's gonna be very interesting. Hey, Pearly, we need more uh, more labels for uh, for the meat. Hey, we do need labels here. How many labels? We need eight, right? Eight labels total? Yeah. yeah. All right, go back. Shit. Okay, well, goodbye, Cesare. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. <laughs> it's it's goodbye, been, a, <laughs> been a pleasure, Cesare. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah? Do, do you bounce like that? Yeah, good night. Take it easy. Night, Tony. Good night, Shalano. <clears throat> six wars. Yeah, we're going to be in six wars all at once. Now, the thing I'm going to show you up at the lab, it's very dangerous. Okay. What could go wrong, Shalan? Doing nothing, your experiments. Yeah, nothing could go wrong at all. I've been, uh, I've been very busy up there. I've been, uh, hooking some wires up, testing some things. You know, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse. Out of the way, asshole. Okay, you've been hooking up some wires. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Wires. Yeah, a few conductors and whatnot. Been fiddling around with that big tower out back as well. Yeah. Oh. You've been hooking up conductors, like what, like train conductors? No, it's like when you need to transfer electricity to places or certain. It's like one of the little mechanical parts inside, you know. Uh, I actually I don't know because I don't know how to make clocks or anything. I was gonna say clocks, but I don't think there's any conductors in clocks. I think that's wrong. Right. What the fuck does music have to do with electricity? No, not a, not a, okay, you're, none of you went to Oxford. It don't make any sense, I don't you fucking dead. No, that doesn't count. I went to Oxford. I refuse to have that count. <laughs> I'm just saying, by the way. Uh-huh. Just thinking about it. Uh -huh. Sam died the day I woke up from my coma. 
Well, so I think technically you won the duel. I, I, that's what I'm getting at. I think I technically <laughs> won the duel. Holy shit. You might be right. Well, I think we can stop. Once all of Sam's Club is dead, we can push the narrative that I won. <laughs> all right, we're just going to take out the rest of Sam's Club. No worries then. Okay. Yeah, it'll happen. Hey, yeah, probably. Thing is, we played a long game. They came short. Goddamn right. All right, so when we go in here, nobody touch anything. There's a very dangerous experiment I need to show you. You're just gonna walk in the door and just just stand there, okay? And I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. All I heard was touch everything. Don't do not touch everything. Do not touch everything. Come here, come here, everyone. No, Pearly! <laughs> Don't. All right, come here. Come here, everybody. Stand, stand right here by this cage. Look, look, look. Stand around by the cage. Have a look there. Looking at the cage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just look at the cage. Just look at the cage. I'm gonna touch it. Uh, I don't know if I would touch it, but you can look at it. All right, is everybody ready? Is everyone looking at the cage? Yes. Yeah. All right. Everybody count down to three for me. Three. Count on. One. Two. One. No, it's three. Three. Two, three. All right. Three. three. Yeah, close enough. Oh my God. What, what the, the fuck? What the fuck? I'm going back home. <laughs> I got the fucking conductors working. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. Get out. Stop it, stop it, stop it. There we go. Oh my god. One more time. No, I'm not, no. darling. I'm not electrocuting you. I'm not. Do you want to put it's the lever right right over here? It's this one right here. Well, don't. No, Oliver, I really don't want to electrocute you. I'm about to pull it. Okay, here we go. Can I pull it? I can fly after this. You, you should that. be able to. No, do you no, want no, me to no, do it? Does it go do it? He's good. No, he's all right. No, don't pull, pull it. Don't pull it. Uh, oh. I wait, don't. Wait, wait, wait. I really don't want to electrocute Oliver. I'm going to be honest. Is that an I'm order? Ordering you. I'm oh, ordering for you fuck's out. sake. I'm going to get superpowers from this. You're not. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, that's... Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver is the best Oliver? torture room in the world. Oliver, well, yes. Yeah, you'd be amazed what I could do if you hook up some fucking wires to certain bits. Oliver, sweetheart, darling. Hey. Darling. No, we should get Billy Blasters. All right, hear me out. Yeah. We hook his ass up. All right, and we, and we just fucking electric every bone in his fucking body. Oliver! What <laughs> about our balls? <laughs> I, I, I think we should do that. Ah, He's awake. That hurts when I have no tits. Yeah, I know. Wait, could you pull a lever one more time? What? One more? Oh, All right, yeah. everybody ready on the outsides? Hold on. <laughs> oh no, I've given them too much fun here. Do it. Are you ready? Tell you I'm a fucking vampire. That is so oh, cool. you fuck that. I'm going home. <laughs> you know, fucking hot. Hot. Damn. That's, you I said never it's seen cool like and that. now it's hot. What is it? It's both. It's all of the things. Look, I was working hard up here. Like all right. It's actually so very cool. Do, do you want to go? You, you can go. Well, I'm going to electrocute can we people. Can to the very top of the tower? Can we get on top of this building? No, you can get up in the tower behind it. Do you want to get up in the conductor tower up there? Souls did you sacrifice for Not important, Pearly. Does, does, does a lightning get up there? Uh, well, no, you should be all right. Just, you know, like keep... Your beard might get a little fuzzy, but... I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there are many practical uses to this, okay? 
But it is gonna require me to electrocute people. Oh my god, I hate that shit. Holy shit. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. stop. All right, all right, Oliver. No, 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 Oliver, no. All right, shit is time to burn. Set everything on fire. Sissy's screaming I in the tower. The you don't. Get out of my fucking laboratory. I control the weather. You do not. <laughs> oh, God. Listen, I, you gotta have fun occasionally. Oh, no, they're up in the tower. He wants to see it from up in the tower. I actually kind of do, too. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> that is... Yeah, right? Uh, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably pretty dangerous up here, would be honest. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting okay. down. I'm, I'm getting... No, what? No! <laughs> Why do they look like they've been mauled by a fucking cougar up here? Holy shit. I told you, Cesario, I work hard up here, okay? Holy shit. <laughs> Mad scientist, she's about to make Frankenstein. A masterpiece that you have created. I appreciate that. You know, if Oliver really wasn't going to wake up, I was going to drag him up here and just strap him to that table. Jesus Christ. And, you know, ooh. I got that tree. Yeah, well done, Cesare. Well done. <laughs> All right, stand. Holy shit. Oh my God. Cesare is the perfect specimen for Frankenstein's monster. I can rebuild him. I have the technology. You look a little crispy there, sissy. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think this is you think this is funny? Sissy and Cesare got a little crispy. Okay, so well, you should probably take a look at sissy because I think I've seen some some guts hanging out. Oh, yeah, she's uh, yeah, it, it gets a little gnarly up there. Who's who's good there? <laughs> Oh. Hey, sissy. <laughs> How's it hanging? Wait, where is Cesare? Cesare? He's right Cesare? there. Look how crispy he is. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it ain't as bad. I told you it was what fucking happened? dangerous. You fine. You fine. <laughs> What happened? You're not as bad as sissy. No. Oh uh, my god. Wait, what are you, what is, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. <laughs> it's all fine. You're all Only good. Only how many times did you pull it? I don't, I don't, I wasn't counting. I was just pulling. <laughs> no more <laughs> touching things in the laboratory. <laughs> Now, here it goes. No. Oh, shit. Okay, now I'm gonna. 
I'm able to kick that shit out of you. But lightning. Okay, should, no. I'm gonna lock that door. But lightning. No, no more. But, but, but. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like a bear. He looked like one before. No, no, no. He really looks like one now. Pearly hates you. Everyone hates you. I love it here. <laughs> I, I, I want to go home. I want to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, let's go settle this family, huh? What the fuck is going on? Oh, okay. Leaving? I, I thought leaving? you needed to help us out. Yeah, we're leaving. I guess. I mean, uh, we're leaving. I guess. I mean, that's that's okay. It's showed everyone the important shit I needed to show us. It, sh it shocked the pomade out of his hair. <laughs> He's lucky he didn't have that to roam fro. <laughs> I told you it was dangerous. So I think you all thought I was joking. Yeah, I, I don't know. Sissy, how you... Uh... Chris... <laughs> Crispy and crusty. Shut up, Sloan. Oh, mm-hmm. She's the crust anymore. She's the crisp. Don't get the crack. <laughs> okay? Keep it up. <laughs> this is about to crack off on you. Stuttery, sissy, the crusty, the crisp. Oh, we're making a song now. Holy Let's shit. Stuttery, sissy, the crusty, the crisp. Came down from the mountain. With a lisp. She sounded very. Oh. <laughs> I'll just stay in here, I guess. This is a, guys, this is a joke. You guys, alright? Yeah, let's go. Let's get out of here. Do we have everybody? Uh, yeah, I think we do. Where's Sissy? Where's Flo? We have to pop. Oh, I'm the only one in the carriage. Everybody else is being a reprobate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're on the fucking front, you idiot. Good lord. Okay, all right. Heck it is. Damn. They have, they have partner fights and shit. Look at that. This is... Really? No, it's not that because we fight like that all the time, always. So... Are we having partner fights, Zarek? When, when, I, when I fight oh. with you. Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah. You guys want to check your telegrams real quick? Yeah, hey, stop it, stop it. <laughs> now we gotta wait for Ali. It's gonna take two fucking days. His old man hobble up to the door. Never ends. <laughs> Sissy is... Sissy's dead, man. <laughs> Holy fuck. Listen, we gotta find something to call her crunchy, too. So it's crusty, crispy, crunchy. Um, there's a prickhead. So you have the reins. Yeah, oh, why'd you give them to me? Take us home. Cause you're better, you know, navigate. Oh, all right. We are going back to the house, yeah? Yeah. Sissy the crisp, the crust, the crunch. <laughs> I don't know about the crunch, Nat. <laughs> I think the crunch might be a little too much. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, I don't want to, you know, say anything, but uh, uh, maybe it was a bad. Maybe it's too soon. Punch uh, it, crack it. Oh, like he cracks your lips. Hurley. Oh. <clears throat> Awkward. Let's not bully Sissy, all right? 
I wasn't saying shit. Remember, she's uh, the queen of the yard. Does it, what happened to you up there? I mean, what do you mean? What I mean? When I was in the tower, yeah, I was getting electrocuted. That's what was happening. Yeah, her and Cesare were being thrown around like little dolls, getting electrocuted. It wasn't <laughs> fun, all right. It was, it was just fucking. And Oliver's was just down there flipping party. the switch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop by the barbers, please. Stop by the barbers, real quick. You gotta fix your hair. Gotta go I gotta look to at myself. Jerome. I gotta look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> Vibes, man. It feels nice. It feels nice to not be at war with people. Like I, I really can't. Well, you can't just give me a lever right that now. says this will make an explosion happen on demand and not expect me to pull it as many. You're not times allowed as to possible. touch anything at the fucking lab anymore. You're not. When has being allowed to do something stopped me from doing? I'm gonna start stabbing you. Is what's gonna okay, happen. James Kelly. What the fuck you did you just say? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, they take it easy, all right? It's a fucking Did joke. Did you just compare me? Zara said it first. The James, no, you both. No, it doesn't matter who said it first, Pearly. You both Zara did. Zara said it first. You both did. <laughs> I didn't see it. The vice it is, is so nice, man. There's a lantern on this fucking wagon, and I just hey, so happen okay. to have a gun. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, that works. <laughs> I'm immune to fire. It's that right. Lantern happens. Oh, hey, hey. Hey. You know, uh... <laughs> Listen, I don't even know what to call Shlan. Is she a sister? Is she, you know, uh... Oh. I'm gonna just mind my business. Yeah, I, that's probably for the best. I think I'm gonna mind my own business as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I feel like that. that's... You know, as your, your family myself. doctor... I think it's probably best, health-wise, if everyone minds their own business. Uh, my sister, you're my sister. Uh huh. You're her, yeah. You're her, yeah. You're her sister. Baba shop. Hey, yeah. <laughs> God. And he just. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Do we have on us? So many fucking knives for some reason. Yeah, it's really, really nice to not be at war with anyone right now. Like, it's really nice to just drive around and vibe and not be worried about someone shooting me at all times. You know, like, I think I'm probably gonna arrest it. I think so. Sloan might not even be wanted. I may be completely insane and Sloan might not be wanted. But I'm pretty sure that they were gonna come after her the other day. Now, I had, for some reason, I had all these fucking knives in my, um. My thing, yeah. Can't imagine. I don't know any. But that's the thing, like, it could be. It's, <laughs> Sloan has been wanted yep. for many things before. Yep. Oh. Don't, you can't say anything. I mean, just don't say nothing. <laughs> Let's just go home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't feel too good. You don't feel too good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, uh, very energetic, you know what I mean? I, uh... I feel uh -huh. like I'm on a fucking marathon. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, side effects. Sonny's gonna be like, where the fuck have you been? Who the fuck is that just standing in the middle of the road? Who, where? It's, um... The, 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 the cop? Oh, it's a cop. 
He's <laughs> directing traffic. Of course. Sloan, <laughs> Sloan takes the widest fucking turns, man. It does. Oh my god, because when I don't, you all scream and complain that I'm cutting things too close. Sorry, just that little mad because he's not drifting the wagon. Hey. <laughs> Please, please. I'm gonna move it. <laughs> what, you didn't like locking everyone in the fucking house earlier? That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Prilly was wanted for the Bastille thing for ages. Oh my god, look at them. I was just looking to go up there and explore, and all of a sudden they hit me, and me and Sissy were on the ground. We were. Maron. Listen. Hey, sorry, I'm just. Look, you can fix that with some pomade, and I'm telling you, it, <laughs> it's amazing. We make sacrifices for science, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah fucking. Yeah. We gotta poison the meat. Yeah, let's go. Well, you want me to swim? Want me to pomade my hair? Let me pomade my fucking hair. <laughs> Change canteen, Phil, darling. Uh -huh. yeah, do you need a canteen filled? Uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> the two of them are. <laughs> We're never going back up to the lab. It's never happening. We can't go back to the lab ever. You want to take Sonny to the lab? No, because he's going to kill Sloan. Because he's going to know for sure that she's some weird vampire overlord then. And he's going to fucking kill Sloan. <laughs> oh my god, it fucked him up so bad. That's so funny. Sloan is dealing in black magics, we know that. You you really you really need a bath. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I, I I didn't listen, I didn't I told you to stand by the door and keep your hands to yourselves. Whatever happened after that is not my fault. Pulled in the level like I, I was, was trying. trying. I was just pulling the level. I was just flip, 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 flip just over and over here. Yeah. Blicked it like a bean. <laughs> Pearly? <laughs> Pearly? <laughs> and he just walks away. I can't deal with that man. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I, I, out of nowhere. Is that going in the bed? What's he doing? No, he just came out of the kitchen. Yeah, I don't know. He's cooking. Oh, God. Nobody's allowed up at the laboratory anymore. No, we, we, we need Will not stop that. me. Ass. Did you want to take another walk? To to get you two sure. cleaned up? Yes. Yeah. I just want to sit here at the porch. No, well, we aren't very fond of the porch. I do actually got to take a shit upstairs, though. So I'll just stay here. You need to stay here, Shalom? 
I, uh, yeah, I'll make sure he doesn't fall down the stairs and die. All right, Master Z. <clears throat> oh my God, the two of them. <laughs> Sorry, we're being kind of quiet here, guys. I'm, I'm just, I'm just having some caffeine. I'm, I'm really tired all of a sudden. I fucking hate when that happens. Y'all are just vibing, and then suddenly you're like exhausted, no reason. <laughs> Yeah, I just took some caffeine. We'll be alright. I just need to perk up a little bit. Howdy daddy. What medical stuff did Sloan cook up with the lab to help Oliver? Um, so we determined that part of the reason he was still- Medically, part of the reason he was still in the coma was- And this is kind of what happens, especially in the, the day and age. Um, they don't have- Like, they don't have liquid feeding or anything. They don't have anything that, um... That keeps people alive in modern day comas, right? So they don't have intubation, they don't have breathing machines, they can't keep you fed, they can't, like, they can't sustain your body when it doesn't function. They can't maintain brain function. So, um, part of the kind of menarpy that we determined was the fact, because this is, this is truly what happens after about day four in a coma, in this time period, you pretty much don't wake up. Um, 
and it's because you, you like you have no nutrition and that's you know Oliver keeps saying he's lost like a hundred pounds he's lost almost half his body weight you know he he looks like fucking <laughs> he looks like the Christian Bale but yeah like this is the thing he looks fucking terrible so the the thing that Sloane kind of tried to do there's um obviously at this time period there's no synthesized uh, benzodiazepines or anything like that uh, or non-benzodiazepines or anything like that so basically what it is, um, there was certain research at the time and, and certain theories about stuff, and she was kind of in her last ditch effort. So it was it was a combination of, don't tell him, but a tiny bit of cocaine, a little bit of things that would kind of like stimulate his system in a very mild way. Um, like a little bit of cocaine, a little bit of morphine, tiny, 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 like little micro doses of it, right? Um, a little bit of psychogenic kind of drugs like mushrooms and stuff that she had that would help with that. Things to kind of help wake him up and get him awake. Not necessarily like functional or aware of consciousness, but enough to get him awake so that she could feed him. Yeah, and the machinist. Yeah, the machinist. <laughs> Basically getting him up awake enough so that he could eat. Because she was doing that periodically through the couple weeks. Um, you know, any time when he was barely conscious enough to like swallow she would be feeding him like super you know super nutritious like broth and stuff which would help a lot you know like a tiny bit of bread whatever she could get in him really um so that was kind of what happened and then she just kept she didn't let him rest into it she just kept pushing him and pushing him with a little bit and then he'd eat something and drink something and basically just give him enough energy to actually wake up properly does that make sense D does that make sense guys <laughs> yeah, that's why, especially in the first 24 hours when he got up, he was, like, super fucked up on st shit, because, yeah. Because non-benzodiazepines are something that they actually use in this day and age to, to help wake people out of comas. Obviously, it wasn't in access at the time, but there was a lot of, you know, holistic medicine and stuff like that. People would work through herbs and mushrooms and plants and whatever else and you combine that with some of the chemicals and what they did know at the time and and you know it, and it's role play at the end of the day so you kind of you scooch a little bit you try this you supplement da, da, da. but yeah does that answer the question Oh boy. Jesus Christ. If, you, if uh -huh. not, then I'll find someone else at the right. If I'll just cancel it, it doesn't matter. You two look lovely. Nice. Yeah. There's our mm -hmm. shit in the tub. Oh, again. Why oh, did that? Why did that? She, 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 she did something to it. Fucking another person walked in, was like, walked in, was like, what the fuck is this? I said, Cesare, did you shit in the tub? He's like, shit! Oh, you did? Okay, great. Yeah. Wow. Should really see a doctor about that. Not me, though. She's a liar. A liar. Oh, that's a heavy accusation, Cesar. Look at her. She's... Look at her back there. All right, that, that Cheshire grin does say a little bit, yeah. Mm. How could you see? You didn't even turn around! Out of the corner of my eye. I'm always watching, sissy. I'm always watching. Always watching. Always watching. Uh, where <laughs> the fuck have you been? Every time. <laughs> Every time he opens those fucking doors. You shit in the tub? <laughs> no. I didn't shit no that way. You, you actually thought that all through and wasn't just... Oh, dude, I... I... <laughs> PubMed is my yeah. favorite Barely site in the good. world. I, like, I'm well, not kidding. Like about the, about singing to me about lightning. Like, I don't, I don't know if any yeah. of you guys use this. Hang on. I'm dirty. Hang on. I'm going to show you guys here. I'm going to show you real quick. So. What the fuck? We just came from there. Yeah, I know. PubMed. Dirty. National right. Library of Medicine. It's all these 
free articles. You oh can search God. anything. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, and you God. get all of these studies, all of this shit that actually comes up. Um, historical papers, all kinds of shit. Like, all kinds of shit. So I... And again, PubMed is a rabbit hole, man. Yeah, it is international. It's great. It's not just American medicine. Um, but again, please, please, please do not take anything that I say on stream as like actual medical advice or anything like that. Because it's not down. what it is. Uh -huh. You sure you don't want to go to Guarma? I mean... I... Cesare, what the fuck am I going to do in Guarma? I don't know. Take samples of the fucking local frogs and make a poison out of it. I don't fucking know. I mean, psychogenics, maybe. Like a who? N n never mind. Follow who? Okay. I, do you really want me to go to Guarma? $500 to go to an island that's just going to be miserable and hot and full of mosquitoes? God, it is so expensive. Uh, why? Why? 500 fucking dollars, says Ari. I could get a new gun for that. I might get a new gun. I could get a horse. What do I want to go fucking Guarma for five hundred dollars? And then when I'm over there, I could get we could all get robbed of all our fucking money, and then we don't come home, huh? What? What then? Oh shit! I never thought of that. What if the four of us go over to Guarma? We get robbed of all our money. There's no telegrams either. You can't telegram home or nothing like that. I'm pretty sure. Holy shit, we'd be so, fucked with it. Yeah, we go over to Guarba, we get robbed of all of our fucking shit because we're not prepared because we get off the boat and we go, oh, what a beautiful fucking island. Well, and seemed okay. No, and then a dozen pirates come out of a fucking cave on the beach and they hold us up and they take all our money and all our guns and all our clothing and everything else. And then we wander around the island and nobody knows we're there. And we never Wait. go home. You see, uh... Um, what's his name? Captain Henderson's over there. Are we cool with him? No. no. Okay. Absolutely fucking not. Okay. Well, yeah, we're screwed if we go there. We have no allies whatsoever, so they may just take every little thing we fucking have. I don't know why everyone wants to get a Guarma so badly. I can get a suntan here in Lemoyne. That's won't. not true. I, I can get a sunburn here in Lemoyne, but yes. <laughs> I still want to go. It still sounds very exciting. I mean, listen, you two. I think you should 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 definitely go together. We need two more. I mean, you look the part right now. I don't think what? anyone would fuck with you. Motherfucker! I'm just saying that you know you're very frizzy. <laughs> It wasn't my fault, sissy. I told you all not to run around and touch things. Yeah, she did say that. She did. <laughs> and now he's got pneumonia and he's gonna die. I'm gonna die. Thank you. I mean, we're all <laughs> dying technically. So. You speak for yourself. Uh, vampire! Vampire! <laughs> <laughs> You know, the curious thing, for as much as you all bully me about potentially being a vampire, none of you want me to leave or die about it. So do you just, are you just trying to recruit a vampire? Is that the whole thing? The vampire is already recruited. Oh. Why did you say it like that? <laughs> the vampire screwed. is already recruited. <laughs> you did. Uh, according to my calculations, <laughs> the vampire is already recruited. <laughs> Listen, I might feel a little bit schmat with this hair, right? Like I, uh, I'm a, like the world's biggest genius, right? I electrocuted you know, more thoughts hair, into his brain. Look, yeah, with that hair, you look like you have an idea. <laughs> I remember everything. 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 What happened in That's the War of 1812? It ended. There you go. Well done. Nice. Good save. He's not wrong. I mean, he, he really isn't. He really isn't. We might have worked a miracle up there. How about a short-term memory? I mean, he remembered my name, so I think he's okay. Oh, Gwyn. Oh, see? There you go. Sure, yeah, Sean O'Gwyn. <laughs> Sean, yeah. 
<laughs> that would be the best disguise name, by the way. Sean. We go, we go rob something, allegedly. If we ever go do rob something, we'll just... Sloan will be Sean. That's it. I do like that, actually. It's not bad. I don't think they would ever connect that, in fairness. Nope. Imagine if one day we became outlaws. Ugh. Ugh. I, I was an outlaw already. Do you forget that part? Yeah. It's not fun. It involved a lot of sand. Aren't we just sophisticated outlaws? Organized outlaws? Organized, comfortable with style. That's too much of a mouthful. Oh, you're being awful. What? <sighs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> 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 yeah. Kind of like, you know, <laughs> you, you process that, that for a minute. <laughs> yeah, that one, that one took uh, a minute. <laughs> wait, Christ. what? I've given him too many thoughts now. It's taking longer for him to sort through all of them. Jesus wait, wait Christ. Sonny did take my rocking chair when I was 12. Wait, Sonny stole your rocking chair? Yeah, yeah, he fucking, I mean, you know, it... it, it Allegedly. There was a time... When it was the only Viking chair in the house, he was 12 and I was six. Why is he talking like this? It's the electricity. And it was his fucking turn, man, but it was my turn. It, it, it wasn't his turn. So in revenge, <laughs> in order for him not to take it, I shed on it and I shed on it all over it. Oh. Oh. That's upsetting. I was, I was six years old, all right? Take it easy. So nothing has changed, then. Eh? Oh, hello. Yeah, you just shit just in the oh, tub. I was gonna ask you some... Oh, fuck. I'll, I'll ask you later. Listen, I had to shit on it. It was like a... Uh, come on, Sadiq. The fuck you talking hey. about? Come on, come hey, on. Hey, Leo, how you doing? Hey. I, I, like I, can't, I can't help... Like, uh, martyrdom? martyrdom? Yeah, you know, you like... You're saying shitting, shitting, on, shitting on a rocking chair when you were six is martyrdom? Yeah. I think the Pope no. is getting an aneurysm right now. I think yeah. the Pope is currently having a migraine. Get off like the table, Leo. What does that mean? Whoa. What the fuck does that mean? A Pope is having a migraine. Like... Which, do you know what a martyr I is? No, 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 no. I meant like, uh, you what know, uh, like dropping the like... douche before, you know, <sighs> passing. You know what well, I mean? Well, you know, uh. <laughs> oh my god. Is it Sloan just can me? harness lightning. Is it just me, or if uh, if Cesare were to shave his beard, he would? I feel like he would start saying, you know, "Step on my blue straight shoes" or something like that. I thought he was gonna start singing about lightning. Personally. Yeah, I yeah, I electrocuted them. All right, everyone relax. Sloan can summon lightning. Can you? Yeah, yeah not a joke. She has, she has created a machine <laughs> to summon lightning. Oh shit. Uh huh. And Oh, shit. And I just, I flipped the lever a whole bunch of Did times. Did you try to I, kill him? Is that, is that, would you? No, no, they I, I went just, where I told them not to go. I said, don't go over there and don't touch nothing. I said, nobody touched fucking nothing. And then the oh, two of them. Oh, I did that too. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's you already yeah. Went over to the corner and did it. And then Oliver flipped the switch about 13, 14 times. So I was oh, trying oh. to prove, I was trying to oh. test the James oh. Kelly theory. Give okay. me. Oh, I'm God. sorry. What was the James Kelly? Oh, nobody. They got nobody. shook around like a couple of beans in a maraca. Yeah, the James, we did. Okay. Yeah. 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 Put the fucking yeah. gun away. Yeah. The James, the James Kelly, Kelly? No. Yeah. 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 The James Kelly know. theory <laughs> is... is yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, 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 nah. No. No, I think you agree with me. No. I think the James no. Kelly theory I, I is just... The James Kelly theory. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yelling as loud as you possibly no, can. No, no, no. I think that's the entire theory. Ow! Ow! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I just get hit by what the fuck was that? The cane. He's hitting people with his fucking cane. Oh, sadly, he needs it to walk. Oh, 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 put the fucking oh, head shit, on. Put, put the head on. Put the fucking head on. No, no, I'm gonna keep it off. Oh, oh sissy. I, I, I could have done this. <laughs> Direct from Butcher's Creek. Listen, let me. 
All right, but that what was the fuck did you do? It's not that bad, you know. Well, you need to put a lock on that lever. I need to lock the entire laboratory down, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's full of ethanol and fucking electricity. Also, you motherfucker, I'm not doing the I look like your creation. Like, you created me in a fucking mother. I do. I look like I created both of you. <laughs> You're my monsters. I love it. Oh, oh. 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 that almost just slipped into my stomach. Oh, just like when you stabbed me, Leo. Remember that time? The hell am I listening to? Something oh. slipping in his stomach. What the oh. fuck is he Glad talking I about? Didn't. I don't know. Leo stabbed me once. That was fun. I was ready. I was so. I knew it. I knew it. Oh. Take the fucking cane away from him. Slow. No, Sit I him down and take his cane no, away. I, I can't. It. No, I, he, he does need his cane, actually. He's 87. You have, like, a pistol in the bottom of it? No, I have a knife. Ah, shit. It would it be so cool if into you, like, a knife. one shot a at the bottom of the, the cane. Like one pistol round at the back, very bottom. Don't Don't look at it. Don't look. Please don't look down it. I don't know. I don't think it's a gun. Okay, sweetheart. It's all cylindrical and shit in there. Yeah, can you stop looking down huh? the barrel no. of your no, gun cane, please? With like, uh, like, like a, there's like grooves in it. Upwards, you know? You said you got more. Ah. Yeah, yeah oh. Starling, that's hey, give rifling. Give me some room, man. What's don't, your, what's everybody inside? stop staring yeah. down the barrel of I, a gun, please. I'm getting very oh, nervous. Yeah, take a look. Take a look in there. Hey, what this button I though? Too far. I See, don't know. Let's try. Nah. Like wanna, a no, 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 no! Don't, 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 don't! No, that's a left. Oh. Oh shit! Oh, okay. Shit. Oh my god! Holy oh. shit! No! It's a gun! It's a gun! It's a gun! What the fuck? That went right between us. Holy, Holy shit! shit. Why did none of us know that? Because it hit me so fucking hard. I right. hate it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this, this hit me with your how, do I, how do I reload <laughs> it? Jesus Christ. I guess it's like a muzzle over there or something. Just shit, rub it right? up and down. Maybe like, like a musket? Yeah, yeah like a musket. Wait, bro, yeah. what up? No, there's. Do you see the little button on the side yeah, there that looks like you pop it open? Oh. And then it's like your fucking. Yeah. yeah. There you go. It's like your Litchfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my I god. You are all giving me a fucking aneurysm. Get over it. Get over it. No one almost died. It's fine. Oh, yeah. No one died. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, now, fuck me. No one died. Yeah. I think Dahlia's throwing up or something. Is she? Uh, yeah, she, she, said, she, she said she's stomach, gone to the bathroom. What, is she pregnant? Yeah, she, Jesus she, Christ. She ran, she ran oh, past no, us with coming a out hand over her mouth. She stopped drinking. Oh, where's... Uh, Good for her. Where is, where is she? Oh, yeah, well, no, so... Not... Upstairs. Huh? Oh, shit. How'd you know she was throwing up? Cause she ran past me with a hand over her mouth like she was about to throw up. Oh, Jesus. Well, well, yeah, Is that why she's all sweaty? Let me... No, I thought she was just nervous, Sloan. Yeah, I said it I, to be fair. Um... Is very, um... So... Is that either thinking about some other shit or is just... I don't know if you guys can hear it. What the fuck? I need the dog crunching next to me. The rabbit yeah. is eating a very crunchy little ice cream head. cone next to me on the floor. And he's really oh. cute, but I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let's go. Huh? What? What's What's yeah, happening? I, I, we all go. Negative four. Negative four. <laughs> I can't have oh. a serious meeting with his head. Well, the non pomade version is just as bad. Uh, come again to, to what? To something? What associates? Is this a private meeting, Leo? Do you just want to talk to Cesare alone? No, I, no, it's it's fine. Is this? I can't hear this. Right. Today's news associates. Yeah. Oh. oh okay. I also wow. can't wow. hear Whoa. what he's saying. What are you talking about? I can't hear him. 
shit. All right. Well, I'm going to speak here. No, I, I'm asking if we can break the news to their associates. I don't know. You know, I, we have I was discussion. yeah, I was going to say that when you guys before you guys rolled up, I was yeah, yeah, just no, going to ask that. I, I did not. I have not done it yet. About what? About Carlo. Look, um, <sighs> I feel like the only Dahlia knows, but not NG. No, no, well, no, not. I don't. I. I don't know about that. She, I mean, she was. Why would we not tell the other associates if she was at the funeral? Right. You know, they're presumed dead. We use presume, right? That, that's that's both they know, or they know. Look, um, I think we got to make it very clear as to what associates should know and what they shouldn't. What soldats need to know, what made members of this family can know, what they cannot know, and what captains are usually involved in. Somebody already requested this a long time ago. I think it was either Ollie or Olivia, one of the two. And also me. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Mikey as well, actually. I don't think Angie knows anything, honestly. So... My thoughts on this is keeping people entirely out of the loop. No news to a point where they're asking, like, what the fuck is going on is bad. That's how you lose people. That's how people don't really have much trust or they feel like they're not trusted at all. Remember, these people are associates in the family because we have, to a degree, a little bit of trust with them, right? Right. To a degree. We, we trust them more than the than the than the average friend on the street or you know now associates in this family know a lot that is true do we need to compartmentalize and and have a little bit of in, info infosec info security absolutely can they know about olivia passing they have to can they know about carlo being awake Carlo's a soldier. Carlo's a senior to the associates. They should know that Carlo is alive. That we found him. Do they need to know the story behind Carlo and Olivia? No, they don't. Because that's for soldats. That's for made members of the family to know. And everybody above. Yeah. No, I, no. I really just wanted to check in, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, but I'm kind of explaining it here in a general sense, right? So you can okay. kind of spread the word a little bit as well. So that's... They need to be aware of most things. Now, we've had issues in the past with, you know, the maid guys or... So that's leaving the family and spreading information, so... It can happen anyway. It, it, it could have happened with Olivia being a Kabul regime. We don't know. When there are specific orders given to people, orders that have to do with the deaths of certain people, we usually keep those uh, under wraps as much as possible. Right. Couple regimes, but it, you know, I'm, I don't have a full crew of couple regimes, so I need uh, whenever it's done, maybe a maid member is going to be there, maybe two, maybe a couple of soldats are going to be there too, right? So they're going to know uh, either way. But the point is, the orders and the, the details of the, of the orders should stay within the capital regime and the made members of the family. <laughs> and, and Sloan, who knows everything. I know it's confusing. It's, it's, it's a very gray yeah, area. A little. I, I don't, I don't it's think not, it's confusing. I think it's just that we're at a weird transitionary period where some people know some things and some don't. And yeah, we yeah, gotta, yeah, we gotta that's shake true. things back as they were. And, uh, yeah. No, Plus, it's... um, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, I'll let you finish. No, no, go ahead, please, please. Oh, I was just gonna say, since Dio, you know, was there and knows what to say, in case you know who gets brought up, Angie doesn't know a goddamn thing, you know, so he doesn't know what to say. Right. So he needs to be explained to him. I don't want any details being explained as to what happened no. exactly. Well, no, 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 that's, no, but, you know. 
think you know she's in New York. Yeah, no, anyway, I just yeah, I just wanted to check back in and uh, see. Cause, um, I just want to make sure nobody's listening. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, Ollie, you good? You hear me over there? We're good. We're good. Yeah. Just making sure nobody's listening when they shouldn't be. Right. All right. I am speaking normally for everybody's reference. Yeah, you can <laughs> hear. Yeah, you okay. can hear him on the stairway. Right, but there's nobody on the stairway, yeah. Look, um, like I said, keeping people in the blue, not ideal. But major things like, uh, you know, kill orders, the whole Effie and Nash thing, it should have been kept to sort that level, made member level, because those are the members that participated in the act, right? Yeah. No, um, no, I, I just want to know. Is, uh, you know, I mean, the last time, you know, Carlos being presumed that was told to Dahlia. So I went ahead and I, and I told her, Angie, too. And I said, listen, this is all I'm going to give you. Don't ask questions. I'm just saying what I have. So I just told him that, you know, probably we're not going to see Carlo around. He's nah, presumed you, that. You can tell him that we, that we found him. All right. He's okay. They should know. They should know. All right. They should, they should know that, that a soldat is coming back home and then that he'll be okay. Like I said, keeping him in, keep him in, him in the blue is not a good idea. Not, not, yeah, not no, thing, right? especially since, you know, Carlo and Dolly had this whole, some business plan worked out or something. Right, exactly. Uh, look, there, there is no book to this. There is no book... I wish there was. I wish there was a manual for fucking the life. <laughs> it, it don't exist. And if you're going to write one, then you should shoot yourself in the fucking head. Yeah. If you're not sure whether or not to include somebody, just ask. Okay? Yeah. That's why I came here. Yeah. I'm still, you know, I'm still learning the ropes. I'm slowly getting into it. Yeah, yeah I know. You're getting there. Any questions, though? Because I, I don't think it's entirely still clear to you. And it's fine, by the way, that it's not clear. I can't answer your questions, though. I mean... I, I think it's clearer, that's for sure. I don't have any questions right now. You know, you, you just explain, you know, deaths of higher ranking members or uh, they should know about it, but maybe not the circumstances. Yeah. They don't have to know, you I know, mean, unless you it was, unless it was like, let's say, you know, there was a gunfight in Shane Denny and I don't know, Jack Ketterman shot and then in a fight and then died, you know? Right. It's different because you know that's that would mean war. He's time, not a you know, he's, war. What? <laughs> he's not a. He's that not was, a <laughs> gunfight happen, and that would be you know that would involve everybody. Right, 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 exactly. Jack Kettleman is a I mean, part of the family. Everything pertinent to the war. <laughs> that can you know they they they, they should know. <laughs> I think he just. Uh, I think yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if, if 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 for example we make any agreements or anything like that. This is really like funny. That, he uh, phrased it like Kettleman was. From like the any, family. any any organization meetings that I you love have, it. like you and, and another gang or. or Outfit or whatever. Yeah, they don't have to know about that. They don't have to know the details of the contents yeah. of what you spoke with them, right? That you can just let them know that hey, everything's okay. You know, we're gonna go yeah. deliver this, or we're gonna do this, we're gonna talk to this. That's it. I mean, I'm I'm mostly going by reference of you know what I experienced as an associate because I experienced the. Uh, I would say the, how how would you say that the real experience, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, before before all this kerfuffle with the war and size. Jack Edelman for Consing. You know, yep. Being yep. almost yep. always Set 50 feet yep. away from yep. the conversation. You got it. You got it. And I was totally fine with that. I know what things were. I didn't take offense to it. That's part of growing too. If you see people taking offense to being excluded from certain meetings, and you can say, hey, listen, 
Uh, you stay here. You, you you keep an eye out. If anything happens, you let me know. But yeah. everybody else comes in, right? You just keep the associates outside or whatever. If they feel offended because of that, that's a red flag. It makes yeah, it hard right. to try and I mean, balance keeping info to certain people like and trying to not anywhere, cut people out right? of the RP to an extent. You, uh, you, you get a job to get it to be a gardener. I think... Do your best being a gardener. Actually, you ask me about that again life. after this conversation because right. I want to talk about that a little bit. You know, Somebody asked me about that after. Paint houses. Do your best painting houses. You're going to do good. You're going to be the best fucking house painter. The best gardener. Be the best in what you do. So if they want to be the best fucking... I don't know. Person to keep a lookout. That's great. It's a good way to grow. Now, Slan, Ollie, uh, maybe Sissy, any questions from your end that ain't uh, too clear? Yeah, makes sense to me. I ask questions in the moment <coughs> if I'm confused about something. Yeah. Look, InfoSec is extremely important, and we've been at war for the past couple of months. And like, like Sloan said, we're in a transition period right now. During war, people needed to know things, and there was no way for them to not know things. Either because it was extremely public or extremely obvious. Yeah. Or because they, they needed to know, right? So um, yeah. now that we're kind of on a downtime, this whole this last two events that have happened with two of our family members, we're going to keep that tight-knit, all right? Nobody should be talking about this outside. That's right. about it, though. So how is, how because Dahlia is already kind of on like a like a probation, right, one week type of thing. Yeah, that was my uh, question. Um, forgive me if this doesn't this is very funky of how I word this, but so if you're saying like some associates are more business leading in towards they shouldn't really know certain things as far as goes to like war stuff and. Those are stuff of any of those lines, or it doesn't really matter. I don't know if I'm wording that correctly, but if you get what I mean. Not really. Like, should some associates be more business centric in which right. they don't need to be involved in family matters, right. but still reporting to the family? <laughs> so, like, indirect associates? So, for example, uh, I don't know, like, Effie has a group of people that are running coal for her. Like, like those, you mean? Or. Or like Dahlia, that's not that. I, I mean, want to so use Dahlia like, as, as an example. Go ahead and do it. Like for both Angie and Dahlia, yes. Like, you know, anything that's more like family, why should they know about it, or should they more step that like, got it too? Just business Agreed. stuff. Agreed. But yeah, I do want to that's talk like about related. that after. They should they they should know about the businesses and then what and what happens if okay. it's uh if it's an illicit business that we're trying to keep under wraps. I don't know, buying gold bars or, you know, buying bonds if we were ever to do that again, then we keep that stuff kind of under wraps because if we decide that they're not a good part of the family and we... <laughs> when and did we Sloan become the translator? Go, that information's going to be out there. Oh, maybe, maybe they want to fuck us over in a, in a revenge act, right? So we're allowed to but, inform them but not elaborate. Exactly. We'll just say that we have a business with certain people, maybe. That's fine. Um... If it's legal business, completely fine to go into the details of that. We have to be careful what kind of information we give to our associates because they can they can be it can be harmful in the future. Of course. Does that answer your question? It does. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, most we have to, most people have to kind of relearn about this because a lot of people came in while where there was you know, war time and every information was shared around this. But I, I, I think it's good that we're making a distinction again. Yeah. And there, there will be times when. Use as so that's I mean, Leo, you're 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 in a you're in a kind of a weird you know position. Say, weird position because you don't have your button yet, but you are still assuming the role of uh, Kabul regime, basically. Yeah, that's super weird. I know it's a <laughs> it weird thing. But super very weird. Big family decisions are left to members that are made members that are Kabul regimes, and of course, anything above. So. 
Ja, så gleder jeg meg. Så til you in particular, it's... It, I wouldn't no, say there's an I, exception, but Ali, really I don't think Dahlia had any punishment. Things as far as I know, she hasn't gotten any, any punishment. Final decisions, right? I know she has a timer right. on being and successful or she's out. Future, but you know, but I don't think there's been any punishment. I mean, that's all I'm doing. I'm just doing my thing, you know? Yeah. I'm not worried about anything. Good. So, Dahlia, she... Any progress there? I know yesterday we kind of told her to get her shit together, but... I mean, she's uh, getting off the hooch. Uh, she's... Um, I don't know. I haven't had any problems with her since, so that's good. Uh, I think she's... As well. has, has that made any progress at all, or is it still just words? Yeah, it's starting to shape up more, but still nothing. How, how is it starting to shape up more? Is she making well, contact with other people? Yeah, is... she's making contact with other people. Yeah, she is. Yeah. She has been. She's out there. She's setting things up. Okay, uh, we need results. We need to. Uh, yeah, yeah. They don't want to retroactively to punish people. I mean, they retroactively punish Sissy. It's, it's not just. It's not just about, okay, I'm so going we'll to make see. X amount of money. It's about her actually doing what she says she's going to fucking do. You know what I mean? The yeah. ideas she had, they're very complex and they're very big ideas to get off the ground right now. Yeah. Exactly. I don't want to be bullshitted, is what I'm trying to say. I don't want her to come over here and tell me she's going to bring fucking automobiles to Saint Denis and it's never going to fucking happen. Oh, don't get me excited. <laughs> I'm saying that, you know? No blue balls. <laughs> yeah. No blue balls. Now I asked you about Angela the other time. A couple of days ago, maybe it was yesterday. It was yesterday, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's um he's starting to work with the uh, Dahlia now with this whole thing, helping her out. He's also asked me to uh, help out with Punch Drunk. Now look, um, that is good, and then and it is good that he is open to finding a business venture. Hold on, give me a second. There it is. Mm -hmm. um, there it is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> Fucking here. There needs to be a distinction in this family here, okay? Not everybody is an earner. Right? Not everybody's got big, big business ideas. Not everybody's got a line of business like coal or um, fighting events or. Uh, you lick a business, Leo. You know what I mean? Not everybody's like that. There are two t different types of people in this family. You got the muscle, and you got the brains. Some people are one, some people are both. But there can't be neither, you know what I mean? Right. So, for example, Carlo... Let's let's use Carlo as an example. Yeah, good night, step daddy. You're you right. You You're right on that one too. Good night. Brains, Thanks for stopping by, man. Or is he more muscle, or is he both of them? You just tell me. Muscle. More muscle. Yeah. Muscle. There you go. Yeah, he's he's smart, but I'd say muscle, yeah. He's, yeah, he's smart, it, but he's not going to put a business together, sort of yeah, thing, which he doesn't need to not, do. Brains is not referring to his intelligence. It's about you know putting up a business. Right. I remember when. Uh, Olivia was asking us to do a business. He, he was, uh, well, I mean, he was trying to come up with something. I don't think he ended up coming up with anything. Well, if I may, I think one of the important things to remember is that not even in terms of leadership, but supplementing, like, Carlo is great at helping people out with the businesses they already have. He's very, very good at that. Yeah. And not everyone should be running everything totally solo, you know what I mean? So it, yeah. you need people to help with shit. Right. Yeah. I mean, that, that's when you can outsource. That's when you can have people <clears> in the family help you. But primarily, Carlo is indeed more muscle than than business minded. The brains. Should I stay out? No, you can stay. So, when it comes to kick up time, right? 
Carlo only needs to put in a hundred dollars. If he can put in more, that's that's fantastic. Everybody here is expected to put in a hundred dollars minimum. If you can put more, that's fantastic. That shows us that you are successful in your business. That shows that you are hard working in the business mindset. And it shows that 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 you know you 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 want to help the family out in case anybody of your any brothers or sisters of yours get uh, you know jailed up. It adds respect to your name. That doesn't mean you can buy your way into the family. That's not the only way, and that's not the only thing we look at, right? When it comes to soldats or people that aren't necessarily that don't necessarily have a business, well, their main way of obtaining that respect is through. You know, doing what they do work. best, uh, doing the hard hard work, doing not 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 hard work in that you know that the businesses aren't hard work, but uh, the dirty work, uh, the 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 roughing people up, the collecting debts, the collecting you know payments, or, or you know going to beat somebody up, uh, taking a contract, uh, maybe maybe having to whack somebody. You know what I mean? So. There's two different types of people in a family. You got the business and you got the muscle. You just need to figure out what you are. As long as you're keeping up with the kickups, $100 a week, then we're good. Yeah, and I mean, these things always change all the time, so don't feel. I'm saying this to, to everybody because, you know, there's been a, a big change, for example, for me. Um, I have been paying a lot less attention to my business, for example, since I've been fulfilling my role in the leadership. Uh, I have to keep track of uh, different things. And, you know, I've been handing off some work to, to other people because uh, I've been busy with, with other stuff, you know. And Leadership it can happen business. to anybody. Right. That your Being, way of things doing is, is changing. That is completely fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. We took a little bit of a sidetrack in there, but... Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we'll... I don't have any yeah. questions. Okay. You guys over there? No questions, Ollie? No, I think I'm definitely like the business diplomatic type. I think I, yeah. I'm very good at making yeah. friends. I don't, I don't really think that I, I rub people the wrong way or make mm -hmm. them upset with me. No, ever. not at all. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're definitely not I definitely, more creepy I than... Definitely, definitely, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're not more, more threatening when you're trying to be not threatening, but, uh -huh. you know. I'm pure muscle. No brains for me, you know. And very, you, know yeah. you are more threatening when you're trying to be <laughs> non-threatening, and it's kind of creepy. What does that mean? It means exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, Ali okay, smiled okay. at me earlier. Yeah. I got nervous. I'm all muscle here, you know. You know, I'm fucking... Look at all that muscle. I mean, right I now, you have more muscle. fucking muscle. You have more muscle than I do right now. But, True. Yeah. That... Yeah, Oliver and I will be switching professions going forward. Hope you're all ready for surgery. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oliver performing surgery. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm going to give him my masks and everything. It'll be great. Hey, Sloan. Mm -hmm. One time you came into this office and you were talking to us about needing a medical facility. Needing a place to <clears throat> operate out of in Saint Denis. It was a big issue because medical board you know they were being fucking bricks yeah you think you might be able to turn that into a business now yeah i mean that is the plan uh so th there's a bit of a flux going on right now because a lot of people are leaving the medical board a lot of their very good doctors have left i don't even know how many people are left in the medical board right now but the way that things have kind of shaped up i was talking about this i think yesterday um but <sighs> A lot of us will get charged, basically, if we use the medical facilities. If someone comes and asks us to leave and we don't leave. But the thing is, we always leave. Like, I've never had an issue with that. But the problem is, if there are no medical doctors, no state-certified medical doctors around, 
there's really nothing to stop us from just taking up medical facilities. So I kind of think I might just move back into Saint Denis, the the office over there. I mean, not gonna lie, there was a, a whole bunch of fucking times where a doctor was really fucking needed, and there was none in town. So, none. as as a question, has anyone seen any? fucking board doctors, other doctors, anyone around the medical office for ages Not now. Not really. And, and I go by there night. quite often. Not since five days ago, I think. Yeah. So... What? Go ahead. The, the thing is, there's me and a bunch of other doctors and we're spread out all over the state, but we keep in contact with each other. But we've all just started kind of... Yeah, it's not like a group or anything, you know, we just if information needs to go anywhere, but we've kind of been taking up some of the medical offices, so I think I'm just going to take up a St. Denis and the anti-medical board board. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> we don't have pump actions. Well, medics get pump that. actions? Uh, yeah. What the... F get the fuck out of here. Yeah, do no harm. Real good. Uh, but what yeah, it's... Fuck? Harm. It's... Oh my god, you are such a prick. It is I a business. The, the, the short answer... <laughs> the short answer is it does make money, and I've made a considerable amount of money doing medicine, and I know everyone else is doing it as well, so business facing that's gonna i'm gonna be doing so where are you planning on moving into the actual office here in saint -Denis? yeah I, I think i'm also there's a doctor's like a wagon there's a big old fucking doctor's wagon you can get from the carriage rental places and i'm gonna be in saint denis but i'm also gonna kind of be going around with that if and when i need to but yeah i gave her that idea i gave her that idea so hold on the same instead of instead of moving into the doctor's office down there where well, there's a lot of footsteps around us it's danny where okay. you may end up getting kicked up kicked out again and right, it's totally possible that the medical board comes back to saint Denis, or maybe they you know they realize what you're doing and they uh they issue you a fine or jail time or whatever to kick you out yeah very likely what if what if you use the house as a medical facility. I mean, we have the blue room. It did occur to me, I didn't want to impose, honestly, because I didn't know how open you would be to having people filtering in and out and all of that shit. Because it is people coming, you know, people come for checkups and that. And when people know that there is a doctor they can access, they come in for a lot of things all the time. So if that's something that you would be comfortable with the house being used for, I'm more than happy to do that. Yeah, but, you know, that would mean strangers just coming to the house. Oops, strangers coming to the house all the fucking time. Well, we... Uh, look, the house should <clears> be <throat> a place of business. It is a place of business, right? We have, again, different stages of uh, types of talks that we have, right? So, you know, maybe we have the front porch talk, which is a little bit more kind of casual conversation. Uh, we have the office talks, which are a little bit more serious. We have the garden talks... Kind of like there's the a garden well. talk? Yeah, yeah we have the dog yeah. talks. Yeah, there's sometimes garden talks. First, I'm hearing about the garden talks. Well, if, if it's a garden talk, it's 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 going to be a garden, a, do a dog talk eventually. It's it's like the pre, you know what I mean? Pre. And then we, yeah, and then we have the dog talk. talks. Exactly, it's a pre dog talk. So we, and then we have the dog talks. So having business here is fine in this office. If things escalate, then we'll have to move them out to the garden or out to the dock. That's fine. It'd be nice to see people coming in and out, not freely, right? They would have to be escorted by somebody available. They can like make appointments. Show. Exactly. They could show up and be like, hey, I'm here for the doctor's appointment or whatever. And then you just use the blue room. You use the blue room. You set it up as your medical facility. Nobody's using the instruments in there. I, I do mean, art in there. Well, you could do art on the balcony. I, I prefer the blue room because <laughs> it's on a corner of the house. You can't really hear conversations from this office. And if there's anybody in the hallway, we'll probably be able to see them or hear them. Agreed. Yeah. Dahlia. Um, in the event of an emergency as well, say that something was happening and they couldn't be here at all, I am taking the theater. And it's a risk because it's across from the sheriff's department, but we're not far from the sheriff's department either, really. Another idea is the photography studio. What the? F In the event of an emergency, I mean. 
I mean, stuck. in the event of an emergency, I do like to take them out of the city, to be quite honest. And we have the laboratory and, and such like. But I need somewhere that I can day to day have a place where people know that they can come and get medical aid, is the thing. Exactly. It's, not, it's not a terrible idea to have multiple locations within the city. I don't disagree, but it, yeah, it, it might be something to look into. But yeah, I'm I'm happy happy to take the blue room. I just didn't want to impose because I didn't think that was something you wanted in the house. But yeah, that was literally like the first thing we ever offered you. I think. Yeah, no, and then I, I was. Offered it, did we? No, you did. Yes, Santino literally offered it like very yeah, very yeah. early on. I, I would just like <laughs> to see the house. You know, people come in more to the house for business. It's profitable, like you say. I mean, you're saving lives, basically, right? So occasionally, yeah, quite literally, yeah. Sometimes, you know, people die and, you know, you got to replace the carpets and all that. But, hey, it's it's part of the business. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't see why not. It would be great to have... Uh, because if we do, I don't know, a medical office in the theater or... Do we like the house office in, idea, in guys? Because I like the house office anywhere, idea. Anywhere, any other... You know, the business is going there. It's not coming here. You know what I mean? This is a this is a place of business, the house. And, you know, and that's, yeah, that's a nice thing. You know, they sit on the porch for a minute while they're waiting for their appointments. They have a little talk. You get a little information. They say this or that, whatever. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like the idea, I think. All right. Done. And I think we should start doing it then. Yeah, for sure. I don't think Sonny's going to have a problem with it. And if he does, then, <clears throat> then we'll figure something out. Excellent. I'll start putting the word out then. Yeah. Whatever you need, boxes, uh, you know, mattresses or whatever, set it up. You, yeah, you, I'll, uh, you know. I'll try and uh, move some more equipment down from the laboratory as well so we have it on hand here. It's actually, yeah, yeah that's probably for the best now that I'm thinking about it. No Quicker access. <laughs> Nothing with electricity, no. Not even the drills? Okay, the drills, yeah, but, you know, okay. I don't want Ollie pulling a fucking lever and then the house going on flames, you know what I mean? I'm pulling the lever. No levers. There will be no levers involved. No, we're doing no electricity, so Oliver's going to have to sit there and hand crank all the drills while I use them. My hand don't work so good no more. It, you only need the one. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It's just see. It's just you got something to say. Wait, what? No, that wasn't <laughs> me. That was her. That was Dahlia. <laughs> it was you? Yeah, I'm sorry, I just... I was just a little shocked at what I heard for a second. Yeah, like, that's the thing, CM, I don't disagree. It just needs to be known that this is happening. Um... I, I think it's a good like, idea. But, uh, I just I just think the, the family you, needs to be need a room? lot... I, no, I um, it like that. I mean, it kind of sounded like that. Yeah, yeah. It was like a, ooh, like, ooh. Oh, that is not what it sounded like. No, it you thought that like, sounded like me? Yeah, give it to something sissy would do. Yeah, oh, it's like something it. you would do, motherfucker. Good you, lord. Can I, can, I, can I do a reenactment of how you picked up a banana yesterday? <laughs> oh <laughs> my yeah. god, please. Oh, don't not the banana again. Yeah, Good lord. Fuck it off. Do just, it. That was a, yeah, and that's my announcement. Ooh. No, it was. <laughs> you you did, you did say ooh. <laughs> he did not do it. It was more like a. Um, <laughs> Wait, so, so like, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. and the right. joke has gone too far. <laughs> okay. All right, so here's so here's before we get too far off the topic. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> out of here I said, Tarantella <laughs> of sauce. <laughs> Tarantella of sauce. Before we get too far off the topic. <laughs> We just we just need to be very clear that people know that that random people are going to be coming to get medical help here now. So like, you know, Pearly and Scarpa and everyone isn't shouting people off the porch and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, we should probably send them a telegram. Pearly, Scarpa, uh, Mikey, Sonny. Just uh, shooting people on the porch. Yeah, yeah. Let me. I'll, I can compile a list of curmudgeonly assholes. Hold on. I, just, I, I said, think I you could just a... say the family and circle it. I want to be able to have a meeting right here. While people are fucking shouting in the other room, like, ah, my fucking arm is falling off. Yeah, with mother. the drill going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. And the fucking, mm -hmm. fucking slan, you know, mm -hmm. and they're just doing the shit. She comes over here all bloody. She's like, the baby is born. Shit like that, you know what I mean? 
Oh no. Just like no, this. No, no, oh, exactly. No, no. Exactly. We're ready. Do you have like an apron or something? Apron? Oh, don't. Don't. Oh she my does. god. She does. Here I mean, come. obviously. Oh shit. <laughs> the baby was born. God, it's fucking terrifying. Oh. We're ready. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to. We're ready now for surgery. Either. No, I don't. Don't start <laughs> telling people that. <laughs> Wait, what? What'd you say? It's going to be really weird for you, not for me. <laughs> what, what yeah. I think anybody who knows me knows that's not going to be that weird for me. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh! Surprise, oh! Motherfuckers. Now oh. who's the vampire? Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, did he He's from the sky again? Down by my toes yeah. He fucking took my sleeping space in the rafters. I've been hearing all your bullshit. <laughs> she sleeps in my hand like upside down like a bed. Oh, Hammocks no. are very good for your back. Hey, uh -huh. Santino? Hey, Santino. Hi, Sonny. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> I electrocuted people. Oh. <laughs> Well, I told him. I told him already. We don't need to tell him again. Yeah, 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 it's all over. I'm moving into the blue room. Everyone's electrocuted. Anyway. <laughs> I just want to have a look at the room over here, actually. Oh, and there's like a little... Yeah, there's like a little waiting area here. I kind of love it. I kind of... Guys, I'm feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it, to be honest. What do we think? Yeah, like, no one uses it. It's really nice. We got the area here. Like, we'll put down some details and stuff. I do, like, I genuinely really like it. This might be a really good idea. I can take the apron off. Coffee table surgery, yeah. Yeah, you have to shave it off. No. What? Listen, no, I kind of like it. It gives you a good vibe, all right? I, it's, it... <laughs> oh, I mean, Cesare, I kind of like your hair. I'm not going to lie. Oh. I don't like it. Makes it. you look taller. No, it makes, me, him, <laughs> it makes him look like he's about to do. <laughs> what? I don't know. Like, he's about, like he's about to finish? Wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Shaggy like sissy, you know what I mean? Okay. I do like it. No, I liked it until you said that comment. Now I fucking shaggy. am going to fucking change it. <laughs> no, no, no. I do like it. Look, you called look, me look. shaggy. Listen, it looks good because the hair is messy, you know? I don't like the hair that. is like... I'm the like, dental like, chair? I, 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 yeah, I, I really I'm wish like, we could. I'm, I'm, I wonder if we could. Maybe for the business, is probably not a good idea. I, don't, I think it makes you look distinguished. Yeah, no, no. no. Definitely yeah, distinguished. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't no, even hide in a fucking bush with that. I mean, the pomade really fixes everything, so... Yeah. I'll braid your hair though, sweetheart. If you no, want. don't. <laughs> don't braid my hair. We sound like Oh. 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 Okay. What's that? What? No, 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 no. Okay. no. That was me. That was me. Okay. 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 So, Sonny, um, I leave for I was two bringing... hours. Well, two and a half hours. And this is what happens in two and a half hours. This is all these ideas. I mean, they, they, a lot of things happening they the wanted to go up to the lab, but don't feel like it's my fault. It's gonna be gone no. for two weeks. It's gonna be burned down to a crisp. You ain't coming back to a home. Wait, you're gonna be gone for two weeks? Oh, Cesare stole your idea as well. Oh, shit. Well, we're gonna be dead. What's. What idea did he steal? Do you remember way back when when you asked me to move my medical practice into the blue room over there? I gave him that idea. Oh, did you? I'm pretty yeah, sure you were the one who was did. against it. Listen, we were <laughs> having a conversation about what we should do, and I said, Sonny, why don't we just move into the blue room? He said, yeah, that's a great idea, says Hattie. No, and then I didn't. for some reason, you said that's a terrible idea, Sonny, after you, it was your idea? Listen, I don't remember, all right? <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> anyway, it was brought up to move Shalane into the blue room. Continue, Shalane. I mean, it's it, that's basically it. I think we'd, I'd like to establish a basic medical practice with a set location so people can come in and get their checkups and whatnot. And Cesare suggests the blue room, and I like the idea, so yeah. 
The house is a place of business, Sonny. People coming in and out. Uh, health, uh, medical, doctor type of business is lucrative. Not that's everybody fine. can provide that. No, no, that's fine. As long as they're okay with, you know, people coming around, walking around, and then, you know, seeing me butt-ass naked running around, because that's what I do in the middle of the night, just letting everybody know. And I'm not, I'm not taking midnight that? appointments. He's got oh, both shit. his beaks out. <laughs> Why would you do beaks? that? Oh, my God. It's my house. Porque dos it's our house. Beaks. Yeah, yo, I mean, okay. I, I'm surprised we didn't run into each other because either we had sometimes just loaf around the house. The big Are you both naked. telling me that you both shirt cock it regularly at midnight? The amount in this of house? nakedness. I, I mean, who doesn't? In, in fairness, it's become normal at this point. Oh no, I think I remember running into somebody. Why uh, do I suddenly feel air on my ass? <laughs> 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 what happened? Your sensation is slowly coming back. It's very normal. Yeah, I think it's on the uh, on, a, on the back side. <laughs> what you're doing. Oh. Why does it have holes okay. in it? Because he we'll shot the it. chip. Mm. Not, not opposed to this whole medical thing. We just have to make sure that we keep that quite separate from the rest of our business, right? I mean, we do discuss things here that are for the family is only, obviously, so. Yeah, clearly. That, that was something I brought up. Uh, the only two points were, A, we need to make sure everyone in the family knows. So, you know, Scarpo and Mikey and Pearly and everyone, and yourself, Santino, are not shooting people off the porch when they come to get a checkup. Uh, but also just keeping it very separate over in the blue room. You know, they wait in the porch, they come into the blue room. Everything's uh, separate. We expecting a lot of uh, volume? <clears throat> uh, it depends. Depends. Uh, I, I can't say one way or another. I will say that when when people know that there is a doctor at a location they can come to regularly, when I was working over at the St. Denis office there, I, I was pretty much back to back to back to back all fucking day uh, treating people. So hopefully, yeah, it will be good. But I don't, it, it might change slightly if it's being over here, but we got to see. I'm expecting relatively busy. Okay. Okay. Yes, I like the idea. I like the idea. I may How also much need charge per uh, patient. I, I mean, it depends. A checkup, I'd probably say, you know, fifteen, twenty dollars, something like that, because it's very basic. But then, upwards of that, it depends. You know, dental work start at one fifty upwards. Depends. Gold teeth, you know, any of that. Yeah, 10 I would. For the family. I would recommend ten percent for the establishment. Uh huh. I would sure. Recommend packages. You can give them a premium. You can give them the Italian special. You know, make a menu for it. Right, so life insurance and whatnot, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you know, <laughs> if people <laughs> don't pay a premium, if people would maybe pay just the basic bitch plan, then you can operate on them in the middle of the basic goddamn street in front of the goddamn bitch. garden. I right? feel like a... I need a secretary, I feel, is, is what I'm needing here. If you buy the platinum package, we'll offer you a full... We'll even offer pain relief if you buy the platinum package. Yeah, <laughs> morphine with your order. Two, two people walk into the, into the, <laughs> the house. They come up to the house and they say, Shlan... I need your help. My partner over here, he's dying. He's got a bullet hole in the neck. You say, okay, let me see your plan. What kind of plan you got? Is it a premium plan or is it a basic bitch plan? Boom. You realize that, you know, they unfortunately have the basic bitch plan. So you're going to have to operate them in the middle of the goddamn street. Unless they upgrade <laughs> right there on the spot. And boom. Unfortunately, their basic bitch plan just got their partner killed. So shit like that. I mean, Interesting. We have to turn this into a business, okay? At the end of the day, you are saving lives, but you are a business. I, I mean, that is that is fair, but I will say if I'm charging twenty dollars a checkup, and I do, you know, I used to do roughly uh, seven to ten checkups a day. I don't know the math on that, but it's it's not too bad. If you did 40. ten, that's yeah, two hundred. Yeah. Two hundred forty. Uh, Fifty dollars you know, for the family. With ten percent for the family, of course. Right, I'm just saying, listen, go on. We, we <laughs> give them the platinum package always, but then after we've already done all the work, we ask them what their plan is. Get it? Huh? Oh. Uh, uh, well, uh, I mean, I can just, I'll just write out a receipt of all of the, yeah, $10 for the syringe. We offer, uh, we offer like a itemized, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A receipt. Yeah, and then. And when they can't pay, you know, they say, you know, like, uh, you know, well, this was part of a platinum package and you only sadly only have the basic big bitch package. Would you like to, you know, 
sign up for a new package or you know would you be able to pay for it and they say no then you just <laughs> cut them back open right yeah i just remove all of the stitches that i put in there i just pull the stitches out it's very easy what you fucking say i pulled your bullet out you got the basic bitch plan boom motherfucker yeah. oh, just like that i really am gonna need a secretary how does angelo look in a pencil skirt I look great in a pencil Ooh. skirt. I, Oliver's gonna be my secretary. There you I go. Be the secretary. Hello, sir. Huh? We're gonna yeah, get him sir. a little paper hat, and he's gonna write receipts. I'm a secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, these are all very good ideas that I will absolutely fold into the ongoing business plan. Is that satisfactory? Oh yeah, I, mean, I cannot fucking wait to. to I question somebody, oh. somebody coming up and being like, "What kind of plan you got, asshole?" Ooh, la, la. Shit like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> What's your insurance premium? Give me your number, insurance number, right now. Uh, seventy-four double eleven zero four eight six. That might not be a bad idea, though. The VIP, get him inside the room. There you go. I mean, that's it. yeah. That really might. I'm thinking about it now. It might not be a bad idea. People who pay you up, you know. Him monthly or something and then it's all paid up they don't have to worry about it when they get shot and need to be rushed to help you know exactly exactly you offer the package you tell them listen next time if you're probably not gonna have the money on you and if you don't have the money on you to pay your plan i'm not gonna be able to do anything and i won't do anything i don't care so if what do you need not. you need sloan's big package <laughs> the juicy hip fucking premium the package. <laughs> oh my god you need the big juicy hip package is what you need <laughs> Contact your local doctor at Juicy Hips. <laughs> Most juicy hips. What, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, this will work out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> great. That's great. We're, we're gonna stop putting advertisements around god. town. Like, got a bullet hole? Got a broken arm? Got a few loose ends? Buy Sloan's big package. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! oh my God, Danny. What? That, don't Danny her. That was great. That was I know. That truly was beautiful. So good. Listen, <laughs> this house is a business place, and I'm all for it, Shlan. I'm excited for this. So, uh, there you go. You converted from muscle to business. So here we, here we go. I'm so happy at my promotion into having a brain. Thank you. Yeah, I gave it to you. Congratulations, mm -hmm. all people. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Congrats! Congrats! Thank you, Secretary. You're welcome. Now, Give for me a pencil skirt. patenting this idea, I'll take 90%. Oh, will you? That's right. Uh -huh. Only 90? Kick up money anyways. Yeah, you're getting the kick-ups. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. right. Where's my kick-up slot? You're taking 90% of my company. I still need that $100. What, what plan do you have, Schlein? Huh? I, the vampire plan. It's a good plan. Yeah, it's exclusive. So I, I guess she's, you know, she just. That's the black doesn't... market plan. Yeah, he's the, that means I get whatever I want, whatever I want, because I get it with a scalpel. Oh, there you go. Kidneys and shit. Ooh, no, okay. we have a bathtub oh, upstairs. Shit. We could absolutely do that. We could start like kidnapping people and selling their livers and kidneys and shit. That's yeah, true. We're going, we're going that's, that's We're going way off course. We're going way off course. Yeah, yeah, all day. All day. <laughs> We got a bathtub upstairs. We're gonna get some ice. There's a poverty problem. Hey, you know what we do? There is. You know what we do with the rest? We we put them in a meat pies with the rest. That's what we do. Oh my God! We can actually start stealing blood. Homelessness is rampant. Can you fucking imagine that though? There's plenty of perfectly healthy homeless people that are just wasting those organs. Blood and organs. It's got dark really fucking fast. No, no. This is where we should be. There's a lot of people in the park right now in the garden, <laughs> right now, right across from us. Let's fucking Who's to grab stop them. fucking Sloan from coming we, over and being like, give me a motherfucker. Boom. We gotta find the buyer. Yeah. We gotta find no, the no, buyer no, no, first. I'm some people. They're, they're gonna go bad if we don't find a buyer first. True, true. We need a buyer first. Uh, now, now, now listen, um... Creed! We can sell the Creed. Oh, I saw him at the Telegram the other day. It was very we scary. Cannibal snacks. Oh, okay, okay. I, I don't want to be a part of this conversation I hate that. anymore. I, I, I hate that yeah, so much. Dude, you want <laughs> Just as good as anybody else's money, so. You want an eyeball, eye, eyeball lollipop? Right here. Lollipop, lollipop. 
Oh no. no. They don't they don't get to eat the olive. No, that's Oh that's they, they, they don't that's not covered in their insurance. That's not big enough. Okay. That's a okay. It's a priceless package. What? It's a no, priceless. Listen, um, there's another thing though. There's another thing. There's premiums and all that, okay? There's another thing you should probably think of as well. Mm -hmm. Let's just say somebody's wanted, high end criminal comes into this house and he's got a premium package or whatever. You start working on him and all that. However, you got to charge him an extra because he's wanted. You got to deal with the law, and it's going to be a problem for you, and it's going to be a problem for your business here at the house. And it's going to be a problem for all the family members that are living here, too. So maybe people that are wanted, you know, you got to tax them a little bit more. A hundred percent. Do you think that there should be a premium package that includes being able to walk out the back and get on a boat and leave? Holy shit. Yeah, the dog talk we package. We are creating dog a talk... fucking oh, business no. the here. The dog package. The dog talk premium package, of course. You have I mean, uh, a skate boat. Mm, because if you go up and the river... And depending on the tier that you buy of the dog talk premium package, you either get a on the row boat, boat or you get a fucking steam <laughs> boat. A steam you get a fucking <laughs> water donkey or some it shit. It depends on how far we take you up the river. Yeah. <laughs> you can get an alligator too, by the way. We, we, oh, we'll just toss you into the fucking water. <laughs> I love these ideas. We're getting I mean, somewhere. This, we're getting a lot somewhere with this. It's, it's, this is very good. Sonny, where are you going? You just made Sonny go back to bed. Sonny, where are you going? <laughs> He's sleeping. He's afraid in the face of progress. <laughs> is there anybody else around the house right now? No. I have no idea. Angela, uh, Mayday, where are Mayday is he went still in the vault, but... <laughs> oh, fuck up. I think Angela went to bed. Yes, yeah, so it's just the. Did he? This. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Mm. He seemed like he was going to bed. Yeah, he went to bed. He said he'd be back in about uh, 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah, right. Good lord. That boy. He's got some weird hours. We went so Listen, so. It's a late night honestly, boy. We can do so much with this. And I'm not even kidding about the boat. You can keep a boat back there all fucking day. You wake up, you get a boat. Take it to the back. You got any customers that need to escape or, or you know, get away from the law because they got shot up. You patch them up real quick. You got them on the boat and they're on their way. Law is never going to catch up to them. Law is never going to have a boat ready by the time they're at the back door. Until they realize what we're doing and always have a boat ready. Listen, if the law is truly and honestly putting a boat out there every single day to catch people who may or may not be coming through this house. First of all, I think they deserve to catch them probably, but also... Is that where my tax sellers are going? Yes. Wait, I don't taxes. play taxes. I don't play taxes. <laughs> I mean, uh, we, yeah, that's, you know. Okay. Uh, uh, why isn't anybody else late? <laughs> oh, yeah. no, it's too late. No, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. No, it's, it's a lovely idea. I do like this. We're going to have to, you know, iron out some details and develop parts of it a bit, but... Hey, I got the first, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Get up on the table. He stole my whoa, joke. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, take it easy. He stole my joke. This is just how we got Winchester's blood. Very good. It actually is. It, yeah, it no is. There's involved, though. Yeah, uh, you know. Mike Santino, I still, still need your blood. For the life of me, I swear to God, Sloan, I'd rather die. Why you yeah, You're so you, dramatic. You could if we don't get your blood type. Then yeah, next time you get oh, shot, I'll just. What kind of blood I have. You know. Oh, oh uh, I'll negative. Big idea. Big what? Big huh? Big what? What? Whoa. Oh, 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 Told you stay here. No, did I not? No, I didn't, Danny. We left it. Well, I'm moving everything down here, so we'll do, you know. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. What's the idea, Cesare? Oh my lord! Don't hurt yourself. He's, he's <laughs> oh, he's, oh, hold up, hold up! I got a light up. I got a light. Hold up. Oh my god! He's gonna have an announcement. We're all gonna pass out again. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Please no. Oh yeah! Yesterday he stopped the desk. Said, "Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement," and then we all had a headache. Yeah. <laughs> All these medical doctors or the medical board or whatever the fuck they're called. Uh huh. Uh, uh, or all these freelance doctors out there that are working independently. What's, what's the number one injury 
that you can think of right now that occurs in a crossing? Number Sprint one, cock. Most, shootings. Most, <laughs> I knew you through and through gunshot wounds to the arm. No, 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 no. Just okay. Just not, not so specific. <laughs> yes. Just, you do it too specifically. <laughs> Gunshot wounds through the eye. There you go. There you go. Gunshot wounds. Gunshot gun wounds. Yeah. Specifically through the shoulder. I still what happens when somebody gets shot? They bleed. That fucking they bleed. strawberry axe. Oh. They fucking Sorry. bleed, right? Are we they gonna start selling blood? blood? So we are gonna create a banca de chenzo or the de chenzo banca of blood. All right. I don't know. Yeah. Wait. The Italian word for it. Right. Wait. Banca de Fredo. Who else besides the, me has universal though? Leo does. Allison, up, and up, Angelo, up. actually. We will nice. have oh. here in this house, in our refrigeration compartment, Leo. we will have blood from all types for sale. We are literally becoming <laughs> a vampires. We are so despised. Now listen. Wait, despised? Sangua banker? Sangua banker. Sangua banker. Banca de sangui. Banca de sangui. Listen, all right. We would, sell, we would sell blood to doctors that need a transfusion. So Dr. X from the medical board, high, 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 you know, medical board with pump action shotgun comes into the house and says, I need a transfusion and I need you to sell me this blood. Shalom comes up and says $5,000. Boom. Simple. That's it. Or give me a pump action shotgun. Simple. Or, or give me a pump action. I mean, I, I, I may have to look. Oh. I hate Cesare so much for saying that comment. Santina's getting real close to your neck there. That's a little weird. What the fuck are you doing like that? What are you doing? We are going yeah. to have to, um... I mean, I'll have to I'll have to figure out how to maybe stabilize blood a little bit, because it doesn't last that long, but... Y you might be onto something here. You may. What if we, like, mm. had a dummy human being that we just kept all our blood in? That's not how that works. Like, just get a human being and just drain him of all his blood. Like, pay him something. Drain him of all his blood and just put whatever kind of blood type we want in him. We can just pull it out whenever. Well, I mean, so the thing is here, I am actually, huh, because we have a, a very wide variety of blood types around the house as well, yeah? And people are around all the time. And I, you know, it's a quart of blood. Nobody gets that fucked up if you lose a quart of blood. You get a little, you know, a little bit sleepy. You eat a cookie, you'll be fine, you know? Yeah, Sonny, eat a cookie. It'll be fine. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Sonny's going around, like, sniffing people's necks. He is. It's, it's about to get very weird in this room. Uh. Sonny? Listen, I'm telling you right now. Santina. If you figure out a way <laughs> to make a business out of the medical board, might be a good idea. Just well, so... so, I don't disagree, but I think this might be a private medicine thing, because... Have a sexual bite, she's a fucking vampire. I'm telling you right now. He checked everybody's neck but mine. I'm feeling a little left out, to be fair. But the problem is, you remember when Mitsu killed all those doctors and tried to blow up the medical office? What a loss of blood. We could have saved nice. it, but yeah. Uh, it was because they wouldn't buy morphine off of him. They refused to do any practice with any private businesses at all. They, they absolutely oh. refused to do business. Sucks so don't, for their patients. Yeah, it absolutely sucks for them. I think this might... There's so many private doctors right now. I think this might just be something to do with the private doctors, to be fair. But I like the idea. You have the opportunity <gasps> to be Sonny, a leader. Sonny has a bite, mark. Sonny's the vampire. <clears throat> so, oh, man. Sonny's a vampire. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> get, the get, the, get the steak in the corn. I wasn't gonna tell anyone. Oh, there he goes. Get the fucking corn. I can't believe so nice said corn. corn. <laughs> get the corn. It's the I only thing to kill Sloan. Get the corn. Italian vampires are weak to corn. Listen, get the corn. I was like, I don't oh, know what the fuck that means. Oh, he's taking your Oh, he's taking your brother. Oh, that's my brother. Never mind. That's, yeah, your, that's brother. your brother. <laughs> he's all of our brothers, but you know, he's still. He's it's still happening. Up, it's happening. Yeah. I corn. got a new donor. Um, get the corn. Oh my god, your eye fuck your eyes fucked right now. Holy shit. He got you good, good lord. Yeah, he really got, did. He's got a little herpes on his yeah. mouth, though. <laughs> Pretty sure that's Listen, not what herpes looks this like. Okay, just a little bit. We are gonna have. We gotta write all this thing, here. all this down before we forget it. We, we gotta forget it by. It's. Tomorrow. I mean, I've remembered all the important things. It's okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. What we can also do is a catering type of business where we start selling wine. Okay. 
And I'm not talking about blood anymore. I'm not talking about the medical shit anymore. Okay, you fucking vampires. I'm talking about catering business where we start selling the Chenzo produced wine. 1901 label. Oh my That's what you talk to Tony to about. Tony, Tony's doing that. Shall I Tony ain't doing shit. Tony's what about the 94 fucking... fucking the 94 Gabriel and the 96 ones. banana? We can what? do that. The, the, the Louis Gabrielli and the banana wines. That's right. We can sell them. We have a cellar right here. Who the fuck is in this Louis house. Gabrielli? Louis Gabrielli was the first copper regime of his family. What, you didn't read the family book? No, no you, you said anybody who writes one. a book. We yeah, there's no one. book. You never that's gave me answer. one. That's, that's a great answer, by the way. That's a great answer. And there's according to Cesare, he's right. the first captain to die in this family. No, no, the first captain to be... I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not going to say anything. Uh-huh. But he was not... Blair. No, she was not. Uh, whatever. Shut up. Shut, Shut up. Shut. We do uh, have okay. a settler here where there is plenty of wine. Okay, so <laughs> we'll have in the bayou. <clears throat> no, no, we have we have plenty of storage for wine bottles here in the house. So oh, oh, the, the, oh, yeah, the yeah, corner yeah. of the house will have a medical yeah, people yeah, and people know, dying I over know. there. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, the we're living, room, hopefully. I saw, I saw Vinchester sitting in there. So yeah. So we'll have people dying in one room and then people drinking and celebrating in the other room. People doing business over here and people getting whacked in the docks. Sounds good. Amazing. Excellent. Like Excellent. a supermart. Welcome to the Trenzo supermart. A true empire. <laughs> hey, it's apartments. It's real good. Can I have the have whacking we... department? <laughs> I wanted yeah. that. Get fucked. I mean, really, all we need is... Yeah, like a library in the stables out back and we'll be all fine. Whoa. We got a library upstairs. That's true. Yeah. I really do the like it up there. The only library, well, not the I only. I read the it there a lot. I mean, in the crossing. technically, that uh, what is it? A shed back there is big enough to hold a horse. Exactly. We'll just move the horses in. We'll never have to, you know, outsource anything ever again. I said a horse. We can even do the following. Oh my lord, lord, <laughs> lord! <laughs> Drive-through services. Who's what? Drive-through medical services. Ride through medical services. Ride through. So, walk with me. Oh God! What's going oh, on with you? Ride, ride how, by medical about services. About how fast are you walking? Uh, about Twenty 10 paces. Cat. Pace. About what? Ten paces. You and him, right? Out of my way, bush. Bush? <laughs> you called me a bush. <laughs> you look like a bush. You do, <laughs> kind okay. of. All right. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Dicenzo cellar uh, or uh, the wine room. This is where we would provide catering services and uh, tasting you know, venue. Um, tasting venue. So people would come in here, taste the wine while they watch humorously. The people die in the other room right here. Um, so we would essentially have somebody set up beyond this window right here, um, and then people can also come with their horses or wagons, bring the wagons right across and right in front. And we would just hand them bottles of wine, and then they can just go around the house in the back, and then come to the other side. Leave, just like that. A ride through. Oh my service. god! Holy um, shit! I think this will work out. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking terrifying. You need a cleaver. So that is all you're missing. <laughs> I need a machete. Is what I need. <laughs> it's my bone saw. That's the first thing they fucking see. Well, tis the season. What is this? Not doing this a house. <laughs> absolutely do haunted house. Look how big this fucking house is. <laughs> it's also very scary looking from the outside if you think about it. Oh, we I'll have a chair, by the way. A Halloween event here at the house. I'm still brainstorming though. We got like 25 more oh days. Well, terrifying. if only you knew an event planner. Oh. <laughs> that does look fucking you imagine terrifying. that fucking chasing you? Uh, that's uh, the way she's walking too. Oh no. Nah. I can see a chasing Santino around the house, yeah. No, no. You don't run. You just walk. You look like you're about to fall out of the chair, but not quite. I'm playing dead. Oliver, it's time for your checkup. No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, it isn't. <laughs> Come for you, alright. <laughs> Never mind. Alright. Yeah. I'm going upstairs. Is there any, do you need me for anything else? 
blood? Uh, actually, yeah, we were. No, nah, I got his we blood already. Fund raising with a couple of kidneys and uh, maybe a <laughs> few lungs too, and we were hoping that you would contribute. To this. <laughs> I Fair mean, bate. I mean, you don't have Fair to. Bate. You know, it's not mandatory. You know, it's it's oh just an God. optional thing. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, thinking about it now, you don't even have to, you know, I I, I think I got uh, the wrong names mixed up, right. you know? It's right. What happened to your hair? Uh, medical uh, experiment. Yeah. That's why he's, he's hiding all his secrets. He's, 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 you know, I feel like he's going to be, you know, he's going to make some new type of music. Oh, wow. I mean, I think I don't like seem that way. I actually yeah. don't yeah. hate it. It's just a lot. <laughs> Santino's Bye, just leaving. It's a lot of hair. He's Have really had enough of us. Have a good night. Oh, good night. Good night. Your forehead looks even uh -huh. better with this hair, by the way. You dying there, darling, in the chair? Uh, I'm just, yeah. Uh huh. So sad. You really died. Huh? So dead. We get it here. The more. <clears throat> oh, actually. I kind of want to go no, have a look at that. <laughs> you're <laughs> contemplating the the when when will your husband come back from the war? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't move me. No, don't move me. I said, don't move me. I said, don't, don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't. I'm just gonna Fuck relax you. like this. Fuck. Beautiful. I do want to kind of have a look at that medical wagon and see how terrible it is. I'm not going to do that. Just a red wagon. Well, it says doctor on the side. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, tremendous. I'm being assaulted. What the fuck was that? <laughs> well, that was something. That was fun. You want to sleep? Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, we're back, guys. The family is fucking back, and it's all crazy. Wait, is that? Did I just see? Oh, shit. Wait, what? Tiny horse hat? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is tiny horse hat? was fun. <laughs> Most of those ideas will not be implemented, but they're very funny. Um, but yeah, I'm... Maybe it gives your horse a tiny hat. I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, I am looking for... I, I hope... I think a lot of this is going to rely on word of mouth. To be honest, people need to know that they can come to the Dicenzo Manor to get medical aid. But I'm really looking forward to having somewhere to establish things again. I think that would be a really good idea. And I think it'll be a really good thing for the house, too. I know, a solo walk around St. Denis. Look at us go, man. We'll slow it down a little bit. The red wagon could also be a good way for people to know when you're around and available. Agreed. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's like a, it's like a neon sign, you know what I mean? So if you know if you see that fucking wagon there's a doctor around. Pleading at the whole crossing, doing that shit, yeah. I need to look up, um, cause I know there wasn't actual stabilization for blood the way that we have it now. But I, I, I think there was some moderate versions of it. I have to, again, I got a deep dive on PubMed and uh, have a look into the practices of, of stabilizing blood. It's a one-time command, though, is it? 
It does give your horse a tiny hat. That's adorable. Happy yeah, me too. I've I don't know about you guys, but I have seriously fucking missed being an actual doctor. Hey, you just mix the blood with the strawberry extract. I really, really missed it, so. Yeah, hopefully. And I, I this also does raise the question if whether or not the medical board or the deputies or anyone are going to try and come after me for shit. Because we might put up some little posters. Because I want to make it very clear it's not like, hey, free medical service. It's like private medical practice. Yeah, so that's the thing. I also need to talk to the other doctors and I need to see what exactly I want to do, what they want to do. There's a lot of there's a lot of ideas in the air. Waivers for all. Yeah, that's the thing. From what I've heard, everyone is fucking leaving the med board, so it's it's interesting. Um, put that in there. Actually, you know what, now we'll, we'll switch that out. I think it's $50 for the doctor's wagon, so we're gonna have a look. I'm down bad, I need more money. Yeah, exactly, Sophia's gonna get involved. 100% I'm gonna get Sophia involved. This could be really good. Might have multiple private practices open. Well, I really desperately hope so. Because I would love if, like, Shipman and Emma or Aaron go off and do their own thing. And, like, we're doing our own thing here. Because it would be nice to have people established in different cities and stuff, too. Information gathering? 100%. Information and also business. Because, you know, y'all have been in waiting rooms in your life, right? You ever talk to someone in a waiting room and you just kind of chat and everything's good? Da, da, da. It would take the heat off of Sloan in the house and another in Blackwater. Like, exactly. Like, I would love if shipments over in Blackwater and we can telegram each other. Like, because we would obviously work together as well. I don't see any reason why, like, Shipman and I wouldn't. You know, if a patient was over there and then they come to us and we can keep an eye on their medical records and stuff like that. The art gallery? Maybe. Maybe. You avoid people in waiting rooms like the plague. Fair. Also fair. If Jack needed urgent care and came to the house, uh, I mean, if you're dying. Oh my god, is he logging off? This little bitch. This little bitch. Kojo, thank you so much for the raid, sweetheart. Kojo, 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 what's up? Wow, you logged off? Wow. 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 Just ditched me. Wow, I get it. Okay. Fair. Fair play. Thanks for the raid, hun. <laughs> we're going to get a doctor's wagon and we're going to go explore some shit and, and, uh, and look around. How to spread the word without attracting the law? Well, the thing is, I don't necessarily know that we need to hide from the law. Because it's not illegal to have a private medical practice. For those who don't know, the entire issue with Sloane's medical practice before was that she was practicing in the St. Denis office. And at the time, it was completely vacant, like nobody was there at all. Good night, Sloane. Good night, darling. Like, I don't, I don't think that anyone else... I don't see that it would be a problem. Because, again, the only issue was that she was in the medical office, so she's not in the fucking medical office. If they're literally trying to charge people for practicing medicine without being on the med board, that's a whole fucking other situation. It is weird, right? It's weird to be walking around the city alone. It's nice, though. I've missed it. I've seriously fucking missed it. Mm. 
Does Sloan have a license to practice medicine in the crossing? There, I don't think there is any licensing system. There sh shouldn't be. There should not be any licensing system. Because most of the medical board shouldn't be fucking licensed. Most of the medical board are people who just, you know, learned medicine for a couple weeks and, and they're not doctors. They're medics or whatever. Licensing was also barely coming into play at this time. Like, it's just a weird... It would be very weird for them to insist that, like, licensing was a thing. It would be very, very weird for them to take that route. We'll see. I mean, we'll see how it goes. And it might be nice. It, it might be interesting to actually have some RP back and forth with, like, maybe the bed board or the deputies or whoever else. Shame private med can't add the perma conditions, though. True. To well. But they are approved by the state, thinking in an RP sense. I think that would horribly shut down RP. I think... So this is a... This is just a generalized comment. Um, I think... I think people tend to blur the culture of GTA RP and what people are used to in GTA in a modern setting and the way that everything tends to work on those servers with the way that Red Dead works. You know what I mean? Because in a, in a modern setting, if somebody was running around as a completely unlicensed doctor, like that would a hundred, that would be like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what are you talking about? That would be insane. But this is 1901. <laughs> it's 1901, and Sloan is way more educated than m pretty much, pretty much almost just just more than a couple of the actual doctors in the crossing right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, like Sloan calls herself a doctor because she has a doctorate. <laughs> she she's a PhD in medicine. She has a fucking doctorate. That's why she's a doctor. Uh, okay, so let's have a look here. Bum, bum, bum. Dr. Vagum. Yeah, I kind of just want to ride this around and see. We're, we're not doing the thing on top. When nobody wants to... Look at this thing! Dr. Renault. Oh, I wish the back opened so badly. Oh my god. I fucking love this, though, actually. <laughs> I fucking love this. It probably drives like a fucking tank. Yeah, see, like, I feel- obviously we can't actually do anything with this, we can't, you know, take people anywhere with it, but... It's a great indicator that a fucking doctor is around. Yeah, look at this, look at this shit. I love this. Park it near the tents, maybe. Is anyone left at the house? I think everyone probably went to bed. Let's go have a look real quick. I think everyone probably went to sleep. They could try to pin Mansad on you? Oh, 100%. But again, it's, it's a weird thing for the time periods. It's a very weird thing for the time period, and it's a weird kind of system to play through. It's, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Um, but it's it's a weird thing to play through because again, like how... Because you have to think there's no internet. There's no overall access to things. You know what I mean? So... Is the... Uh, is still up here. 
So like, how is how is someone gonna know? I'm gonna leave this knife here because I don't want it. Do, do, do. Like, are you gonna be able to look it up? They charge you with vigilantism. Like, how deputies are the only ones allowed to hunt people down? Yeah, I mean that's the that's the thing. Well. <sighs> And this isn't, again, disclaimer. Somebody put the disclaimer in the chat. This isn't me trying to, like, shit on anything going on in the server or anything right now. But do we put boxes in here? Oh my god, we're so smart. Holy shit. Holy shit. Very clever. Very, very clever. Um, yeah, like, it's not me. Actually, I'm going to put a bunch of food so I'm gonna put it in the crates here but thinking about like server health overall right um because we're gonna we're gonna go up hunting for a little bit I think is there a spot for boxes yeah there's a spot for probably a couple boxes in here I wonder if there's a spot for storage, because I might move my storage down here. Well, I should probably move it somewhere in the house, but... Yeah, we can probably put one in the fireplace over here. Put one under the piano here. Yeah, there's a few good spots for it. It's just in time for the Fear Podcast. Yeah, because you logged off and left me, you bitch. You motherfucker. But I mean, again, so disclaimer, this is not me like shitting on anything or, or trying to like complain, but it does kind of become a question of overall server health, right? Because if people are, people are getting shot, people are getting injured, like whether we like it or not, injury RP is happening all the time. There is simply not enough people around from the medical board, and they're not available all the time. Um, also, the medical board reports to the deputies. The medical board has to be a completely legal um, faction, which is totally fine. Which is, is very good, totally fine, not an issue. The situation becomes, if these factors are in play and people can't get medical help, they lose an avenue to do their medical RP. And like we've talked about many times before, right? Like you, it's not everybody else's job to have like the breadth of knowledge that you need to do really good medical RP. You guys know that it's it's one of the things, it's when the majority of what I do when I'm doing med RP with someone is kind of just guiding them through. You know what I mean? God, I wish, I wish so badly one of these fucking houses are open. Because I would take over an entire fucking house. An entire house and have it as a, a private office. That would be fucking amazing. Red Dead MLOs when? Red Dead Interiors when? Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Like, if people aren't around to facilitate medical RP... Now would be a good time for someone to visit her son. Yeah. I'm gonna go check telegrams in a minute here, because nobody else is around. I just want to swing by the house. Oh no, Aridin. Give me one second, we'll get to that. But yeah, I, I just think there needs to be access to medical roleplay. Because people aren't going to do injury and medical roleplay if they don't have someone to RP. Because again, you guys remember, and no hate to this girl at all. No hate, it was, a, it was an RP decision, it was great. Um, but you guys remember when Sloane got stabbed, and I had planned to do all this medical RP, but then the doctor decided to walk out in the middle of doing it, which was totally fine. Totally fine. Um, but then I, I didn't really go into any of the medical RP with that, because it was weird for me to just, like... Com yeah, that was Oliver's fault. As per everything, that was Oliver's fault. Obviously. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just think it's and that was the, again, like we've talked about it before and like I was kind of saying in the meeting there when people know that there is a doctor like, if you know 
that there is a doctor at a set location that you can come to all the time, you are more likely to go and get things checked out, to get your stitches looked at, to do whatever, you know what I mean? Oh, boats. Many beached boats, good lords. But that's the thing, you're more you're more enticed to participate in that RP when you have that RP available to you. Just gonna just gonna roll up on the fucking Are those deputies? I hope those aren't deputies. Is that dusk? Oh, good lords. Also, I appreciate the fall colors that you are wearing. Oh. <laughs> what bank? Oh, yeah, 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 this is this season. Um, yeah, I can walk no, over this telegram. so much I could tell you too. <laughs> Good lord, so much happening. Oh, maybe sell it to save Consistency it for is way day important. When we have another family dinner, hopefully in the future. I will so greatly like that, really. Because I, I want to catch up with you. Yes. We can just, you know, drink all the tea in the city and eat oh, everything. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look forward to it. Of course. Not May hold you up to you. Oh, no, you're not at all. I'm not really that busy. I may lay my head too pretty soon, but other than that, I'm, I'm okay. No reply from Trust Nate or anyone. So. <laughs> <sighs> Deeper than two lips. I could tell by that fucking size. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, just so you uh, know, darling. It's going well. No. Sorry. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hey. I'm just I'm I'm just riding around with the wagon for a little bit. I'm gonna go up to the lab and check some things out and start getting shit sorted out for the medical yes. shit. I wait. Just I mean, in case okay. anyone needs me or anything, yeah? Yeah, no, no, uh, yeah, we got your telegram if, if we need yeah, something, or perfect. we can check up there, yeah. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Alright, y'all stay safe. Yeah, but take it easy. It, um... I kind of really like the wagon. I kind of like the wagon, I can't lie. Honestly, when people know there's a fixed, lo consistent location for RP, they will show up just for it. Like, Klaus's shop was always busy with people because he was always around. A hundred percent. A hundred thousand percent. Sloan looking like she's selling miracle tonics. I love it, right? I know, Sloan's got snake oil. We love it. I love the leader Leo arc. He surprised me. Yeah, he's been doing good. He's been doing good. We'll see. We'll see. He's starting out strong and there's a lot of pitfalls, but he's doing really, really fucking well so far. It's why the war hurt Saint Denis because everyone left the house for months. A thousand percent. A hundred percent. Like people, I don't think people understand that like that's what we lost in the war. You know what I mean? Like we lost a lot of the reputation and consistency that we typically have. Yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna we're gonna do this the lazy way because I want to sit and talk to you guys and, and bullshit for a little minute here. Here we go. We're gonna take a nice leisurely trot up there. Um, if people wanted RP, they could always go to the house. One hundred percent. If he makes Dolly a proper soldier, that man is going to get promoted to capo. I doubt she will be a soldier, but we'll see. We'll see. We got the timer going down. I like that you never really see that wagon, so it feels like it's actually yours or just for doctors. I, well, I mean, again, I would love, and it, not me complaining at all, because I know it's super complicated. But my god, I would love to have... Um, an owned wagon. Like, I would love for this to be... 
I mean, I would love, again, we're in the early development stages of a lot of the way that uh, RDO, Red M and stuff is, is going. But, you know, in GTA and stuff, you can get the custom liveries. Imagine this with a custom livery on the side about Sloan's business or something. Mwah! Beautiful. Beautiful. It'll probably never happen. I don't know if we'll ever get there, but it would be fucking great. Sloan has a business at the house, but also delivers morphine and tonics using a wagon to shipment and other private doctors once a week. I, yeah, that, that kind of has kind of occurred to me, too, because she's going to be up at the lab. And... So here's the thing. Out of character, I know Mitsu's dead. 07 Mitsu. Rest in fucking pieces, my boy. Sloane doesn't know that in character at all yet. Um, <laughs> but it... I would love to pick up some of the... The, uh... Yeah, the, uh... What the fuck am I thinking of? The slack. The slack in terms of having tonics and having things that we can develop. And I, I was talking about herbs earlier, because I do need some herbalists and stuff. I would love to hire some more herbalists again. That's a great thing to motivate RP from people. Yeah, I'm gonna put- I'm gonna- I'm gonna spray paint a- a naked barbarian chick riding a polar bear next to a wizard on the side of my wagon. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> But yeah, I, uh... <sighs> We're gonna miss me too, but I would like to pick up the slack for that eventually. Sloane trying to discover the cure for TB or cholera. I mean, she's not an immunologist, so we'll, we'll see. Um, oh, I did want to talk about, right, I did want to talk about the layers. So this is, and this ties into the medical shit as well. Um, because people were talking earlier about, uh, how Z was saying that it's hard to, because you don't want to limit people from RP. And I completely sympathize and I see his point. But I think one of the things that I hope is going to change, because war is difficult to, to modulate this, but I think, I really, really hope that people have lives outside of the family going forward. You know what I mean? Because I think that's a really, really important thing to have. And it was something Sloane had before she was in the family. But the problem is everything was like so contracted with the war. Everything was so tense all the time. So like you don't get to have a social life. You don't have to go out. So... For my money, when it comes down to, like, excluding people from RP, quote-unquote, from the family shit, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. It goes back... We've had conversations before, if some of you guys remember, about, like, people always say yes and for RP. You know what I mean? Yes and, yes and. No and is a very good option as well, which people don't use as much. You know, and again, this ties back into people holding grudges or people not wanting to deal with certain things or certain people. Everyone being positive all the time, everybody saying yes to everything and allowing everything to happen all the time. Are we... we're stalled? Okay. This horse was scary. We couldn't get past him. <laughs> couldn't get past the horse. Um, but yeah, do you guys get what I mean by that? Like, like... Discluding things is a form of RP. I also think, and again, this is not directed at anyone. This is kind of just like a general comment, but I think people tend to take a no. And I think they tend to go, oh my God, you're shutting down my RP. Oh my God, you're shutting down my RP. Which is not the case. Shutting down RP is a, is a specific thing that does happen. And it happens often. But somebody saying no to you is not shutting down all of your RP forever. You know what I mean? <laughs> we needed a good fear cast. <laughs> yeah, it opens doors. Here's the thing. A wall, something to overcome, a problem, that is a very good source of RP. 
you know, I'll even use the example here of if the no and helps instigate further conflict, it can be wonderful. Exactly. 100%. 100%. Um, you know, and there is there is conversations where the no is shutting down RP. If you just refuse to interact, if you refuse to have anything to do with it, then yeah, sure, that's that's shutting down RP. Or if it's a no and with like zero context and zero lead up RP. If you just don't want to do shit because you don't want to fucking do shit. I mean, a it is your prerogative as a role player, but yeah, for my money, like I think. And I agree with what people are saying in the chat as well, of like, it has more meaning to rising up the ranks, to getting it through these doors, to, to getting all the information you need, right? It, it adds more weight to it. It's really good, but... But, you know, it is a, it's a difficult leadership position to be in because you don't want to be shutting people out. Maybe it needs to be re-implemented that members of the family should always be looking to make connections and opportunities outside of the family that are not necessarily an associate. Well, again, I think, uh, I think war times really fucked us on a lot of that. Which is totally understandable, but I think that's kind of... I think that's rolled into this whole business arc, you know what I mean? I've had people shut down any chance of RP for Annabelle in a way that made me stuck with where nowhere to go that was frustrating but there was another example of annabelle being told no and it made her pursue a new request even harder agreed agreed and i've i've had the same thing with sloan like you guys have seen that happen on sloan where people i think so and this is a, a side topic and okay was that was that too much we couldn't we couldn't figure this one out Okay. <laughs> yeah, this wagon is a fucking tank. It drives like a tank, but that's that's okay. We're gonna slow this right down. Taking the corners too fucking fast. Um, yeah, but I think in terms of like information being kept out and people being kept out of meetings and stuff in terms of the family it's huge i think it's it's really really important oh are we gonna are the npcs gonna move are we gonna figure it out here he's gonna have a little breakdown he's gonna do okay we're figuring it out <laughs> yeah this thing could go through fucking sisigo walls man But we shall see. We shall see how it all plays out. I'm really hoping this medical shit goes well. I'm really, really hoping it does. Actually, I'm gonna let this auto path for one second. I'll be right back, guys.
you nerd out with talking. I love talking about RP, dude. I genuinely, and I think all of the viewers must love the shop talk. Like you guys must enjoy that because <laughs> I feel bad. I was thinking about it today because I feel bad because I don't, I'm trying to be more engaged in my RP because I've talked about it before. And there's a difference between me streaming and me just RPing. Like, I can feel the difference in my roleplay. I can feel the difference. Because I feel like I gotta engage with you guys all the time. I feel like I gotta talk. Which you guys have all assured me that is not the case. Like, you guys put it on, like, a TV show and it, it, it just kind of goes. You don't always have to be chatting and stuff like that. So I'm trying to, I'm, tr I'm kind of trying to change the mindset a bit. You know what I mean? So today, you might, guys may have noticed, I was really quiet today. I wasn't, like, joking around with chat a ton. I wasn't, like, back and forth with it. Not because I'm not interested, not because I'm not happy to be here. Um, like, I just... I kind of just wanted to experience the RP and, and relax and have a good time. But... I really like... I love doing the solo stuff because I love talking shop. I love it so much. I, I, I love sitting and talking to you guys about everything that's going down. Because I find it makes me a better role player. It's so constructive. It's so good. I hope it helps other people, too. I hope hearing different perspectives and like kind of go through going through things helps other people. Um, you know, change things or, or become better or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, the family's lacking connections right now. Information takes a while to get to the family, probably because of the three months of war, but it took a while for the family to find out about Sam Bass dying. The medical RP in the house would greatly increase the information. A hundred percent. A hundred percent I agree with that. A hundred fucking percent. I lurk in about 80% of the time. Talks in the downtime like this about RP and current situations are great. I appreciate that. Like, that's the thing. Like, I, I love doing solo and I love talking. You guys could not talk to us at all and we'd still watch. Well, that's like, like Johnny Blams and stuff. Like, there's a bunch of people on the server who have super, super atmospheric streams and they really don't talk to their chat, like, at all, right? Which I think is amazing. I think is super fucking cool. And I'm too chatty. I, again, I like doing this too much, so I don't think that would ever be me. But I think when I'm actively with people and actively doing RP, um, yeah, I think going forward, you know, I hope you guys don't hate me for it, but I think going forward, like, you are just not gonna hear me chatting. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're gonna be- we're gonna be doing stuff here and, and around. Yeah. I know the day I join the server, I'll fucking RDM Sloan. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Listen, everyone wants to RDM Sloan, you gotta get in line for that one. Oh, I seem totally distracted when I was talking to Annabelle. <laughs> no. No, I hope not. I hope not. Because it's a thing, too. It always... It always feels unfair to me if you're, like, not paying enough attention to your fellow role players. Like, that feels super... I feel guilty, legitimately. If I feel I'm not engaged enough in the scene when it's happening, I feel guilty when I walk away from it. He does both. He does the atmospheric stuff and then also has breaks where he talks shop as well. Oh, so exactly like I'm doing. Perfect. Ideal. Perfect. Yeah, I think, I think that's something that we're really going to focus on going forward. <laughs> we just watch the story unfold. Yeah, I appreciate it. Table cleaned thoroughly. Sink disinfected, table cleaned. I wonder who's up here, because this is... That's not that old. Who's been up in my lab? Who's been in my goddamn laboratory?
Is it Mitsu? No, I don't think it's Mitsu. Sloane is going to assume it's Mitsu. She's definitely going to assume it's him, because she doesn't know any better. It is a little weird that he would be in her stuff, but Sloane is going to assume it's Mitsu. Uh, what do I have in here? Actually, you know what? I'll leave those there just in case. Um, okay, that's not terrible. Oh, I forgot to get my fucking bolt action. God damn it. I was going to hunt a little bit up here. Oh, well. I do have I, I do have a gun on me. I do. I have my navy, but. I love this wagon. I just wish that there was. I wish there was more you could do with it, too. If the back fucking opened or something, that would be sick. Because I know in single player, you can open, the back opens up and there's a whole like storyline and shit with it, but. That would be fucking sick, honestly. I do like it, it basically just as advertising. Like it's just a really big, really good signal for advertising. We didn't get the tiny horse hat because apparently it's a one-time use thing. Just store all the kidneys. How long of not seeing Mitsu around will it take for Sloan to be concerned that something might have happened to him? Uh, probably a week or two more. Like, things have been crazy and she's... We're going to go up to where we usually go for Sloan shop talks. Y'all ready to have a... <laughs> We're gonna get electrocuted up here. Somebody's gonna come in and flip the fucking switch and we're gonna get electrocuted. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have a nice little sit down. Here we go. In the rain. Um, I don't know, a week or two maybe? Cause her and me too don't, they didn't, like, they saw each other when they were around, but there was no expectation for it, you know what I mean? And the thing is, she's seeing, like, activity at the laboratory. She's assuming that that's Mitsu. I know it's not Mitsu, but she's assuming. Uh, to be fair, she'll probably... The people she would ask about it are maybe Taipan or something. We'll get to it eventually. Um, but yeah. For right now, it, it kind of is what it is, you know? It is what it is, my dudes. Feel free to bug me with more questions, too. I'm gonna- I'm gonna eat a cookie here for a second. Because I need a cookie. I'm hungry. Uh, but bug me with more questions. We've been off for several weeks. I'm sure you guys have many things you want to say. How's Sloan's mental health after everything since it's calmed down a bit? Um... <sighs> Weird. Snack time. Thank you, Erica. Snack time. We're having a little cookie. Everybody else have a snack too. Everybody dig it. Oh my god, I'm gonna get electrocuted and die. Uh, her mental health, though. It's kind of all over the place. Because... On the one hand, very good things have happened. Oliver's awake. Carlo's alive. You know, Carlo's alive and they don't have to kill him. Punished, yeah, but they don't have to kill him. You know what I mean? On the other hand, Olivia's dead. Olivia's dead and sort of betrayed the family. Not intentionally, not knowingly, but, but did kind of betray the family, you know? The wars are over. That's a positive. But at the same time... The Sam's Club War is probably going to go back on. Um, and it kind of does negate a lot of what Oliver was in a fucking coma for. She's... she's yeah. The family is coming back too. The family is being what it needs to be again. But things are also shifting in a weird way. And things are uncertain. 
Um, like she kind of, I wasn't on, I don't know if anyone was streaming at the time. I wasn't on stream definitely, but what you guys didn't see was that the morning that Olivia came back, the morning that, that she was bled out and she came back and told everyone about Carlo and everything, like Sloan and Scarpo had a little tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of an altercation about shit. Um, there's a lot of tension still within the family. Uh, there's some weird stuff. No, I know Vesper was streaming it, but she wasn't around for the shit that happened. It was after Olivia left. Like, things are changing in the family, and Sloane's very happy about the direction of it, but there are, there are kind of uncertainties that are still around. What happened, Scarpa? Basically, it was, everybody walked out back. It was after the whole thing where Olivia was like, this is what happened. When, when Sloane and Olivia fought, too, kind of. Um, they all walked back, and Sloane... Sloan just made one comment, um, cause uh, some of the guys were saying, oh yeah, you know, this will be dealt with, they'll pay for it. And Sloan made one comment of, will they, or will it be a slap on the wrist? Cause, you know, she was deeply, deeply overtired, and, um, very emotional about things. Completely just sleep deprived. And to be fair, this was, this was directly before there was any kind of punishment going anywhere, right? Sissy hadn't been dealt with, Dolly hadn't been dealt with, Dom hadn't been dealt with, even Sloan hadn't necessarily been spoken to about anything that she'd ever said, you know what I mean? Like, there was like, there was just no punishment going anywhere. Um, so she made a comment of, you know, will they be punished or will it be a slap on the wrist? And Scarpo, yeah, I've never heard him yell before, but he yelled about, um, about disobeying the brothers' orders, and I'm not gonna have anybody questioning the brothers. And Sloane just shut up about it. She was like, okay, but yeah, fine. Um, and then literally, I think within like two or three hours in the day, Sissy had her hand smashed up and then Olivia got shot later that night. So it was like, okay, cool. Clearly things are being dealt with. <laughs> you know what I mean? Clearly we have completely turned a page. Um, so Sloane doesn't have that sentiment anymore, but it was a, it was a weird, tense little moment with Scarpo. Um, but Sloane is also... And it might be completely projecting. I have no idea. But she knows that there's... Well, even the shit with, like, Mikey and stuff. And, and maybe with Winchester as well. But she definitely knows the vibe from Mikey of, like... When she was trying to fix Carlo and help Carlo and shit like that. Um, she knows that they had a very strong opinion of... Why the fuck are you wasting your time? Why are we... Why do we have this danger around? Why are we even wasting time with this? It's just a liability. Let's just fucking shoot him. Kojo's <laughs> podcast changed everything. In fairness, I was having that podcast far before he was. That is, this is something that Sloane has been saying in character for ages, dude. For fucking ages. You guys know that. Dude, well, how wild was that? How fucking insanely wild was that for us to all be in that meeting, for Cesare to have that break like that, and he legitimately turned around and he said, maybe Sloane was right. And then, within 12 hours, people were getting shot. Yeah. Oh, even to Guys, yeah, like, Canadian brings up a huge point. This was part of the reason... Like, it sounds fucked up, stay with me on this, but part of the reason that Sloane joined up with the family was because, um... <laughs> because Oliver got his head cracked. Uh, for for disobeying shit for for being an asshole like she figured out why it happened right and she was like okay this is real this is real there are consequences they they have order to how they do things they understand what's going on now she didn't necessarily like like that it was Oliver getting his head bashed in you know and obviously her opinion of Oliver has changed her feelings of Oliver has changed she doesn't want him to get hurt. But yeah, exactly, Sprout. It was a, they mean business. These people fucking mean business. And she was like, okay, good, perfect. And then, the, as soon as she gets into the family, things are all kind of lackadaisical and people are kind of going this way and that way and, and all over the place and nobody's getting punished and, and this and that, that, that. And she's like, like, I just, I just threw a, like, I just, I invested my entire life into this. I put my entire life into this family and they are, all over the place. Also, I think the family doesn't want to hurt their soldiers during wartime. Fair point. That's also a fair point. 100%. Um, 
Um, like, it's difficult to punish during wartime, but yeah. Do you think Sloane will get punished for the Scarpo thing? I hope not. That would be a really weird thing to punish her for. I would expect her, I would expect the same way that, um, the same way that I think I was expecting her to get snapped at or get it talking to when she, like, came to Santino and then Cesare with all her concerns and stuff. Like, I would expect her to have a, maybe a reprimand about it, but I really hope she doesn't get fucking punished for anything. I don't know. It would feel really weird to me if Sloane got punished for something right now. Oliver and Sloane had an actual organic growth in their relationship too, which was awesome to play out. Yeah, y'all love the slolly. Y'all on the slolly wagon. Who do you think will fill the capo slot? I'm leaning more towards Ollie, but I don't know. Uh, do you guys want to know a secret? You guys want to know a juicy, juicy, juicy little secret that I don't know if I've ever said on stream with Sloane? She's kind of, she's alluded to it a couple times, but I, I don't know if I've ever said. Um, Sloane loved Olivia so much, deeply, deeply loved her as a sister. Olivia was one of the people who brought her in. She had a tremendous amount of respect for her. Um, she supported her completely in everything, you know, nothing but love there between Sloane and Olivia. Sloane never thought that Olivia should have been Capo. She never thought that that was a good idea. Um, she always thought that Oliver should have remained Capo. It was, even as an outsider at the time, it was very, very clear to Sloane that Oliver was being sabotaged. He was being actively fucking sabotaged. <laughs> and now being in the family and knowing the full breadth of everything that was happening, um, like she knew, like Oliver's a fucking Capo. Oliver should always be a leader. And this is going to be a controversial statement, but I want you guys to stay with me on this one. And I don't want you to take it as any like weird kind of commentary on anything because it's not. This is a real life thing. It, it happens in RP too. One of the trickiest things about leadership, one of the hardest things about it is, um, is charisma. And you can't learn charisma. You can't, like, you guys have seen it countless fucking times. When shit goes sideways, when something happens, who the fuck does everyone look to? Even outside of the family, even the enemies, who does everyone look to? They look to the brothers. They look to Oliver. You know what I mean? Oliver would be perfect consig? Me? I don't know if Oliver would be a consig. I think he's a great fucking capo. You did mention that Olivia was acting weird since capo to Carlo before. Yeah, that was the thing. And you could see that it was kind of just not going well for, for Olivia. I Right now, they're not going to fill it. But when the brothers are gone for one week, Oliver will be acting as capo. Along. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Only for the third brother. Him being sabotaged gave us one of the best character development arcs and Kojo killed. Oh, a thousand percent. Again, again, disclaimer, disclaimer. Um, this is not me shitting on any RP because it was fucking amazing. And the shit that came out of it was so fucking amazing, as you guys know. What do you think was the cause for Olivia to crumble? I think Olivia fell into, and I think, don't quote me on this because I really, really, really want, I really want, Leo to succeed so much, but I think it's the trap that Leo is also going to fall into. And I think it was the exact trap that the brothers fell into during the war, mildly, much more mildly. Um, but it's a very, very common leadership problem where people try and they fixate on the idea of fairness. They fixate on the idea of justice, of finding the balance, of knowing all the facts of being unbiased and having some kind of plateau of magnanimity that they can can operate and make these decisions from. It's absolute bullshit. It's complete fucking bullshit. That place does not exist. There is there is if you talk to any actual leaders in in companies and there is no such thing as unbiased. There is no such thing as like a completely neutral third party. There is no such thing as perfect arbitration. It doesn't exist. It's not a real thing. And I, I think it's, especially when you're new to leadership role, I think it's very, very, very easy. And Sloane was, I, you guys might have seen, I don't know if Leo was streaming, because Sloane actually pulled Leo aside and tried to have this conversation with him. And I don't think he necessarily understood what she was saying. But Sloane tried to have this conversation. Actually, actually, if you guys remember, OGs will know, OGs will remember. Do you guys remember a conversation that Sloane had with Jack 
way, 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 way back when, um, when they were going up to the snow one time, they were on the frozen lake um, right north of Hagen, and they were going through. And Sloat had this conversation with Jack because he was kind of questioning things at the time. And she said, listen, leadership is not about right or wrong. It's about making the decision. Every single time it is about making the fucking decision and sticking with it. Everything is hindsight. In hindsight, you will always make the right choice. Like, that's not what it is. And I think that was the problem that Olivia kind of fell into. I think that was kind of the thing that frustrated people about some of the decisions the brothers were making. I can see Leo falling into this problem already, and I really, really hope he course corrects. I, he's doing so well, and I really hope he does. But people kind of, they paralyze themselves because they want to they wanna have all the information. They want to get all the facts. They want to be as just and unbiased as they can. And all that does is, like, it skews things and it prolongs things and it it gives you a certain anxiety in leading as well because you get to this point where you're just kind of saying, well, am I am I being biased? Am I am I favoring one or the other? Is this the right thing? Is this fair? What? what ha, to, it, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. You need to make the choice. You need to make the choice and stick to it. Actually, to to bring up the situation with um, Cesare and Dahlia is a very good example of that. Because if Cesare had come in and just straight up said, this is Dahlia. I like her a lot. I think I'm in love with her. She's going to be in the fucking family because I want her in the family. Done. Would everyone have liked it? No, not really. Would we have, would we have respected him outright for saying and making the decision? A thousand percent. And it also would have confu- cleared up all the confusion about, well, you know, she's good and then and then and then and this and that and like making up weird excuses like like that. that OK, done. I get it. Done. OK, perfect. Do it that way. Fine. You know what I mean? And again, again, disclaimer, 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 again, disclaimer. Not critiquing or shitting on anyone's RP in any negative sense at all. It's just it's a leadership thing. Thank you, Canadian. It's a, it's a leadership thing. And I've seen it. I've seen it in real life. I've seen this happen in real life so many times. People get put into positions of leadership or management or whatever else. And, and yeah, that's what I think happened with Olivia. This has been a very, very long form answer of what happened to Olivia. But I think you just kind of... You get into this mindset of like trying to, to arbitrate everything and trying to know best. And, and you make weird decisions and you go one way or the... I mean, how many conversations towards the end? How many conversations did we have with Olivia? Us, other people, where you would... You would say, okay, here's my side of things. Here's what happened, blah, blah, blah. And she would hit you with just some, like, weird devil's advocate argument trying to spearhead something. And you're like, what are we talking about? What? What? Huh? What? Like, that makes no sense. What are we talking about? <laughs> That's just a common fallacy in leadership. 100% polygon. Do you guys, you guys get what I mean by this? Do you guys understand what I'm saying by this one? The other thing is, if you were... That at least I'm seeing Cesare likes Leo in a leadership position more than Oliver, at least from the meeting earlier where Oliver volunteered to be a temp capo. Cer- Cesare Dodge. Yeah, uh, agreed. Agreed. Yeah, you guys understand what I'm saying? Good. Good. That's something Oliver is good at 100%. Once the brothers start arguing, he steps in and makes the decision for them. I mean, Sloan has made decisions in the middle of wartime because, like, Leadership has been wavering on things. You guys saw it happen. It ha- it, roll the tapes. It's happened. It's fucking happened. <laughs> I think the conflict ending with the duel, which got Oliver hurt, left her unsatisfied. She was very insistent on still having a meeting with Jabass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're aware of that. It was... And I mean, that was a... It was a weird kind of moment, too, because like, it was very clear that there was something going on between Olivia and Jabass. But romance doesn't end wars. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't. And it was never going to. The snow while Sloane was inside dealing with Carlo was a perfect example, even though you weren't there to see it. Was it? I have no idea what happened. <laughs> I have no clue what was happening. I was giving blood to Carlo. Does Sloane feel there's going to be a deep talk argument with Oliver... Over the way he went into the duel? No. And no, Sloane is proud of Oliver. 100% Sloane is proud of Oliver. And now that she's 
that he's woken up, she doesn't have to be scared about it anymore. And he has also outright promised her that he's never going to duel anyone again or put himself in that scenario. It's never, ever happening again. But she was proud of him. He, he did the difficult thing. And everyone was... Like, we were aware the moment that his name got out in relation to Nash and Effie um, going the way that they did. We were aware that they were going to go after Oliver forever, no matter what. So him being the shields, taking on the burden of, if I die, then I die, and I do it to keep the family out of trouble. I mean, how, how is she not going to be proud of that? It's all about the power dynamics in the family at the end of the day. Not always the fair choice has to be made. Exactly. Again, there is, I, I think that's a terrible, terrible thing in leadership. And I'm not saying, you know, out and out fucking blind corruption. That's not what I'm saying at all. But like, make your choice, stick to your choice, be clear on why the fuck you made your choice. That's, that's leadership, ultimately. Her plan could have worked if she at least waited till Oliver was awake. It was literally two weeks. There was no plan, guys. <laughs> guys. L guys. <laughs> Listen, and so much love to Vesper, so much love to Olivia, truly, truly, truly. There was no business. <laughs> there, we did not have a business relationship with Sam's Club to begin with. Sam's Club was not doing business. Sam's Club didn't even fucking do business when they were in the city. They like half did a ton of projects and then fucked off. They didn't even do fucking business when they were in the city, okay? There was no business. Sam's Club is all incredibly wanted, facing the noose, going to be hunted and, and shot down forever. They're not business partners. They were never going to be business partners. I feel like Olivia wanted to end it in a way that both sides can end it without hating each other so she can see Jabash freely without causing problems. Yes, that which is... And again, f complete love to Vespers and Olivia. I love it so much. It was incredible. Like... All of the RP that has come from this has been fucking incredible. Nothing but love. But Warlord, you're right. And it was... The way that Sloane is looking at it, she knows that that's the truth of things. She knows that that's exactly what happened from, from the information that she has. And she cannot see it as anything but an in fucking incredibly selfish maneuver. Incredibly selfish maneuver, you know what I mean? It would be to put it in to put it into a like a perspective of things. It would be like if Sloane pretend Sloane and Oliver weren't a thing. Okay, pretend there's no feelings there. It would be like if Sloane joined up with DC and the war with with Kettleman happened, and then Sloane and Jack reconciled, and Sloane wanted DC and Kettleman to be best friends again so that she could continue being in a relationship with Jack. You know what I mean? That's kind of the proxy of exactly what happened there. That's fucking insane. That's insane. <laughs> Like, that's, that's absolutely insane. You know what I mean? Oliver also acknowledged that Sloane would get tortured to get him once it was known that they killed Nash. Yeah, true. Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's... And again, again, nothing but love. Like, it, the, the RP was fucking amazing. The funny thing is, Sonny has said that he's okay with doing business with Jack now. Has he? Interesting. Also, it might not have been that insane if it wasn't too soon. Also true. Also, Oliver was still in a coma. Maybe wait for him to wake up. Jabas made it obvious that he didn't want to make a deal with the brothers and only with Olivia, so that was the hint for them, but chose to ignore it. Also true. Olivia taken out was a mistake. Oliver was having, or Carla was having an episode and that's why she stepped in front of Jabass. That bullshit. <laughs> I think there may have been some blended parts of it, but operating from the past, from the, the, the point of Carlo lucidly remembers everything that happened and, and very consciously made a choice to do what he did. It's, it, it was, even if there were some shreds of an episode there, it, it completely does not matter. It does not matter at all. And the problem is, Olivia also, even, like, here's the thing. Even if he did have an episode, I want to clear this up because I know there's a lot of differing opinions on this. For Sloane's money, Carlo is alive right now because he didn't have an episode. If Carlo had an episode, we would have had to kill him because he would have been too much of a liability 
you would have been totally insane. Okay. If he had an episode, though, if he did watch the episode or uh, if he did have the episode. It still would have been Olivia's fault. Olivia would have died regardless because no matter if he did or did not have the episode, Olivia did that to him. Olivia called him out. Olivia m tried to have a sit down. Olivia selfishly chose Jabas over Carlo. Olivia then went and hung out with Jabas again. Olivia was on date for like three hours. Olivia put Carlo in this scenario. Consciously and willfully, Olivia did that. All right, re relax, dude. It's, it's chill. Relax in the chat there. Whatever happened, Olivia disobeyed an order, made Carlo have an episode, and then, it, like, everything that happens, yeah, Carlo's responsible for his own actions, but Olivia put him in the situation to fail. Olivia put him in that fucking situation. There was no way that... And, and, then, she, and then she defended Jabas, and then she left Carlo alone to go back for Jabas. She left him alone to go back for Jabez! <laughs> like, that's, that's so damning. It's so damning, dude. Because, yeah, it, it, I, don't, I really don't think it matters the, the state of Carlo. Episode, no episode, good, bad, otherwise. I don't think that matters at all. Olivia would have died regardless because of Olivia's choices. Not because of what Carlo did. Because of her own choices. The RP from this has been some of, if not the best RP I've seen. Amazing moments from everyone spun from it. And again, hats off. So much love to Vesper. So, so, so much love to Vesper. Because um, the RP has been fucking insane. The RP has been incredible. Olivia was such a beautiful character. I miss having her around so much. Like, every part of it has just been insanely good. I think it really helped Carlo once the brothers... Once the brothers heard Oliver say, I would have done the same thing. Sloan would have done the same thing. Tell me anyone in the family who probably wouldn't, maybe not exactly the same thing, but would have done very similar, who would have felt similar. I think, I think literally everyone seeing what Carlo had seen would have felt the same. Whether or not they would have acted on it is a separate thing, but I think legitimately everyone would have felt the same. I don't think Sissy would. Well, Sissy is also trying to fuck Zip, so... <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't think everyone in the family would have acted, but I think everyone in the family would have felt the same about it. You know what I mean? Carlo having an episode only matters in the concept of context of he should be killed or not. Agreed. Exactly. Exactly. We should probably go down and check our telegrams, huh? I did send telegrams out in the night, yeah. Paid with her life for a five-hour day with Jabas. Exactly. Please don't fall. Okay. The minute she chose to protect Jabas and shoot a member of the family, that sealed her fate. Agreed. Agreed. Like, that's the thing. She could have gotten severely punished, but she probably could have wiggled out of it if she had just gone on a date and everything else. And that was the thing. The decision was made before we even found out that she lied and kept about a, a bunch of the information from us as well. But you got to remember that she did, on top of everything, lie and keep information from us, ultimately. I don't think Olivia had any bad intentions. It's just a series of bad choices and being drunk. Yep. Correct. Uh, a thousand percent correct. A thousand fucking percent correct. I, like, I truly think she thought that she was doing what was best for the family, ultimately. It's just that it didn't translate to that at all. Um, you know, when she was drunk and bad choices are bad choices and, and you want what you want. The heart wants what it wants. You know, Sonny's right. Love is bad for business at the end of the day. I mean, even if she had stayed with Carlo and not gone back for Jabas, it might have been different. Yeah, because Carlo never would have been pronounced dead. His friend never would have lied to us. A hundred percent. And she would have not gone back for the enemy. Yeah. It just all compounded together, unfortunately, to look extra bad. Yep. Agreed. Doubling down with a note to Jabaz kind of just cements things, even if it wasn't true. 
oh, dude, you, you will never convince me that this... Because here's the thing, guys. And this is a reality of human behavior. When you like someone, when you are attracted to someone, okay? Unless you completely steer clear of them, unless there's like a very clear dividing line, you know, you want to spend time with them. You will spend, you will find excuses to spend time with them. You will find ways to kind of manipulate things. Were they talking business the whole time? Probably. I believe that. I do believe that there was a lot of business talk going on, 100%. Do I also believe that the subcontext of their entire meeting was spending time with each other romantically because they, quote unquote, were probably on a date? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I, I think there may have been some business, but I don't think it was just business. And that's the problem. Honestly, that night was a 180 degree turn. I never expected her for her to care for Jabas that much. Yeah, uh, agreed. Surprised all of us with that one. I don't? What do you not agree with, CM? <laughs> I don't like when I talk for five minutes and then just CM just says no. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah, agreed. There's no way that there's three to five hours there was even one and a half to two and a half hours of business talk. Agreed. You can't talk about business that long. Agreed. All this said, I still sobbed like a baby when the family killed her. I'll miss her so much. Oh, Olivia was foundational. She was amazing. I cried. I cried. Oat, Oat Milk made a video that made me cry the other day. The funeral I teared up at. Carrying Olivia on the back of my fucking horse to the funeral I teared up. Like... Uh, like, yeah, that's the thing. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. We can pick it apart as much as we want. I love Olivia and I miss her. And I loved having her around. Carla did say when he found them in Armadillo, Olivia was playing the piano. Yeah, I don't typically play piano in my business meetings. Oh, hi. Hi, Vesper. Were your ears burning? Hello. We were talking about Olivia stuff. <laughs> Shout out to Vesper. So much love. No joke, I was legitimately just saying, like, how much RP you drove and how much we miss Olivia, and we, we do deeply, deeply miss having her around. Fucking amazing RP. Amazing way to go out on it, though. For real. Amazing. Best boy. Olivia. But Vesper foreshadowed this, especially with all the talk she, talk she had with Cesare. Well, that was the thing. And actually, going back to somebody who was asking about uh, the, the little tiny altercation that Sloane and Scarbo had. Do I think that, that Sloane deserves, like, a reprimand of, hey, don't do that shit anymore, don't do that shit again? Sure, 100%. 100 fucking percent. Do I think she deserves any kind of punishment? No. Because it would be really, really weird for Sloane to be, like, this family isn't punishing people, we are- because- and this was the thing, too, you have to remember as well. The thing that Sloane was badgering again and again with all of her conversations with Santino, with Cesare, with the problems about Dom, about Dahlia, about information, about everything that was happening, the problem was, Sloane was like, these are all small things that are compounding. We are going to have a fucking issue. Someone is going to die. Someone- and, and she was like, I'm the doctor. Whatever happens, I'm going to be fucking dealing with it. Somebody is going to die because of all of these problems we have in the family. And it's coming from a lack of decision making. It's coming from a lack of fucking foresight. And it's coming from a lack of punishment and everything else. So for me, it's really, really weird for them to turn around and be like, you're right, Sloane. And now also we have to punish you for being right. You know what I mean? Like, that's weird to me. It might happen. I don't know. I truly have no fucking idea. Um... But it would be, it, I, f I just find that that would be a little weird. Very hypocritical, but we'll see. Classic case of misinformation. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, that's RP. It's all misinformation. As I already said in the meeting, you were right all along. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it would be really weird to be like, oh, you've been right the whole time, Sloane. Anyway, now to beat your ass. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, hello, Pippin. Hi. Hi, baby. Sorry, the rabbit just ran in. Sometimes he, like, takes a corner too fast and falls over, and then he panics because he's falling over on the hardwood, and then he's scared. Him. Hi, baby. I know. Did you scare yourself by falling over? Life's hard. Life's hard when you're a tiny little rabbit with a tiny little pea brain. Hi, baby. Oh my god. Now he wants attention. He's like, Mommy, I scared myself. I fell over because I'm an idiot and I scared myself. <laughs> You gotta remember Cesare forgets sixty percent of everything said to him. You never know what's going Oh, true. We love him for it though. Can we see pictures of the rabbit? Yeah, I should post some pictures in the pet channel at some point. Hey, come join the Discord. Come say hello on Discord and see pictures of my rabbits. The reason Furio was so successful in his position because of people in other gang albums and legitimate friend. Well, yeah, that's a thing. Listen, Vesper, listen, I understand your point, but Jabas was also heavy flirting with Olivia all the time. So, you know. <laughs> and it's funny, we were talking about that earlier, too, because it's a... Uh, because everybody was saying, you know, we hope that there's more relationships outside of the family. We hope that now that war is over, people are out having their relationships and stuff. You know what I mean? We need more good shit with the family. Pippin, what are you doing, my dude? He's doing backflips. He's, he's doing backflips. Hi, honey. I know. <laughs> he's... <laughs> He's going psycho. It's that time of night. He's going crazy. You got the zoomies? I know. I know. I know. Baby. Sorry. Sorry, I'm baby talking. This is, this is what's going to happen now in the middle of <laughs> the fear podcasts. The fear casts. Hi, ba I know. I know. Life is so hard. Life is hard when you're a tiny bunny rabbit with no brain power. I know. I know. Oh my god, he's adorable. I think we might go back to St. Denis. We might go back to St. Denis and sit in the doctor's office for a little while. Not that I think anything is going to happen tonight, but we, we might vibe and do that while I podcast. No, you can't eat the chips. Get out of the chips. What are you doing? Come here. This little bastards. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, we're going to... Bam, 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 bam. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna take it at a nice slow trot. We're gonna take it right there. It's just a bit... No, I agree. That's the thing. Like, I think the relationship would have been totally fine. Romantic, friendly, whatever the fuck it was. I just think it was way, way, way too soon. Way too fucking soon. Alright, here we go. I would eat my cookie here for a second. Roman. That's the thing. I think it was. I think it was the same kind of relationship that Sloane and Oliver had back when we were on opposite sides and we were getting information from each other. I think it was a hundred percent the same kind of inf the relationship. But I think it does everyone a disservice to pretend. Oh, there's the the Kriger. We're just gonna run him over. That's fine. But I think it does everyone a disservice to pretend that there was no romantic undertones there. That it couldn't have gone to that point. You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing. She did give him his choker and 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 say everything for you, my love. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like it's not. It's not like you see a fucking deer on the road, uh, uh, five hundred meters in front of you, 
and go, I don't know if that's a deer. I guess we'll deal with it when I'm 10 feet away and haven't hit the brakes yet. You know what I mean? Wasn't that, wasn't that what that translates to? What does it say? Is my Italian fucked? I haven't translated that. What's the actual translation on that? Oh, with, does it? Did you Google translate that first <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's all good. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. My Ponzi linguistics is showing. With all my love, yeah. Pippin, don't eat my socks. What are you doing? Oh my god. The rabbit is just wreaking havoc on my life right now. Anyway, better or worse, yes or no, could have been, should have been, would have been. The amount of amazing fucking RP we got all of that. Why do pets always attack your socks? Why are socks the mortal enemy of all small animals? What's up with that, huh? What's up with that, baby? Hi. I lost some hair when Ollie said to Sloane, take care of Moray after the- <laughs> Mitsu was the number one slowly adversary in the crossing. Mitsu was out here to make sure nobody got laid and he failed his mission and now he's dead, which is very sad. <laughs> but he tried his best, so that's the important part. Sorry, I'm enjoying my cookies, everyone. I'm enjoying my cookies. Little dark chocolate biscuit. Mwah. Was Sloane... Yeah, she... I was actually just up there saying... Because people were questioning if she was going to ask about Mitsu. Because she doesn't know about Mitsu yet. Um, but... The thing is, someone was up there... Was it you? Was it you on an alt? Because somebody was up there leaving details of, like... Cleaning shit up and organizing the sink and stuff like that. Or cleaning the sink and organizing books and all of that. So she assumes that it's Mitsu. She wouldn't know any better. She she assumes it's Mitsu. So it's probably going to be a little while until she looks into that. Yes, we did go up and electrocute people. <laughs> we did have fun. Did Z and everyone have fun with that? Did, was code... <laughs> I hope everyone was having fun with that because it was very funny. Pippin, don't knock the guitar over! Pippin! Come here, do you need a carrot? Are you being a little brat because you need a carrot? Hang on, guys. Yeah, it's, it's this time of the night when he starts trying to kill everyone. Come here. Come here. We're gonna have a little healthy snack together, Pippin. Come here! Oh yeah, carrot time. Oh yeah, buddy boy. Pet the rabbit emote when? 
We need some Pippin emotes? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh my god, Canadian, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you, Canadian. Did I see Otani's art yet? I did not. Is it recent? Is it in the last couple hours art? Hang on. Let me have a look. Let me have a look, see here. Oh no. When I open when I open chat and have my Oh no. Oh my god, y'all doing it again. Y'all doing it to me again. It's happening. It's happening. It's Shiro, avert your eyes. You're about to see romance. It's happening, guys. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Did y'all... Were y'all in the chats getting super fucking emotional when that happened? Was everybody losing their goddamn minds when that happened? He surprised the fuck out of me. I didn't know he was gonna be awake. Pippin, don't look at me. You can't have my carrots. I gave you a carrot over there. You don't need to have mine. Do you understand? You don't understand. Everyone was crying with Sloan? Yep. I was convinced he was gonna die. Oh my god. Imagine if he woke up, stumbles over the dresser, has like three minutes of like lucidity, and then just collapsed and died. Sloan's little hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Oh my god, that would have been something. That would have been too much. You're worried to death. Pippin knows you keep the best carrots. I don't. He's eating the same carrots as me. He just wants mine. Because they're mine. He <laughs> turned this grown man into a sniffling baby. <laughs> Listen, it's good, man. It's, it's good RP. I am so happy that I get to RP with Kojo. Because he does. Nobody tell him. You can't tell him this, because his ego will just be unbearable. But Kojo is so, so deeply easy for me to bounce off of. He's amazing. He's amazing. And I love that I get to pull so many interesting scenes and, and moments and character beats out. Because Kojo is, is so giving and so easy to play off of. Really fortunate. I love it. I love it. He's lurking. Is he in my chat right now? Get the fuck out, Kojo. Somebody ban him. Wait, Sprout has a list? What's up with the list? What's going on? <laughs> Sloan and Ollie solo. I don't think they'll ever be solo, but... I'm hoping- who would you guys- I know Ollie is like the meme secretary. Ollie's not actually gonna be the secretary. Do you guys think there is anyone who would work out as being like a really good secretary or, or supplementary to- the medical shit we're doing at the house. Is there anyone who jumps to mind? Sissy? Sophia? Maybe. Oh, hi! What, honey? What? Did you scare yourself again? Oh my god, I'm stuck! Wow, this carriage is too tall. It gets stuck on things. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh. 
What? Don't stomp at me, honey. What? Maeve? You think Maeve could do it? I don't know. Does Maeve want to work in the family? Sprout put me on the list for giving Kojo the idea of tweeting out Oliver's death in a cipher. Okay, that that's insane. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Ooh, somebody's horse is there. Is that Dahlia's horse? Did it have the ugly saddlebags? Might be Dahlia's horse. We're gonna park this right up here. Out of the way. Nice and visible. Oh, we need a drink. We need a little drinky drink. Anyone home? Hello? It is such a fucking shame that nobody's here. Because again, again, this, this is my favorite fucking part. Like, this is so good. This is so fucking good. It's such a shame that this office is just, like, not really used consistently at all. This is so good. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe such a cool character, I can't wait for Sloane and Maeve interactions. We'll, we'll see. Uh, Maeve definitely set a certain tone with the family, with, with Sloane and with the family. Not good or bad, but there are certain kind of expectations on, on how things are going to go going forward. So we'll see. It's a kettle. I wonder who always puts the kettle here. That's nice though. It's just a meeting place where you have a body and telegram the doctor. No one stays and uses the space. Yeah, that's the, the, like, that's kind of what I feel and I kind of hate it. I wish that wasn't the thing. Cause again, this is such a cool fucking space. It's such a cool fucking space. I would love to have something done with it, but I don't know if we're ever going to see that happen. Let's go sit. We're going to go sit up front and see if I get yelled at. Was the under over on law turning up and, and yelling at me? Here we go. But I immediately heard someone. That's fine. Yeah, Sloane's surely a fucking parasite. Over here offering medical help to people. How could she? If I'm wanted? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I can shirk the wanted thing. I don't know if I am. We'll see. I'm not super stressed about it, to be honest. I don't know what I'm wanted for. It could be something super minor, too. So, like, if I'm wanted, I might just go in and pay my fine and then not be fucking wanted anymore. It's not a huge issue, honestly. On oh, the list? We're still we're still talking about the list? Did you answer the mimical question? Oh no, what was the mimical question? Also, sorry, if I don't, if I don't reply to your shit in chat, it's not because I'm ignoring you, it's because I don't fucking see it. Or because I get distracted talking about something and I forget to come back to it. What is Sloan wanted for? I don't know. I don't... Maybe the shooting at the telegram office, maybe. Maybe one of the other shootings, because I don't know that they necessarily fucking ID people. I think they kind of know... Okay, DC did blah 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 blah. And then they just kind of pick names and see if they were all there. I don't know. Watch some cray cray like Lottie comes around the corner with a shotgun. Always possible to be honest. Eternally possible, but we never know. 
The Mimic Quest question is if Sloane will go to the Mimic Quest and thank her. Yeah, we might try. I feel like it's so... Like, that's a lifetime ago. Because all of the fucking war shit, all the goddamn shit with the war, I couldn't go anywhere or do anything, so... We might try, but I feel like that's a very kind of outdated thing now. How was your view of the mountain battle? It was a great- oh, I streamed it! It's on stream! You can go watch it. It was- it was kind of crazy. I did- I did talk about the information thing. Yeah, the- the TLDR of that is, I think withholding information is great. I think tiers of information is great. I think it adds weight to joining the family and leveling up your shit with the family, quote unquote. Um, I also think that people should, the biggest point is people should have lives outside the family. And if you don't know what's going on in the family, that shouldn't stump all of your RP. You should have other RP going on outside of the family that you can also rely on. I think that's super important. That was the TLDR of that discussion. If they think DC did it, they'll just blanket charge all of them. Yeah, I'm waiting to get blanket charged. <laughs> It'll happen. It'll happen. We went two weeks without Slolly and Kojo ended early. He did. Was he just tired or something? Was he just being a little bitch? It's understandable. It's fine. Oh, he's feeling sick. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. He needs to actually- his- his schedule's been fucked. Oliver's been at weird hours lately. Have some solo RP, group RP, and specific one-on-one -on -one relationships. Not necessarily romantic. Multiple safety nets. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Well, that's the thing. Like, I- now that the wars are over, I really need to cultivate and push the relationships that Sloane has outside of the family. You know. At this point, her only really intense one-on-one -on -one relationships are, well, kind of Oliver. I would include Nate, but it's been a while since we've seen, we've seen Nate around. Pippin, what are you doing? Why are you standing in the hallway like that? You're fucking worrying me, dude. Are we being haunted? What are you doing? Okay, weirdo. I feel so bad about the Nate shit. I really fucking feel bad about the Nate shit, but I... It's just been bad timing and awkward and Nate's around that I see him in my chat and I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's just, like, it's just been bad timing after bad fucking timing, you know what I mean? None of it is intentional. Sloane wants to see Nate. It's just been... So are. And the only time when she had time to see him was during the war, and he was like, hey, can you come out, <laughs> come out to enemy territory? And she was like, no, not really. I don't think I can really, no. Yeah, who hangs out with farmers? God damn it, who hangs out with fucking farmers? God damn. Cows. That's true. Cows do. <laughs> Cows do. That's, yep, yep, that's the answer. Uh. Oh, oh my god. Why am I yawning all of a sudden? Herb picker Nate? Yeah, maybe I'll go pick some herbs. I do want to enlist some people for that. It might be fun. We might need to, we might get to, like, organically find those connections through, um, through doing the doctor's shit and reaching out to people. Their last chat was on the day of the rooftop shooting. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the thing. Like, it's it's a shame, but when we were trying to talk to Nate, fucking Sam Bass came into the city and tried to kill us all. Uh, well, what do you want me to do? Bye, Crow. Have fun. Thanks for stopping by, man. What do you want me to do, guys? I'm not a miracle worker. But we'll see. I have high hopes. I really do have high hopes now that the war is over, now that things are kind of chilling out. I have really, really high hopes for Chef. We'll see how much of it plays through, but here he is hoping.
time eating my carrots. I'm enjoying my carrots. Do you think the club or what's left of them will come after DC? 100%. I mean, that's all they do, right? Like we were clowning earlier. And no hate, no hate. Um, but they don't actually do business. There is no business. Their business is being outlaws. So their business is robbing people and robbing banks and shooting people. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, th I think they will definitely, definitely come after us and try and shoot us. Overwatch 2? Bitch, I tried to get onto those fucking servers. That's not happening. <laughs> I just hope KG doesn't go afternoon just because they see her in the city. Do we think that KG is going to go after Sloan? Don't meta me. Please don't meta me on anything. But I really, really hope they wouldn't just go after Sloan. Although we have talked about it before. I think like Aurora or Alice. There's a couple people who I think would go after Sloan for no fucking reason. Mostly the girls. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I know Lottie isn't like technically KG, but I know that she would. I think Zip would probably shoot Sloan. Yeah. Is Sloane going to have a real conversation with Jack now that the war is over? Um, I can tell you she's not going to seek it out in any way. She will not be going after a conversation with Jack in any way. Um, if he wants to talk, she might talk. Um, if they run into each other, like she's not going to never speak to him or, or avoid him. She'll have the conversation if it happens, but she is in no way pursuing a conversation with him at all. But I feel like since they both lost leaders, they'll have to find new leaders. Maybe. <laughs> Sam's claim might implode before they can get revenge. True! True! Dom? What are you just laughing at Dom about? <laughs> what is that for? To be honest, I think, I think Sloane has a bigger internal threat from certain members of the family than she does exterior threats anymore. I think things have shifted. Sam's Club have a lot of jail time to deal with currently. Yeah, agreed. Oh, listing people who would shoot her? Yeah. No, that's the thing. Like, like Dom, is, Dom's not around anymore, but I know Dom's technically is still in the family. Um, Dom very clearly wants her dead for some reason, whatever reason, who the fuck knows? I mean, we all know, and again, no shade, no hate, purely RP. But I think we can all agree that if Dahlia had an opportunity to kill Sloane, <laughs> or probably not kill her outright, but um, <laughs> <laughs> to get rid of Sloane, we all know that would happen. Is Don Bench permanently? I have no fucking clue. I don't know. I know he's not around. I've been told he's not going to be around for a while. I've been told in character he's not going to be around for a while. I have no fucking clue. No clue. My guess is to get to Oliver? Th maybe. Possibly. Possibly. Why did Dom le Dom left because he betrayed the entire family. <laughs> and then was given a second chance. And it's now in exile. Uh, but yeah, I think Ross just wants to play other characters. Which is good for him. Yeah. Um... Okay, actually, can we... Let's all rewind in our brains for a second here, and let's think all the way back to the meeting this morning. I don't even remember exactly what the comment was, but there was some comment about... Oh, we were actually talking about the Dom thing. And and somebody was like, well, what, did, what else did Dom say? And Sloan was like, oh yeah, and he said I was going to tear the family apart. I think there might have been another comment after that. But Effie did a weird fucking thing in that meeting. Right? Am I being crazy or did Effie do a weird thing? Where there was some comment about Sloane, like, tearing people apart or being terrible. And then Effie was immediately like, Oh, well, how do we know that's not correct? Sort of thing. I don't remember exactly what was said. But that was... That was weird. Am I... Am I being sensitive or was that weird? Because that felt like a... Because it didn't feel like a haha joke. It didn't feel like Oliver or Cesari or one of them going like, hee hee, oh yeah, yo, Sloane's terrible, Sloane's gonna kill us, she's a vampire, ha ha ha. It didn't feel like a joke, yeah. She definitely felt like Carlo should have been killed and went on a weird path with it. That, yeah, I, I definitely picked up on that. Yeah, it was very pointed. 
It was very sus. And again, Scarpo yelled at Sloan the other day, which like was a weird thing to kind of do. Given the situation. Patty! Okay, so we're not seeing Day Casey tonight. What's up, Patty? Hey, man. Yeah, that was the thing. She said something. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't believe all of what Dom said, or should we? Or should we in reference to Sloan tearing the family apart? Would Sloane just address it with Effie? No, Sloane doesn't give a fuck. Effie has been weirdly catty about things. Also, certain information about Effie's opinions about her have gotten back to Sloane. But it feels very much like... Not to draw a direct parallel, I guess, but it, I, I think I said this earlier. It kind of feels like the same shit with, like, Alice and them before. Um, in KG. Where it was like, we don't trust you and we don't like you and everything else. Because we don't know anything about you and you're a mystery and I, I can't trust your decisions. And it's like, okay, have you had any conversation with me ever? <laughs> Do you spend any time with me and have you ever tried to talk to me at all? No? Then I don't know, that doesn't really feel like my fault. With Olivia betraying the family, I can see how other family members just have their guard up. Yeah, true, if they don't know you, but again, it's been months. Like, they have ample opportunity to know me. And I'm not saying everybody has to come to be buddy- Oh, who the f- Fuck is this? Oh, I am not dealing with whatever the fuck that is. Good lords. I feel like the morning crew still needs to get used to Sloan because most of the time, yeah. But like, her and Sophia are tight. She, she, like, she gets a lot. Might we, her and Winchester have a good relationship? You know what I mean? Yeah, I got the NPC disguise. They'll never know it's me. I'm an NPC. I agree with Oliver last night. The way some members have been treating Carlos since the torture is terrible. The man was tortured for the family and kept his mouth shut. It was so bad he mentally... Yeah, that's the thing. And and again, we got to remember this is the mafia. This is not... And that's something that Sloan has been pushing. This is not a fucking daycare. Like, we're not thinking about people's feelings all the time. And, and this and that. And they deserve whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Sloan has an amazing relationship with Pearlie. Her and Pearlie are super close. You know... It is the mafia, but at the same time, it's not like it's not like Carlo got shot and shit for for nothing. It's not like he was tortured on a com like he did it. That was purely for the family. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. He kept the secrets. He and he suffered for it because that's what you fucking do for the family. In the world of soldiers, Carlo is legitimately a casualty of war. But I think that's the thing. It's it's just a really weird kind of inconsistency to set where, you know, people do things like kind of manipulate favors or this or that. And well, actually, let's let's put the direct comparison of remember when Sloane was not in the family and they demanded that they give her protection and Sloane come up and said, I don't want protection. Don't like keep your keep it. I don't want it. I'm not putting you on the line. And they said, too bad. We pay our debts. This is paying our debt. Too bad, it's not about whether you want it or not. You know what I mean? It's really weird to kind of juxtapose that mentality next to, oh, Carlo was tortured for the family. He did exactly what he was supposed to do down to the letter and he's suffering for it. Time to shoot him like a dog. Yeah, exactly. It's an RP funky version of the mafia. <laughs> exactly. It feels like they're... Well, so when this was... This was funny. I don't know who caught it. Maybe there's a clip of it somewhere. But if you guys look back to right, right, right before we dealt out Carlo's punishment last night. Oliver and Cesare go into the building to get Carlo. Sloan is standing there. Sonny comes up next to Sloan and legitimately says... Sloan would have been easier to kill him. Or, or it would have solved the problems if it killed him. Something like that. Like, like says legitimately that. And Sloan goes, yeah, but easy isn't right. Honestly, I like the deceptive, dirty politics game. It's much different than the war RP, and I think it's cool to see. Oh, a hundred percent. A hundred percent it is. But yeah, that was part of the argument 
Sloan was making with uh, all around the way up. And, and she gets it. A thousand percent she fucking gets it. Like, it's way easier to say things are going to be complicated with the family. Things are going to be complicated dealing with Carlo and the repercussions. The choices we made are going to be difficult and complicated. We're going to have to deal with this. The cleanest, easiest follow through of this entire problem is to just kill Carlo. A hundred percent. And again, if, the, if this was the real Mafia, he would have been dead immediately. They would have been like, oh, you need psych psychiatric help? Boom. Done. But yeah, the easy thing to do is not the right thing. We love for the spicy choices, 100%. In the same way you have to punish and hold soldiers accountable to maintain order, you also have to take care of your broken soldiers. CM, 100%. It's a morale thing at the end of the day. Well, because, like, how does it look of, like, okay, this guy did everything he was supposed to do, down to the letter, got tortured for the family, suffered for the family. What was his reward for that? A bullet. <laughs> you know what I mean? How does that look to everyone else? If that's what you get when you manage to survive all of the hardships that you go through for the family... What is my what is my incentive to be a good soldier and to continue doing my job and suffering the thing because I have to suffer for the family if that's the support I'm going to get? You know what I mean? It is. And that's a realistic thing because the morale is a, is a very serious thing. <laughs> the single lead slug retirement package express. If DC was following real mafias, everyone in the family would be dead except for Burley. Yeah. I mean, that's... Okay, again, if we want to apply realism, everyone in the fucking crossing is dead because you die from a gunshot wound in 1901. That's what happens. Oh, did I hear someone? Oh, no, that's Frank. Oh, good lord. What is happening back there? Yeah, I mean, again, this is a conversation we've had on this channel many times, and we will have it many more times. Oh my god, what is Frank doing? To be honest, Pearlie wouldn't qualify for a real mafia due to not being Italian. Yeah, Sloan wouldn't be in. Effie wouldn't be in. Olivia wouldn't have been in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't think it does... Us as our peers, I don't think it does us any favors to be like, <laughs> but in, in your real life, in real life, in the Mafia... Uh, bruh, first of all, none of you are in the fucking Mafia. Let's start there. None of you are in the Mafia, and the information that you have on the Mafia comes from... Hollywood. Let's, like, let's not fuck around, guys. <laughs> That's the information you have on the... Which is not a slight at anything. We are in the same vein as Hollywood. This is, this is a interactive entertainment purpose. Oh, hello, sir. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, this, it, it, it's fake. It's roleplay. It's for entertainment. It's for fun. Most mafia knowledge comes from that one guy who snitched. Yeah, exactly. That is then watered down through media. Okay, I, I watch Goodfellas. I know what the mafia is. Yeah, exactly. The brothers do a good job in drawing a fine line with mafia RP and keeping everyone involved in the RP and not excluding people. Agreed, 100%. The brothers, uh, and hats off always so much to Z and Croc and whatever else. And again, disclaimer, disclaimer, this is not in any way me trying to like bitch or complain or blah, 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 blah. Because they do a fantastic job and a very, very hard thing to do. This is ridiculously difficult to do. And they do such a good job at it. You need to be... Yeah, exactly. Oliver wouldn't be made. Nobody... Uh, yeah. 
there's probably some dude in the mafia guarding some shady shit watching our PS. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody in my chat right now is is actually in the mafia. Fuming. You mean the Godfather's not real mafia? Um, 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 um. Yeah, that's the thing. It's and again, like I was saying, like we will have this. Com we've had this conversation. We will have it a dozen more times on this channel forever. Um, it's RP. It's RP, and this all falls into the same vein of oh my god, it's my character. I can't control it. You know, shit like that. Like it's RP, and everybody needs to acknowledge and be aware of the fact that we are playing a fucking video game. We're playing a video game, and we are transferring these stories through the media we're given. We are collaborating together. There are rules. There are all, you know, like, let's even, let's scale back to the fact that we can't force perma anyone, which I never want to be a thing. I'm so glad it's not a thing. But so many of the choices and the things and the, the immersion and the reality of the shit that we do on this server is mitigated by the fact that we can't fucking kill anyone. You can shoot someone, you can torture someone, you can do whatever, but you cannot fucking actually kill someone. That changes things. That changes things on such a level. Like, you can't... You, you can't... Pretend that's not a thing. And so it gets... It's very weird to me when people harp on, on realism and, oh, and it should be like this. You know what I mean? I stopped watching Peaky Blinders to watch the Dicenzos. Listen. I'm 100% not that guy going, I'm playing, I'm, I'm Tommy Shelby. <laughs> I'm playing Tommy Shelby. Um, but there is a, there is a lot of Shelby in, in, influence with Sloan. There's a lot of Peaky Blinders. You guys, tell me if I'm crazy. I try for it, but I don't know if it comes out all the time. But there's a little Brummy accent in how Sloan talks a lot of the time. Have you met the new Irish gang? No, I haven't at all. I haven't run into them yet. Really looking forward to organically finding them. Harlow would have died when he swan dived off the roof. Oliver would have been dead 10 years ago. Everyone would be dead. Santino would have died from his seepage. Let's be very honest. That would have killed you in 1901. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where is Sloan chain smoking? I think she does need to smoke more, actually. I need to, to smoke. Should we? Here's an idea, because this may actually prompt me to do it more. Should I put a cigarette counter in chat? Not for the ad, like the mods don't need to do it. Jack, Jack would have been dead 12 years ago. I should put a cigarette counter in chat. For some reason that like prompts me to do shit more often. But she need, she does need to smoke more actually. Actually, you know what? Here we go. We're smoking. Y'all can't even lock doors? Yeah, exactly. Who gives a shit, man? <laughs> you know what I mean? The family would have died from horse crashes. They, You would die from getting kicked by a horse. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't know if anybody in the chat has ever been kicked by a horse before. How do you know? I've been... So... For those of you who, I promise I'm not a horse girl. We're gonna start there. But I grew up riding horses. I used to, I used to ride Broncos. I did a ton of English. I did, I did so much riding in my life. I grew up on horses, right? Um, I've, I haven't been kicked that many times. Like I haven't had that many. I got kicked in the chest by a horse once. Broke my rib, punctured my lung. <laughs> it's, it's not a little thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, that's the thing, and it's, it just always kind of, like, I just roll my eyes when people are like, oh, no realism, ba 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 whatever, you know what I mean? Because I do think there's a certain level you have to respect. There's a certain level, try and infuse as much realism as you can into what you're doing. But again, like, let's talk about the medical RP, right? And I know people have certain RP, or certain opinions, and I know there's certain standards on the server and everything else. But I'm going to tell you outright, and I don't blame the players for doing this, but anybody in the chat who does medical RP, you can probably agree with me on this. People come in with injuries that you cannot fix. People, especially in 1901, people will come in and start doing slash me's about injuries that you realistically 
cannot fucking fix. Does this person want a perma? Probably not. Pro probably nine out of ten, they don't want a fucking perma. Ninety-nine out of a hundred, they don't want a fucking perma. So, so what am I supposed to do? Yeah, and that's the thing. And I, and I, this isn't me blaming the players because you don't necessarily know. But like, you know, like the through and throughs is a great example of that. A through and through is a brutal fucking gunshot injury. Everybody in the chat, anybody who role plays, please, if anybody's ever asking about it, please get people to stop doing fucking through and throughs. Please God, just have the bullet lodged. A through and through is like taking a fucking baseball of flesh out of you. It is awful. Stop doing that. <laughs> no, but this is the thing. It's a problem across the RP world. People come in and, and they have injuries that there's no... Like, Oliver should be dead. I could... Uh, realistically... Or not Oliver. Sorry, not Oliver. Dominic. Dominic had swelling on the brain. He had a bruise on his brain in 1901. Yep, I cut a hole in his brain and I and I gave him room for, for the bleeding to stop and for the swelling to go down and I saved him. He should be catatonic or dead. Because those surgeries didn't really go well in 1901. You know what I mean? Oh, Oliver should be dead for other reasons. But you guys, do you guys understand what I'm saying by this? Do you guys understand what I mean? Like, you can say realism, ba ba ba, and you can say, oh, well, that wasn't invented, you can't do that, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what am I supposed to, as a role player, what am I supposed to do? Somebody comes in and they have an injury, and they don't know any better, they're not trying to be an asshole about it. They come in with an injury that I can't possibly do anything about. What am I, what am I gonna do? Oh, shit, sorry, I'm gonna hand you off to the local doctors, I don't know, have fun, what? And then they have no guidance on their RP? Am I supposed to just force perma that? Like, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do in that scenario? You tell me what I do, because... Yeah. And again, again, disclaimer. Beep, beep, beep. Disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. Um, it's not to shit on anyone's RP. It is, it is not to RP check anyone or shit on stuff like that. It's just, it, again, this is a necessity of roleplay. It's the way that roleplay has to happen. <laughs> I need a doctor. I have 12 gunshot wounds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? Actually, we are going to go get some food. We're going we're gonna to take the wagon on a little ride and get some food. The whole server should be devoid of shoulder. And you know what? I've done it, too. I, like, I'm guilty of it. We're all fucking guilty of it. I think nobody's in Saint Denis right now because there's so many NPCs around. I'm okay with that. Are you guys okay just vibing? I hope nobody's bored. We're we're doing, you know, we're having. I've missed doing this, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I have missed doing the shop talks a lot. I've really, really missed hanging out with you guys and just doing this. Slash me salutes. <laughs> Well, we did what we could, but I'm afraid he's going to die gruesomely. Out of my hands. That'll be a hundred dollars. Thank you very much. We all vibing? Everybody just vibing? Good shit, man. Real Dr. RP. Fear cast. This is the fear cast. I don't think we're ever going to do an actual, um... Oh, wait, is the butcher back there? Oh, we'll do telegrams and then we'll swing around. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't... I don't think we'll ever do an actual, like, podcast podcast. This is kind of... This is as close as we'll ever get to a podcast. But I love doing it, in fairness. Go vibe with Dahlia? Absolutely not. <laughs> Sloane will murder her. What are you talking about? Sloane's gonna be the one who's bled out of the family next because she either killed Dahlia. Hello, sir. Which again, no, that purely in character, the, the characters just don't vibe. It's so funny. Nope. I don't think we got anything, but it's fine. Imagine a show where you and your guests talk, analyze scenes they had. That might be fun. 
I don't know if anyone would want to actually do that, though. I would have fun doing that, but I don't know if anybody else necessarily has the same kind of fun. Excuse me. Good lord. Listen to her business ideas? Sloane has heard the business ideas, and she does not enjoy them. <laughs> Which, again, no RP hate at all. Uh, as you guys know, Sloane is just a very practical person. <laughs> so going... Like, event planning, maybe, sort of. But I'm gonna be honest, I have I have done so, so much business RP on Red Dead servers on, on GTA. Um, event planning tends to not work out. And again, no shade, zero shade on any of this. Because uh, trying and failing is, is something great. She might succeed, who the fuck knows? Is that Oliver? Who who just stole my fucking wagon? Hey there. Who who just who just stole my wagon? <laughs> okay, keep the wagon. I don't care. <laughs> Okay. I don't think that was Oliver. It kind of looked like Oliver, but it probably wasn't actually. No, that was that was not a local at all. Thank you for talking about this. People who have never RP'd on the games that don't know a lot of times that goes into act. No, I appreciate- I- I hope- oh man, I hope I don't come off fucking preachy or anything with this shit. I really hope I don't come off as like, oh my god, this is the only opinion- like, this is from my many, many years of RP and my collaborative shit, like, this is my opinion on shit. And, and it really is just my opinion. There's no bible, there's no right or wrong, this is just shit that, for me, over the years has has played out the best. Who stole my fucking wagon? Which cunt just fucking... Who steals a doctor's wagon? If it's Oliver, I'm gonna shoot him. Oh, there it is. Yeah, but, but <laughs> it's my elitist streamer. No, I really, really hope that you guys don't. Like, I, I really hope it, it doesn't come off as, as me being preachy or sanctimonious or anything like that. Okay, it was you. You <laughs> You dumb son Around of a bitch. At whatever time this is. I've been the... Uh, driving this big dumb wagon around. You don't like my big dumb wagon? You you love my big dumb wagon. You've always said that. And then, well, different kind of wagon, mm -hmm. but I see you go past right before the butcher when I'm coming down from the gun store. And I was like, what the fuck? What is that? Because I'd never seen a wagon. That <laughs> and then I watched you get off go to the butcher table not see me no. so I, I i immediately sprinted and took your wagon yes get on the fucking wagon you idiot oh. listen it's quite nice although i have found out it's oh. too tall and i um i get stuck on very signs tall. in the city <laughs> very tall it's a is this the tallest wagon you can get? Oh, yeah. Well, there's also, there's a big, like, mortar and pestle thing you can put on the top of it, but that'll do not Yeah, it's not there anymore. Well, no, I, I had them take it off when I got it out of the fucking thing, because I didn't want it. It looks like somebody broke it off. I mean, we we can put it back on. When I have it, when I take it out tomorrow, I'll probably put it back on, but... Listen, I think, Is I it think... A giant... Yeah, it's a giant mortar and pestle, yeah. Functional model and uh, No, I don't think it's functional. I think it's made out of wood. I think it's a decoration. Well, that's less fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Everything is about fun, right? Yes. Okay. 
I'm, I'm, I need to cook some meat, please and thank you. Okay. You gotta, ju you gotta jump all the way down from the swag and you really do. It's very mean when you make short jokes about me. Are you all living now? Are y'all getting the slolly RP you always wanted? Well, I laid down to take a nap and I slept for like an hour and then I was immediately wide awake. Are you having a lot of trouble sleeping since you've been in a coma, darling? Yeah. Are you... I mean, I'm not gonna press too much, but are you... physically not sleeping or do you not want to sleep? Yes. Okay. Hey, Angel, what's up? All right, come on. Well, I mean, here we are. Ant hasn't changed. Oh, well, well done. Still. Wall. We can go have a look at it, actually. I have been just sitting in front of the medical office and seeing if anyone comes by or anything. Wow. He's... If what? The remnants of Sam's Club just decided to go to war with the Dicenzos for fun. You'd be fucked. Possibly. What, you think you could talk your way out of that? You'd be amazed. Hmm. Nah, they're all unreasonable. Yeah, but I'm also unreasonable. I feel like you might cancel itself out, you know what I mean? No. No, no I, I think I think it's the same way as Jack's unreasonable and Sam are unreasonable, but they're both just too unreasonable for each other. And they can't deal with any of their problems, so they just never went to war. Well, now they're not going to. I guess so. Listen, what, did you want me to just hit? No, nobody's been around. Nobody's been around for like a couple of hours, I think. That's, yeah, so I'm surprised you're still awake. I was uh, very deep in thought. When aren't you? That's why, that's why you have such a large head. I know, it's full of secrets. Oh, I, yeah, here's my gun. Oh, howdy. Easy. <laughs> so I think I might because obviously the thing we're gonna kind of be like oh Christ oh wait no I'm alright I'm alright I'm alright uh, don't like it don't like it I think the key to getting shit up and running with the medical shit in the house is is just advertisement it's letting people know we're gonna be over there because obviously nobody who's looking for medical attention is going to come to the house automatically. So I think what I might have to do is... Well, obviously have this wagon out and have it visible for people, right? Right. Uh, but then also spend some time at the medical office here so people know that there's medical help in St. Denis, you know what I mean? And then we can kind of just funnel them and direct them over to the house once we get traffic back. Like a medical funnel. Yeah. But we medical. just call that a funnel, in fairness. Medical funnel. This is where we funnel. met, darling. It is. <laughs> right there on that weird. table. That's weird. A lot of tables involved in our relationship. Many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. You're very funny. And have a look, Jan. I'm trying to sit down. I'll figure your life out with you. Can't sit anyway. Or lay anyway. Why are you so inept at everything? Huh? I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just stand. Yeah, you understand. Just lean against the table there. Sound the good fucking lord. You don't need to sit down for this. So annoying. I, I'm not even doing. I'm being compliant. I'm turning into a deputy. You're being hostile. I feel threatened. I'm, 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 I'm resisting arrest. You're resisting. I'm going to kill you now. 
please no don't don't i i have so much to live for do you what do you have to live for mr Toscano? does it involve I mean, tables please, don't need <laughs> we don't need to get sappy right now oh my god you're gonna get sappy at this hour of night jesus christ Can we hire Shipman? I don't... I think I want Shipman to have his own practice. I just want to network with him. Hmm. You said you can't feel much of it. Is it hurting at all or is it just numb? Uh, kind of hurting, I guess, but not like much. Not uh, any more than all okay. the other shit. You do have some feeling in it though, right? I mean... I mean, uh, if it's hurting, you do have, yeah. But I mean, the thing is, darling, it's the difference between... There's there's pain, which is good, typically, because it means you still have feeling. And then there's numbness, which is also kind of good, because it means that the nerves are still connected to things. And then the problem is, if you can't feel anything, nothing at all, that means the hand is dead and we got to get rid of it. But luckily, you can still feel things, so... Oh, I mean, it's it's like a claw, you know, I can, yeah. I can ball up a face and that's about it. Remember, I used to wiggle, I used to be able to at least wiggle my fingers. Now I can't do that no more. Okay, I'm going to try this. Tell me if it hurts too much or anything like that. All right. Okay. I'm just going to push my palm against it like this. It's very stiff, but does it hurt? Oh, a little bit, I guess. Okay, but I mean, that's... I know your relationship with pain is a bit intimate, but scale of 1 to 10. Oh, like a 4? Maybe a 3? Okay. I, I don't know. Alright. Do you have I'm any pain? Gonna, I'm not going to cut my hand off, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not going to cut your hand off, darling. I need that. I, I'm very aware that you need that hand. I need you to also have that hand. The rest of your arm, is there any pain in it? Pain in your shoulder? Anywhere else? Chest? Anything on that side? Um, just kind of on my left side in general. Okay. Are you having any trouble... Wait, which eye are you missing? <laughs> left. Okay. Are you having any trouble? Things happen to the left side of my body. To the left side, yes. Do you have any trouble hearing out of your left side, anything like that? Actually, here, let me try. Um, Does that yep. sound different? Do yep. they sound the same or do they sound different? They, they sound different. What does the left side sound like? Oh, a little bit quieter. I can still hear it. It's not as loudly. Hmm. Yeah. Relax. Not, but, but normally when you do this, I am fairly relaxed. <laughs> terminal earwax <laughs> no and you know what guys this is so funny because this is the meta like you guys know this is the meta p i love doing i want to sit in an office like this and do this shit okay i'll, I'll okay you all day really do there. yes i know i'm doing my job uh-huh so you can still make an all of me tomorrow okay well good news is it 
doesn't look like you had a stroke, so. Oh. That's nice. What a what's a stroke? I'm just uh. Yeah, okay, you do. Yeah. That's bad, right? That like kills you. Usually, yeah. Um, no, I think this is. I have to say, we're going to have to figure it out as you heal, but... I mean, your body is incredibly weak right now, Oliver. You know that, right? I'm, I'm getting it back. Honey, your body is incredibly fucking weak. You have lost so much weight. You are... I'm not trying to I'm, scare you I'm up. I'm not weak. Oliver... There is nothing wrong with it. It is a miracle you are alive right now. Truly. And I need you to understand that. It is a fucking miracle. Your body is going through a lot. You have... I mean, you lost almost half your... You lost as much as I fucking weigh in body weight. Do you get that? Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get it back, right? You, you are going to get better. Yes, you are. You are going to get it back. But I'm saying that right now... It's your body's trying to decide what to heal. You know what I mean? In in the simplest way of putting it, you have lost so much muscle mass. You've lost lost the capacity to to generate all of this energy that your body needs. There are certain things. I mean, your hand was always bad before, right? Yeah, but I can wiggle my fingers. But it's worse now because your body doesn't it doesn't have the capacity to push through and make it better. So. We're going to keep an eye on it. We're going to try and rehabilitate as much as we can. Like I said, it doesn't look like you had a stroke or anything like that. I don't think there's any permanent neurological damage. We're going to see how bad your hand is. It, some some effects of it might stay. Some of them might not. It's it's going to depend on the healing, to be honest. I just don't... Don't say I'm weak, all right? I'm... Oliver, you are allowed to be weak sometimes. No. No, I am not. Not in front of people, not in front of the family. But in front of your doctor, in front of me, we need to face the reality of things, okay? You could be irritated with me if you want about all of this. But I do want you to think back to a heated conversation you and I had about a certain habit of mine. We are allowed to ask each other for help, Oliver. But we can't do that if we're not honest with each other. Yeah, you had had to pull that one out, did you? Yeah, I don't play fair. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. So, just yeah. You're not gonna be like this forever. But you survived something terrible, and your body needs to recuperate. And I'm going to help you with that as much as we can. A lot of that, to be fair, is going to be you eating and putting weight back on, which I think you can probably manage on your own. But I'm going to help you. I, I yeah, the, the appetite's coming back. I'm glad. I put away, like, two sandwiches. <laughs> I'm proud. I will let you know it it's is very... Together, unfortunately. It is very typical that you might put on a lot of fat before you put on a lot of muscle but you'll get the muscle back wait wait what do you mean fat 
I mean, I'm, I'm, be Alfonso, eh, or like. No, no. I mean, you'd have to seriously put in work to be Alfonso fat. You might be like Cesare fat. You know what I mean? He's. He's like dad fat. That's what I mean. You're saying that being in a coma is gonna give me a dad bod? For a little while. Well, your body readjusts to having all the nutrients it needs. I'm just gonna have fat tits and a huge gut. For a few weeks, probably. And then it'll even back out and you'll have just your big fat tits left. And then, you know, you'll be fine. I miss my tits. We all miss your tits, darling. <laughs> Listen, we'll be okay. You couldn't have just like worked me out while I was in the coma. You couldn't have done I, that. I do you know how much I massaged you the whole fucking time. Yeah, but you couldn't have like put a barbell in my hand or something. Just no, because me lifting your me. hat. Okay, that's you know it's a trouble when yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Now, listen, I'm going to help you get back. We're going to... Luckily, you have a, a live-in nurse, as it was, so you're going to get lots and lots of help bouncing back. I like the sound of bouncing. Oh, my God. All right, your hand is all right for now. We're going to work on stretching it out. I need to get water. Come with me, you fucking idiot. Okay. Good Lord. I can't move. Okay. You are a menace, truly. I, could, I couldn't get up. I, had I have, I've been having wow. that. I don't know if my Play joints up. are just very sticky lately or something. But I've been having that trouble too. What I... Me recovering. No, I did. From I, a I, calm. From a calm. From a calm. Listen, you'll be fine. Oh. And we're going to figure out your hand as much as we can. It'll be all right. Alright, I, I want to cut it off. I don't think you're going to have to cut it off, that. darling. How many fucking canteens do you have on you right now? One. Oh. How do you never need water? I don't know. When, uh, maybe I just don't say anything. I just, I feel like it's been a very long time since I saw you feel a canteen. I feel like you're playing a trick on me. No, I, you you want to you want to look through my pockets? No, I don't care. It's not an issue. It feels like you care. It I don't like care. I don't care about you, Oliver. All care. right, relax. <gasps> <laughs> Is it? I'm gonna go check my telegrams. I just saw one of the fucking runner very, boys coming to wave at me. Very rude. Everything's rude. Oh, I'll be dying. Probably. Somebody's dying somewhere. How upset do you think the medical board is going to be if a bunch of private doctor's office pop up around the state? I mean, there would have to be a medical board for them to get upset about it. <laughs> True. Do you want to take the wagon? We're going to take the wagon. I don't know why you asked. You I like to include to you in things sometimes. Incorrect. I do. Look, look at my beautiful wagon. I wish I could get my name yeah. on the fucking side of it, though. Dr. Sloan's Medicine Company. Dr. Sloan. Shana Gwyn. Never do that again. Specializes in colds, goiters, and cholera. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. Yeah, Dr. Sloan, general surgeon. I oh, went to Oxford on the back. That's all it says. Did you? Yeah, I did actually. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know you wouldn't know oh, about it, but I did. I did go to Oxford. Funny enough. Hello, you dumb fucking horse. Is that Papello? Yeah. You're an idiot. Well, he's just—he's the one standing in the middle of the street. Yeah, but he learned from you, didn't he? Standing in the middle of the street. Uh huh. You just like to blame things on me. 
I'm the only when it's your fault, which is always. I ended three wars. Three? What was the third one? Tell me this next. Yeah, that's fair. I ended three fucking wars. Oh, hang on. Did you get any uh, telegrams from our darling boy? No. See, now he's doing it to you. He's doing it to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Why was I? Somebody's looking at. Me. We might want to go up that way. Who's looking at us? Who's I, that? I don't know. I just saw some fella in a white shirt with a vest. Did I just get another oh, telegram? It, it, it's Angela. Oh! Now Nate's awake too? Nate, bastard of God, Casey? Patty has to be, he has to be timing this. Like, he has to be timing this, right? Where did he send this from? Emerald. Hang on. Doing some sort of Italian mating dance right now. I wonder how long we're going to be doing this. Are you? I'm, I'm trying to write a telegram, darling. I'm not stopping you. Okay, and then we should, we're gonna go up north, yeah? How long are you gonna be awake? I don't know, I can be awake for a bit. Alright. We have a guess. Is it a guess I have to shoot? No, no, no. Doing this for like five minutes. Is it is it two one five or two five one? The fuck is this stupid fucking telegram? One two five. One two five. All right, are you still? You're, stand, you're standing still. Uh, I'm over here. What are you? Oh no, is it dusty? You're, you're stand, you're stand, yeah, well, no, you're, you're, I think you're having some problems or something. Oh, am I gonna crash? Is this it? She's having. Ah! <laughs> oh no, it all came apart, guys. It all came apart. Oh, my internet, my interwebs. Betrayed again. That's fine. Safe. Safe. 
We're gonna reboot it. Listen, this is this is a good moment. We're gonna be right back super quick. Everybody get up, stretch, have a snack, get a drink. Nate's in my chat again! I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Everybody, we're gonna be right back super quick. Mwah. Hydrate. We're gonna be on for a couple more hours because we're gonna go see Carlo. Ayo! <laughs> We're dead. Everyone died. It's all over. 
Sloan. What's a goiter? What's a goiter? What's a goiter? Not a, yeah, I'll tell you when Sloan. you're older. What's a goiter, Sloan? No. What's a goiter? No. What's a no. goiter? What's a goiter, Sloan? Because we know what we know what colds are, right? We know what we know cholera what, is. We know what cholera is. So what's a goiter? I'm not, I'm not explaining Sloan. it to you. You have to you have to go to the library Sloan, and you gotta Sloan, look it up and you gotta read about it. Sloan. I'm allergic Sloan, to libraries. I Sloan, can't go. To a you're library. saying this as if we have a library in our house that we can access at any time. You can, you can me. access anything at any time. Actually, as uh, it turns out, I don't think we can though, because we don't have a library. Yeah, we you, don't. You have do a have a library house, so in your house. A, what do you think? We just have a fucking dictionary. You think we, just, we think we just have a giant? Yeah, library? Like yeah a you have. You actually have a full set of encyclopedias up there. Did you know that? Up where? In the library. Where's that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where's that library? Where would the uh -huh. library be? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, so you're uh, gonna go treasure hunting? Okay. It's we we need to go up north. Go treasure hunting. Where's that dog? Oh. We do? Uh yeah, I just got a couple of telegrams from Carlo. Uh from is Carlo. That cunt running over there. Uh, that's just some guy. He was he was in roads earlier. What do you mean you got telegrams from Carlo? We we need to update He's, on some of that. Yeah, apparently. He's alive. He's fine. <clears throat> Everything's been dealt with. He'll be back when he can be. So you gotta know. Okay. Just fucking drop that one on me. Yeah, welcome uh, to I, the family. I would have figured I would have figured that Leo had already told you. No, no. No, Leo didn't I mean to be fair, I didn't really have an opportunity. I, I took a nap, but no, I yeah, if, if if you have questions, ask him, but don't be surprised if the answers you get are don't worry about it. I mean, that's, that's fair enough. But he's alive. I'd uh, invite you up there if it w probably wasn't for the best. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know, darling. It's up to you. I think I'm going to... Uh, you can stay with Angelo if you want. But he said apparently uh, Maeve was up there, saw Aurora and Zip and... Eli, I think people from the Kettleman's up there sniffing around. Why are they going up there? And why are they going up there? What? I need to dig and figure some shit out, because I don't know. I don't like it. Huh. Yeah, I don't like it either. No, I don't want you to go alone. Besides, I, he, he I can. just said you, you're doing the... Uh, Mm -hmm. hunting thing with Danny, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I'm not doing that for like another hour, so. But. Hmm. I'm not due to hunt for treasure for another hour. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't want to step on Leo's toes. Is the whole thing? No, that's that's yeah, also I mean, what I'm thinking. I don't know. This shit is awkward. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. You guys do do what you think is is best. I'm. Oh no, we we don't do what I think is best because. <laughs> what do you think is best, Schlein? Uh, with uh... You know what I think would be best if you told me and Ollie what uh, a goiter was. Yeah. A goiter is a growth on your thyroid. What's a? Th where's the thyroid? At? It's a. It's in your neck. It, it is a neck thing. Does he have a goiter? No, he doesn't have a goiter. Why was I the only one who pulled his gun out when that man was reloading while walking up to us? I did not see him reloading. Yeah, I didn't see that. I was. I just woke up out of a goiter. coma, and I'm already more observant than both of you. Well, you know, you know. I'm sorry. I was being quizzed on what a fucking goiter is. Yeah, I'm and sorry. I was, I was learning what a goiter is. I was. I had my eyes on the man at the fucking telegram. Listen, we can't all be looking in the same direction at once. We all need to be looking in different directions at once. Do you understand? Okay, well, Tactical. We're all in a circle right now. So everyone, turn around. No. I can't see. My, okay, well, Sloan, I have. You need to turn around. Sloan, okay, turn I'm. Around. I've turned around. All right. I spy. With my little eye. Uh huh. Some blue. Franco. Bingo. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. You're all tactical geniuses. Well. I mean, and you face this way? All right. All right. I spy with my little eye. Okay. Something chartreuse. 
The fuck does that even mean? Sloan, Sloan, get on the wagon. We're gonna leave him here while he looks for something that isn't there. Let's look for something that's chartreuse. <laughs> You're good friends. Okay. <laughs> oh no, am I crashing again? Is my server going wonky again? Oh no, is it just TeamSpeak crashed? TeamSpeak went down. Hang on, guys. TeamSpeak. TeamSpeak's killing us. TeamSpeak's trying to kill us. Good night, Sitsuri. Blind. Uh huh. Uh oh. I didn't he's hear coming. you. He's oh coming. no, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, he's no. coming. We, we, we fucked it. We fucked it. But it's, you pushed me off of the fucking wagon for some we reason. It. We fucked it. Well, I was gonna hit him. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> You've really done it now. Run it after him. I mean, we really can't bring him up to the snow, can we? I don't know. It's this whole fucking thing is weird. Agreed. And I don't agree with most of it, but it is what it is. Is he? Are we taking this wagon up there? Are we? I don't know. Up to you. You know, about the wagon. We could just take the fucking just take, wagon just take up. The fucking wagon. Okay. Just take the fucking Do we need to worry about him? Is he alright? He's gonna be alright, yeah. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Uh Danny's gonna be around in like an hour. I feel bad abandoning him, but alright. Well, what are you gonna do? It's Cesare literally told us we can't be telling people what happened. No, I I know. I don't it's sad. Uh... What where where is he at? Same place as before? No, he's all the way up at, at uh, the cabin in the northeast. You know, that that cabin. Oh, 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 I hope he's not <laughs> sleeping in the bed. It's You're going to have to tell him. I don't think I am. I think you should. I think this thing's going to make it up the mountain. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm Do an I? expert. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Look, if it we doesn't, we'll just... Wagon from before, right there. We can, we can take that. No, I want to take this one. Oh. That one does. doesn't have horses. Sure it does. No, 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 no. Oh no, Nate! You can't sleep in that bed, Nate! Oh boy. Oh boy, we're gonna get there sometime in 1902. What do you mean? It's just, you know, you're gonna take your sweet time. I'm... Would you shut the fuck up? You are so annoying. Yes, but I can tell by the tone in your voice that you missed being annoyed by me. I really did. Also, I wasn't going to say this in front of Angelo. The telegram specifically said uh, Aurora and Zip and Eli and maybe one other, I don't remember, were up there and ran into B Maeve and they were specifically looking for, quote unquote, the dead Dicenzo. So... Uh, <sighs> huh. How the fuck did that get out? How the fuck does anything get out, darling? No, I... Uh, hold on. Okay. Literally, how did that possibly get out? It oh, got... Fuck. No, we asked We asked the doctors about Carlo, obviously. Yes, we went and we asked around about Carlo because Cesare wanted to ask everyone about Carlo. I outright asked about fucking Carlo. We also yeah. had a massive funeral in the middle of the most open space, easily spied upon space in the entire fucking crossing. Like, I'm not Both blaming any... Points. Yeah, like, I'm not blaming anyone for this, but it, it's... It, I don't know. I didn't say anything the other day, and I'm not trying to critique or anything, but... You know, Santino and Cesare had this whole thing about keeping all of the information secret, and nobody needs to know anything, and nobody's gonna go asking. It's the crossing. When has anyone kept a secret for more than two fucking hours here? 
Yeah, they'll piece it together when Carla comes back and when I'm fine and... And when Olivia is never fine. around on a Yeah, like... I don't know. We'll deal with it as we deal with it. I'm not in charge, it's not my problem, but... Yeah. I really can't believe Sunny said, all right, if Dahlia doesn't show something in a week, she's out. By the I... way, I'm going to be gone for two weeks. <laughs> I mean, I really try and, I am trying to be unbiased and unprejudiced about this, but what exactly is she going to show us within a week's time? If a business venture has made any significant improvement or if she's made any money. I mean, that's the thing, and I'm very, very curious as to how she thinks any of this is going to make any money. Oh. Auctioning updates, that's something we did once, and apparently it took it uh, gave us a lot of fucking money. I mean, who is she auctioning updates with? I don't know, none of us. I mean, that's the thing, none of us. I hope that was made clear to her that it, because... Sunny made that very clear to her, yes. Okay, good. But I mean, that's the thing. Who, who's, she, who's she gonna get? Sam's Club? Kettleman? T T Two Snakes? The deputy? Like, who, who does she think she's reaching out to to get these dates for? None of those people that you just mentioned would even necessarily be too interested. But this is what I mean. I... Theoretically, sure, yeah, a great idea, except... It seems to me she's done the typical thing that she seems to do, where she just has no concept of who she is or what the climate is or anything that's happening. I really do want her to do something successful. I really, really do, but... There's a lot of grand ideas with legitimately no follow-through, and I don't know how it's going to work out. Well, I think that's why this is here. She said she has a lot of great ideas, but we haven't seen any progress ever. So yeah. that's why she's got this probationary period. And she's been, she hasn't been told what's going to happen at the end of that week, but she's been told that she has a week. Yeah. No, I know. I know, darling. I'm just. And now she's going to play this whole, uh, I quit alcohol for you shit. <laughs> Which, do you know what's really funny? Do you know what she I... She didn't have to quit. A, she did not have to quit. B, she probably shouldn't have quit. She's in an Italian fucking household and we drink a lot of alcohol. We drink wine with literally every meal. And we toast shit all the time. And, you know, for... It. But C, has not come to a doctor about it. Has not come to me or Sophia about her apparently severe withdrawal from alcohol. That is a little confusing. Very confusing. Did he say uh, what he needed, Carlo? No, I just... Oh, he I, just wants to say hello. Well, I want to go up and I want to talk to him about whatever happened with Maeve and, and Aurora and all them. You, can, you don't have to stay up, darling. You can go to sleep if you want. I know I can. I don't want to keep you up. You're not keeping me up. I feel I'd be like awake I'm anyways. Keeping you up. I feel like you don't want to be here and you don't love me anymore. Don't don't start with us. Because <laughs> I've had I've had this, but not as a joke before. So don't start with us. Uh, all right. Now I'm relatively sure if you ever don't love me anymore, darling, you'll just kill me. There's a non-zero percent chance, yes. Hey, I know too much. <laughs> Nobody who's seen my dick and met the brothers can live. <laughs> it's far too personal. <laughs> oh my god, I did miss you. Fuck, I did. Yeah, I missed you too. Even though I didn't really feel it. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> Just sort of like boom, you're down. Boom, you're awake. 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 And you're actually awake now. Mm -hmm. I feel like this entire day, I felt like I was just dreaming. Not, not even like it's been so good that I feel like I was dreaming. It's just like I still feel like I'm dreaming. Yeah. Now I. 
The jokes I gave you should be wearing off maybe tomorrow sometime. But I mean also like I said, your body is recovering a lot. We oh. are going to visit Carlo, we are. Recover faster. Oh, yeah, recover faster, he says. Just shirk medicine, recover faster. It's very simple actually. Is this right? I'm trying I'm trying to avoid Valentine, so healing vet. Or something. The healing that? What are you talking about? I don't fucking know. Why are you always insane, huh? Do you actually want an answer to that question? No, I know the answer. Oh, there you go. Hey, let's take the wagon off road. Don't be a little bitch. Okay. Wow. That's coming from the one who couldn't stand to let me fucking ride when we were coming home. I thought you were. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 My phrasing would have suggested that, yes. <laughs> it was the pause you put in. Yeah, I think that was the problem. Yeah, it, was, it was unintentional, but. Uh, no. That's normally your job. Never mind. I. Y you should stop talking. I know, Patty. We're just gonna hope for the best. This wagon is not meant Got for it. this. It's gonna be fine. You don't have anything specifically valuable on you right now, do you? <laughs> just the pocket watch Danny gave me for my birthday. Okay, just out of curiosity. And, I'm sure we will be fine. That is completely blank. Because I haven't done any business with it yet. I do need to find a secretary. I like... I mean, I'm not going to use the majority of f f fucking ideas we had in there, but... Well, I still think we could sell people's kidneys. Uh, I mean, you can't really... The problem is, it's, it's very difficult to put them in other people. Do you know what I mean? Just slurp it in. Just slurp it in, he says. The technical medical term of slurp. I don't know. You just throw it in. Hmm. Shove it down the throat, they'll swallow it, it'll get where it needs to go. Um, yeah, I'm so glad. So glad. <laughs> you didn't go to Oxford, I don't know. Well, who the fuck could you trust to be a secretary like that? Well, I don't know, I... Well, I was kind of trying to say this in the meeting earlier, and I think people didn't understand what I was saying, but like... I agree that everybody should be pursuing business and whatnot, but there are there are people like, you know, like, I don't think Carlo's going to do a business on his own, or I don't think he should be doing I don't think it benefits us all to have, you know, two dozen separate businesses when we could have, like, six or seven very solid businesses that people collaborate on, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do with Amadeo. It's like, I don't need to make another fighting ring, I can just run the... Uh... Right, just, like later half of his fighting ring. Well, like I'm gonna get Sophia in on this, obviously, because she she's a, I'm sure she'd be amenable to it, but she can cover the hours I'm not awake for the medical shit, right? Probably. You know what, like Carlo? He likes gambling. Maybe he could do the betting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll teach him to do books as well. Yeah, it's like a little family business. No, oh, look at us go. Isn't it look charming? Who would have thought? Not, not me. <laughs> yeah, but I... the anti-medical board board yeah we will also have pump shotguns <laughs> if you can get your hands on pump actions you know i, I should have taken nash's i should have you should have i do you know how badly i want one oh they're apparently not that great i don't even care it's like a sentimental thing for me you know it's the reloading isn't it it's everything about it <laughs> Mm. Nah, but I don't know. I think I think I need somebody to be some sort of secretarial something. I'm not wearing a pencil skirt. I also don't think you can read and write well enough for, to do what I need I you to do. Oh! Know. For somebody who's entirely self-taught on everything except for boxing, I do very well. I must forget this fucking thing is here. I 
I mean, you do pretty well, you do. Okay, oh my god, this wagon drives like a fucking buffalo. It's almost like we shouldn't have taken it up into Shut the up. fucking mountains. We're doing absolutely fine, all right? Uh, uh-huh. Wister yeah, we I might reach out to Wisteria. Mine's like, uh-huh, and uh -huh. yours is like, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, mine involves tongue. <laughs> a few things you do involve tongue. Yeah, all the shit talking I do every day. Oh my Christ, yeah, Jesus. That's what I meant. We're gonna take this nice and slow, I think. Die up here. No, no, no. We're just gonna take this nice and slow, is what we're gonna do. And you're gonna not complain we're about it, okay? Die. Oh, 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 that that is leaning. Oh, that is leaning. Yeah, it will be fine. I used to, um, there was a mountain very, very similar to this once that I used to have to take, uh, coal runs up. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh, relax, we'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a drop and a half. It will be fine. These poor horses. They know what they're doing. I mean, yeah, but they're just going to be exhausted. Oh, God. <laughs> Somebody should really kick that fucking log down. Somebody should, yeah. Oh, God. Can we even fit under this? Yeah, totally. Oh. <laughs> this is going very well, darling. Yeah, it's, it's going... It's going. I'm an expert wagon driver and you simply don't have enough faith in me. And I think it, it's damaging my ego. Amori, I don't think we need to worry about anything damaging your ego. It's very delicate and I'm uh, nervous and unsure of myself all the time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's what I tell them in interviews. What's my greatest weakness? Probably that I care too much. Probably that I'm just too good at everything and everyone resents me for it. Oh. <laughs> what the fucking. What, with the fog? Yeah. Hey, relax, we'll be fine. Nothing bad has ever happened to this fog. <laughs> yeah, I will shoot you right here on the seat. I truly will. Doubtful. No, I'm, I'm really thinking about it. Doubtful. Out. I wonder what Wisteria is doing these days. I'm thinking about medical and secretaries and whatnot. Isn't she working for? Well, I guess Klaus hasn't been around. Well, that's that just occurred to me as well. Klaus hasn't been around at all. Huh. I don't know. Well, I'm debating if I want to hire someone outside of the family to do the secretarial work or if anyone in the family would be amenable to doing it yeah it'd be a little difficult especially if she's here and well that's that's kind of what i'm thinking is that the secretary probably needs to be able to go back and forth and know when to like yeah, get the Klaus nod from people back, and, uh -huh. if, if Klaus comes back she's gonna be feeding him information absolutely Oh, without a doubt. I don't know, just all of, like, not even just her specifically, I just... It's probably gonna have to be someone inside the family. I don't know. I don't know who'd be willing to do that kind of work. Sophia and I might collaborate some, maybe, I don't know. It's gonna be a question of schedules, though. Yeah, because, I mean, if she's... Morning, Doctor. Your evening, Doctor. Eh. I don't know. I don't have rifles, so I hope we don't get fucked by wolves. Ah, it will be fine. I mean, we're on a wagon. We'll be fine. Uh, as long as we keep the wagon. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna get home in one piece. Don't be a little baby about it. 
Yes, because I'm the little baby. You are. You are a little baby all the time. Uh huh. And then I might have to be on my own secretary for a while. Is receipts a bad idea? Is that a bad idea? Do yes. you think? Yeah, that's a bad idea, right? Unless you can find some way to encode them or, or make them appear like receipts for entirely different purchases. Yeah, it's too much work. How the fuck can you see where you're going? I'm a genius, actually. Don't even worry about it. You are a vampire. Nah. <laughs> You know, but that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah, I'll joke about you're a fucking vampire and this and that. Did you all just really want a vampire in the family? I have no, no idea what that's about. Nobody said you're a vampire, we now have to kill you. It's just you are a vampire. I don't think we care. Yeah, he's <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Sonny, Sonny was over telling Cesare, he's like, she, she bit him. He's got bite marks. He's a vampire. Bit him, that was it. Down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, you've got to put him... Okay, so it's bad if anyone it was, else is a vampire. It was, it was going to be very difficult to describe. Well, I didn't need to, luckily, because Sonny's like, he's got bite marks. And Cesare instantly, without missing a beat or having any change of voice, just said, yeah, they're sexual, don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Oh, there's Carlo's horse. I'm going to assume he's here. And somebody else. Moves, probably. Wait, there's three oh, horses. Mikey's? Oh. Oh, boy. They're going to ask why we turned up in a doctor's wagon. Because <laughs> you're a doctor. Because I'm a doctor. What the fuck is that? Oh. They're making fucking snow angels. Ugh. Wait. Wait, watch this. Uh -huh. Don't fuck it up. Don't I'm, fuck it I'm up. I'm not fucking anything up, darling. I'm standing very still. Yeah, you're very talented. Yeah. I had to circumcise. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Knock, knock. Boom. That was a bad uh -huh. idea. Uh-huh. That was not a good idea. Sorry. Especially while you dressed like a... Some sort of black panther. Yeah, I, I am. Why are you dressed like a cougar? Because why not? Why are there... Now. Oh, sure. Yeah. Why are there three horses out there? Because there's a man uh, upstairs. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Well, this is awkward. Hi. Yeah, yeah we're very sneaky. Very, very sneaky all the time. What the fuck is that? It's my wagon. You brought the, cir brought the circus up here? It's my doctor's wagon, first How of all. Going? He's a doctor. I'm a doctor. He went to Oxford, you know. Wait, really? mm, yeah. No way. <clears throat> Is this uh, Anya or Maeve? That's Maeve. So everybody's just dressing like mimicals now? Yeah, what, what is with all the masks well, and I, mimical I got, shit? I got, I got permission from Anya. But to you need wear... permission? Yeah, what? Nah, no, no, I'm just I'm just shitting you. I don't know. I don't know. Anya's our friend now. You know, she I'm, stopped I'm by not, and brought, she brought us a crate earlier and left the letter. I'm not judging you. I'm just asking. I'm judging you. Why? I don't. I don't like having my neck breathe down like that. <laughs> oh, apologize. So uh, giving the... me bar, giving me bar fight vibes. Yeah. Three of you just hanging around up here then. Oh God! Don't look! Don't look! Don't oh look. my God! Don't look. don't look! All right. Oh my God! It's like it's worse than Cesare. You're not supposed to look at it. It's gone. What? Your face. I can see your face now. Yeah, you shaved, didn't yeah. you? 
Well, it was a fake beard. It was uh, Mike's ex right here. That's what? disgusting. Not from down there. I didn't say it was, what? I, I didn't oh. say it was from down there. You're the one ah. who said that and made it weird. All right. Well, you know, I've gotten really good with a fucking bow up here. Have, Have you? Yeah, like really good. Interesting. I'm sure there are going to be plenty of wolves for you to show us. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Oh, did you get my telegram? Mine? Like, yeah, not so long. Yeah, I did. We should probably talk about that. Right. Yeah, we could talk about it. <sighs> Why don't we step outside then? All right. Into the freezing cold. I feel like your friends were about to jump me. Yeah, what what is with the weird silent tense treatment going on there? Uh well Maeve's just probably terrified of the other day. She's just a little She's fine, she's just a little uh you know what I mean I was gonna shoot up. her, so that's fair probably. No, that's fine. And she understands it's not like she's not mad at any of you, she was just a little Whatever flustered. would I do if she was mad at me? Okay. Mm. All right, well, I'm just saying, it's like, <laughs> whatever. All right. All right, so who, Aurora, Zip, and Eli yeah. were up here. Oh, yeah, so I was, uh, you know, I was over there way back by those rocks. I was um, eating some pumpkin pie, you know, what? relaxing. How did you get pumpkin pie up here? Oh, we went down to strawberry. Oh. And got pumpkin pie? Yeah. It's that time of the year, you know. Uh -huh. are, these, are these the cigarettes you were talking about making? Well, yeah, I've always had, like, I've always no, I'm made just, them. Am I not allowed to just smoke? What are you talking about? I, I handed him a cigarette. Oh. That was actually, you know, I was actually, that was actually my, my business idea was to have customized cigarettes, cigars, and pipes. What do you mean by that? Why, why customize? What do you mean? Like, how would you customize them? Just like Carlo Marciano or what? Well, I guess that not the cigarettes and the cigars, but like the pipe, like whatever they, like if they wanted to get it engraved, you know, something like that. Oh, interesting. All right. Well. I was thinking but, uh, you could also help me with this uh, punch drunk stuff if that ever gets up off the ground. You like no, gambling? Yeah, yeah, you any yeah. you any good at running bets and shit? <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at that. Right, well, there you go. I don't even have to yeah, teach him. The, there uh, you go. I got some of the stuff for it because Olivia gave me some of the shit, so I I kind of got a rundown of it a little bit. All right. So, uh, Eli, Aurora, and Zip. He doesn't know about mm -hmm. Olivia. Yeah. So I was um. I was relaxing over there for a while, and then I came back over here. Oh boy! And uh, yeah, Mike and uh, Maeve, they told me that uh, three. Okay, so originally there was two people that came here earlier, like a couple hours ago. She said the man had a deep, gravelly voice, and there was a girl kind of. She said the girl had like a really nice, like soothing voice. Uh, she said she had dark hair, so I kind of assumed that it took Vivian out of the picture. Anytime I think of a soothing voice, I think of Vivian. And uh, then, yeah, uh, it wouldn't have been Vivian, though. Well, she said gravelly voice, so I thought of Gavin Summers. But oh, so probably no. Seemed, she, said it's, she said it seemed like they were looking for a place to hide. And that the, uh, the girl said that... Well, they were kind of being hostile towards her, kind of asking her. And then the guy, I guess, was like, should we just put a bullet in her head and stay here? And then the girl was just like, no, I've seen too much death today or something like that. So Maeve told them about the cabin that we oh, were yeah, originally staying Oh, yeah, Oliver did at. say. Never mind. He did say. And then yep, I guess yep. they went over there. She said the girl had like a hat with like a feather in it. Oh, that... Know. That was probably Hawk uh, in one of Sam's... Or uh, uh, yeah, Summer's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hawk and Cole. Probably. Yep. Very likely. Okay. There oh, was yeah. a uh, hostage incident in Rhodes earlier today. Apparently, someone's gang got shot down by law. Um, tried to rob a bank? 
for some reason. Uh, didn't go so huh. well. Okay. And they all got shut down, probably all in Sicily, except for Koho and Hawk, who are apparently up here. Oh, shit. Yeah, they, they may have said they seemed like they were looking for a place to hide, kind of, by the way they were talking. So that makes sense. We're still good with, like, Summers and them, right? Yeah, as far as I know. Okay, well, I wasn't around, so they, if I was around, they probably would have been less hostile, maybe, because I... Actually, I don't know if I've ever met them. No. Maybe I've met Hawk once. Speaking Maybe of death, man. though, um, yeah. I, got, I got some good news for you. I, th I think you're really going to like this news. Yeah, what's that? You know famous outlaw Sam Bass? Yeah. Yeah, he bit the big one. Kaput. Who's dick? Who's dick? I don't know yet. Don't know. We'd Wait, love to you? find out because I'll buy him a drink, but... Uh... I don't know who it was. My money's on Laura, oh, but uh, we're still figuring oh, that out. We just got shit. told that this morning. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. All right, I can see you start kinda, pitching the kinda, tent. Kinda, All right, calm down there. I was, I was, well, I was kind of hoping you were gonna say Jabez. Oh, well, he's next. Don't worry. Jabez is. I'm so, well. It's most likely Jabez probably knows, right? He's in Cisco. He's... So here's about, the, mm. yeah. Oh, about Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Probably. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if his people are in Cisco or if he's still out or what. Like if Casey and uh, Rebecca and Bayo, they're still around the what? Or what's his other name? Lance. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, by the sounds of it, they were really wanted because when we brought them that book there one day, they were so scared to come anywhere. So that's why they met him in Tall Trees. Yeah, they they were incredibly wanted. Yeah, they the only way for a long fucking time if they're not being executed. All right. I mean, they murdered a deputy marshal. So. Right. So what I hear is. Jabez is going to come out. Probably gunning for me and Law. Well, probably. But if he does, then... Oh, shit. You're not part of our group, are you? Yeah. Well, you, you your group, Leo, Danny, everybody else, they will deal with them. Angelo will. I know he will. Right. Will they attack us, which is very fucking likely to happen, since I think he, well, they were upset about Sonny and Cesare and having a conversation or something, from what I heard. So they, they came to the right. house. And Sam, uh, Sam, Bay, it, it was a couple of days ago. Oh, it was right after all of the, the shit with you and everything else. Sam Bayou right. and, and everyone else uh, fucking came to the house and Sam was I mean I thought he was going to start a gunfight right in the front line there it's only the three of them but uh wait what was that how many three oh, okay no that's I not, that's three. not nah. uh, yeah, I'm not saying it again because three of them yeah do you yeah. know what because sometimes when I'm real fucking tired boys and it's late at night the accent comes out a little bit more alright it's not a problem but the thing is, I say shit like that, and then you call me on it, and it's terrible. Harm. Right. Harm. Yeah, harm. Do you know harm. harm? Sounds like you're saying harem. Anyways. Harem. Anyway, point being, they were on the lawn, it was the three of them, and they just uh, were demanding answers. And Sam Bass, in his infinite fucking ass-backwards toddler-like behavior was standing there and shouting, you owe me the respect, you have to tell me what happened. You have to, you have to tell me what... And S Santino said, talk to your own fucking people. They were there, talk to Jabaz, talk to your people. And right. he said, no, I'm coming to you, so you should respect me enough to tell me, just because. But it was very fucking clear that they just wanted to shoot people again, so it's going to come down to that one way or another. <laughs> I know he's going fucking native up here too. Probably dude. all followed your best. I don't know. I mean, they all seem pretty tight knit in there. So, 
they did, but I mean, yeah, historically, they're uh, also all scattered and insane. So, does Jabez know about Olivia? No, we're keeping that a secret, which is why being asked about the dead Dicenzo is a little worrying. Because uh, I'm alive. I'm not hiding. When you come back, you'll be alive. It, it's going to be obvious when we start saying she hasn't been around in a while that she's dead. Right. So they're going to piece it together eventually. But they don't know how she died, right? But I guess Jabez might assume, right? They, would, start, probably, they would probably piece it together because he knows that uh, we'd fucking murder anybody who did that if it wasn't one of ours. Right. So, that is what that is. It'll probably it'll probably it'll probably just be another rematch of what happened before, but they don't got Daddy Sam to keep them all together, so it'll be even more strangled and weird. I mean, plus the law, I don't think it's going to yeah, give them. Yeah, but has always been running it. He has, but he, uh, I mean, a figurehead is a figurehead for a fucking reason. You know what I mean? Right, right. Not if Jabaz could run his own outfit, he would have been running his own fucking outfit the entire time. Yeah, good call. Look at the deck mm -hmm. I drew over there. Where? Right in front of us. At the horse? Like right in front of the horse. There's a dick. Look, in, see look in the snow, darling. No, I, I am, but it's... It looks... It's just. Oh, you know like what? He might... Uh, little oh, dusty he might... His, mm. his footprints might be a little... Well, different than I Listen, little your little father thing. is very proud of his artistic rendition. I'm very proud of my deck. Mm-hmm. Right, let me get that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. He's figured it out. There you go. He's figured oh. it out. Nice, right? Uh, it's just missing a... No. What? What? No. No. Uh, okay. Was it missing? Just thought I was missing a testicle. Three it's testicles? No, that's only Carlo. Good lord. So yeah, that's the general catch up. So so sorry, go back over. Uh, you said the first two came oh. up, but then Aurora and Zip and and them. Oh yeah, so first two came up. Oliver. Oh, okay. I'm clearing like, up the uh, snow. You annoy the shit out of me when you. I basically was like, all right, well, that's not really an issue because I, I I thought originally Gavin Summers because she said gravelly voice and I did like the. <laughs> Gavin Summers. You know? Oh. I think. Yeah, very good. Yeah, try yeah, keeping yeah. that up. No. And, uh. Anyways, she. She basically then, uh, I guess. I guess three people approached her here. This was like. Probably. 30 minutes after I sent the telegram to you. And basically, she just said that she was approached. Um, they asked her name. Which. I already told her not. Well, she gave her name. But. So they, they might put it Oliver, together. Oliver, oh my fucking god. From now on, I told her to just go by a fake name if if, if you don't know who it is, who's up okay. here. I mean, she but, seems uh, like a very nice girl, but not that bright. Mm, you'd be surprised. I really wouldn't. Brighter than a whole. Okay, again, dogs are smarter than her, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. Um, so we ended up, she ended up telling me that. So, um, Oliver, yeah, I guess they said they were up here. It's this time of night, were, man. You know, they were just, you know, she said she was like, uh, she's a, there's a few other people up here who kind of dressed the same as her, kind of just alluding at the mimicals. And, um, it, I guess they, they went in like, Aurora said, or not Aurora, but Maeve said they like, wanted to check out the cabin and stuff so i guess they probably didn't believe or whatnot looked in the cabin they walked around whatever they were here for a little bit and they basically said have you seen anybody who looked like city folk up here you know people who dress like they shouldn't be up here and yeah she basically was like no and that was about it i mean it at least from what i remember telling me it wasn't too long of an interaction but uh, I thought that was kind of weird. Why would they be looking for us up here? Unless yeah. they're trying to give stuff to... Well, I thought Bass, but he's dead. 
Well, it's your best. But but yeah, the the thing was, I I feel like Sam's Club might have immediately run to Kettleman and everyone. Well, because so the thing was, it was the three of them standing in front of us on the front line there, and you, it felt like they were going to get into a gunfight, but there were six of us and three of them, and probably weren't going to take that fight. If Jabas and and maybe other people are in prison, they might have immediately just run to Kettleman's company to be like, boo hoo, we're outnumbered. Obviously, they can't fight for them, but right. But- why would no? I'm pretty sure Jabez is the only one in Cisco. Everybody else is still out. I know. Pretty sure. Hmm. Well, I mean, I even know. even if so, if Jabez got gunned down by law, there's no way that he was the only one that got gunned down, right? He wouldn't be by himself. No, it was when Same you this. gunned him down. Wait, who gunned him down? I, th- I think you he did, Carlo. Oh yeah, Sam, yeah. Sam Bass. No, I meant Sam. Sorry, sorry. No. Uh, Sam probably wasn't by himself, right? Yeah, probably not. Now, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the timeline is. I just have a feeling that Sam's Club probably would have run to Kettleman's gang and been boo-hoo-hoo, what the fuck is going on? Oh, ho fellow, that's war. Well, but I mean, you know, like, that's the... It's, I don't know how much y'all have interacted with the fucking outlaws, but that's how they all are out there. They go, they're all in Fort Mercer, apparently, as well. Oh, got that information, but I'm sure they're all over there just, you know jerking each other off and telling them what badass cool oh, outlaws oh, they are yeah. who's jerking off everyone that's probably all he, that's all he heard all he heard was jerking off that was it that was the whole i could be speaking for 20 minutes and that's the only thing you would ever hear out of it i feel like you have been speaking for 20 minutes my god thank you i suddenly don't miss you anymore <laughs> you're welcome um yeah but that's the thing it's uh, at this point i think it's very easy to assume that the two of them are just in cahoots about whatever right well, either way, I, I don't really know. How much time t- is it even from killing a deputy? Uh, I mean, you could, you could 14, role, if, 14 right, years, you I think. Okay. Four, 14 if it's egg, like not in, in, like you didn't pick them up with the intent to murder them. Second degree. If, right. if you pick them up with the intent to murder them, it's 30. Oh, good oh, lord. Shit. Yeah. So basically he's going to be in there for a very long time. And if you One do that another. twice, it, it, it's, it's a guaranteed noose. I mean, they might get the noose anyway, but it's a, it's a guaranteed noose if you have picked up and murdered two lawmen with the intention of murdering them. Right. Yeah, he's... So he's in there for a long while, no matter what. Probably. At least two weeks. I mean, it's just interesting that Kettleman's... I mean, are they that bored, maybe? Are they out of war so oh, long? Yeah, and... Absolutely. It probably the is just bored. Here's the thing, though. Um, it's going to be... It might be put together. I don't know. They're, they, you know, they have, like, stones for brains, but... Ali is uh, Zip's brother. Yeah, we're and... familiar. Right, <laughs> and... Sadly... Um, Oh yeah, you guys fucked him up, didn't you? I, 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 I oh, we, we. we shot him once. I, and then yeah, that's so why Nola hates you guys. I shot Ollie. She shot uh, Jade, and then we found them in Saint Denis again. And I broke Ollie's nose with the butt of my rifle, and I'm, and you almost shot Aurora, uh, right? Uh, oh yeah, no, I, <laughs> I accidentally ran them pulled over with a horse. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, don't do that. Well, no, I didn't mean to. They were running around like fucking assholes when I was coming around the corner. It wasn't on purpose. I know, I know. No, but well, they're morons anyway. One of Maeve's like first days here, Zip like showed her the West or whatever, right? And then I met her a few days later. And showed like, her the West. Yeah, I don't know. I gave her like a tour, and I was like, the East is a lot better. There's a lot more opportunities, and basically convinced her that Saint Denis is a lot better, and that's which is why she's been there. But so Zip does know her, so. If they meet up with Zip and they're like, hey, we, yeah, when we were up in the snow, we met someone named Maeve, then Zip might be like, oh, she hangs around like the Chenzos because when we were in Valentine the other night, a while, like a week ago, me, Olivia, Danny, uh, and Maeve was with us and we ran into Zip. Why are those cons just in St. Denis all the time? It baffles me. It just no, it's it just... Valentine. We ran into them. Oh, Valentine. Uh, oh, and then yeah, when we went down to Valentine, I sent you that telegram. Uh, I saw Aurora, as well. Of course she you did. There, well, there. I don't think she saw me, but yeah, I, you know, I mean, I was wearing the the panther head. 
there seems to be an entire faction of the Kettlemans and everyone in the Sam's Club who are out actually west all the time. And then it appears to be Aurora and the fucking Quill brothers and any other, you know, mouth-breathing moron who just hangs around in Valentine continually. It was very strange. I don't know what that's about. Right. Yeah. Well. I don't know. We'll we'll see, but... Aurora is uh, doggedly nosy for no fucking actual reason, so if she was up here looking, she'll probably continue looking for some fucking nothing. Right. How long are you planning on staying up here, darling? I don't know. Not too like, much longer. Yeah, not any rush or anything. Nope, you look yeah, better. You sound better. Yeah. Is yeah. it the hair? No. You don't like the hair? No, I don't really like the hair. Um, I might have to keep it when I come back. I, I think I gave you far too much of my blood and you are now looking much better, so. It is what it is. I was going to tell you something, but I forgot. Oh, thank Fox. you for that. Well done. Fuck, hold on. Good. Uh, shit. It was something important. Oh, good. Was it was it important? No, it was. It really was. Hold on. Just let me think. All the time in the world, darling. Yep. Take your time. It's going to get cold up here in a few months. Nope. It's gone. It's gone forever. It's a shame. Truly a shame. Yeah. It was I'm very sure I'll important. Remember. Huh? Mm -hmm. Do you need anything while we're we'll, we'll up here? Not that we brought no, many no. supplies, but. I've been good. Know. All right. Yeah, what the fuck? Are you eating huh? butterscotch? Yeah. Uh. So that's why I had butterscotch. Yeah, he. you saw him for five minutes and he slipped it all into your pockets. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, I don't even like butterscotch. Fuck, do I'm, I have really, a... I'm really bothered that I can't remember. Oh, the, oh. That's what it was. Hmm? Anola was like questioning. She sent me a telegram that was kind of questioning if I was all right. It was kind of weird. Are you still fucking talking to her? No, I, I didn't respond. No. Okay. When was she the just, last time you sent just... her a telegram? Mm, that day that she said, oh, uh, I'm glad you you were looking you were looking good and went in Valentine. Like you were looking good and better or whatever. And I just said okay. thanks. Appreciate so, it. That's it. Just, just drop her on her head. To be fair. No, I um, know. But, but she telegrammed me. The, anyways, she saw me yeah. when I was going around Saint Denis the other night before I got arrested. Uh, she saw me, and um, yes, yeah, I think she saw me get arrested or whatever. Uh, so I don't know. But she said she, she's like, I haven't seen you or whatever heard from you in a while. Like, is everything all right? And I just didn't reply, so. Well, so either she's absolutely desperate for you or her brothers are having her uh, reach out for you as yeah, well because they're all being right. nosy. I think she's just looking for information. Yeah, and that time when we went, mm -hmm. I went to speak to her at the lighthouse, like, she was being weird about telling me stuff about Jabass, so. I mean, she's clearly working for them. She's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing at the end of the day. It's, it's it's the same conversation we had there. Like, everybody loves to say the middle ground and this and that, and I'm impartial and blah, blah, blah. But she's absolutely fucking lying. Because gone right. to her head if she picks them or you. She's picking her fucking brothers every goddamn time. Right. It's ridiculous to think otherwise. But, uh... Yeah. I don't know. I do still think she was trying to fall in love with you or some shit. Ridiculous. Yeah, most people are. Okay, not to know about that one. Although you do, <sighs> you you do attract a certain. Breed. I mean, th there is a collection of girls don't behind you breed. at this. Yeah, don't, don't say, say breed. <laughs> oh, type. Oh, don't, don't yeah, type. Don't say breed. Okay. Uh, They're not well, horses. <laughs> They're fucking human beings, you I know. I, just, I don't know what you're getting at. I, it sounded like. With you. Well, it's, it's Reed was something that I feel like Sloan would say, so that's why. Why? I I'm not weird. Why would I say that? No, she does not have. Oh, no, not gonna say that. Oh, my God. 
Listen, it's also, point it being, also wouldn't be true. I would. Oh. Um, the point is, Carlo, you have a legitimately a, like a trail of girls behind you who all seem to be kind of exactly the same type of woman. It, it, you know what right. I mean? Right. Yeah. You'd be, be surprised. Uh, after I first uh, checked my telegrams, after I you know was able to make it down. Oh my god. <laughs> You'd be surprised I had like eight telegrams and they were all women. I hate you. I hate you. He's your son. I hate- Look ha at this strapping <laughs> young gentleman. Women follow him around. He has I, to uh, it, with it, a it's, on, it's on an accident. Woman. Back it, I it's, say. It's Try honestly an accident. Is it, is it on accident? His dick is a magnet. Uh -huh. He can't even fucking help it. He just, everywhere he goes. See, you're gonna have I'm to cure this, Oliver, because I'm gonna start shooting them, so. Yeah, right. well, it's just gonna. No, I was just gonna ask, have you ever seen anybody like stay in here? Because, like, when we first came uh, here, there was like. Uh, <laughs> uh Boone, Boone stays here. <clears throat> He's an old man. Uh, yep. I may have tossed a cleaver into his collarbone at some point. What the f um, and we may have. Had... <laughs> Wait, what? Not what? important. Anyway. Oh, have, just what? figured you should know. Uh, we D look. Did you kill somebody up here? No, I'm, I'm gonna no, walk no, away. No, nobody, no, no person was killed. <laughs> um, oh, we're in the real DJ hours tonight. Listen, I, <laughs> I love, but listen, look at the lineup of of people who have helped and or been in love with Carlo. It's the, <laughs> it's like exactly the same girl every single time. They're interchangeable. I love it. I love it. Carlo has a type, and it's and it's naive brunettes. I love it. What did you talk? Are you talking, did you tell him about the? Never mind. Yeah, I did. Do you know it is what it is, Carlo? It's the first time. Wait, you told him it was. What? What was oh, this supposed no. to call? Wait. Oh no. You Wait, sleeping in that did bed? Did you? Did you? you? Are you a uh, knave in that bed? Oh no, Carlo! Please no. Carlo! 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 <laughs> Carlo no! <laughs> Carlo in your parents' bed. Well, I didn't fair. know you guys wouldn't be. Uh, oh! It was a very long time ago. Oh! oh he's throwing up. He's throwing up. He's <laughs> hold on, I gotta hold his hand. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. Get his all out. Get him. This is it. This is the family. <laughs> this oh is it. Lord. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'm so sorry, but it's also I'm not tradition. sorry at all. It's a family tradition, you guys. Yeah, clearly. Oh, I feel bad for the people who actually live here. I uh, don't. Yeah, he shot us one time. Don't feel bad about it. Yeah, I don't know. Is it, well, I was told by Anya that, that which is the mimical, that that there's like two lovebirds that live here. That's what she told me. Oh yeah, remember we found out those notes up here the one time. Oh yeah. But um oh I also found some stuff out about the mimicals. Did you? So Anya's a good mimical. She's a good mimical. She's one I'm of the sorry. Open now, the right? good is there a bad one? There's oh yeah, bad. there's oh there's there's three bad ones. What? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so Anya's the good one, she's the deer. Uh there was the one who Eastus. saved my life, right? Right, yeah, yeah. There's Eastus, oh. who saved Maeve and I's life hey, the really? first What's time up, we bud? were up here a while ago. Not too long ago, but the first time we came up here, we got we got attacked by wolves. And Eastus, she was a like a white like cougar. Oh, she Le Cougar, of course. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, she's dead, I'm pretty sure. And then... Oh. Um, That's yeah. and then, sh so a shame. Guess, so then Anya's the only good one left. So then there's three bad ones. There's 
ba- uh, one who's a bear who literally just goes by the name bear. There's a a wolf one that goes by the name. Fuck, I forgot the name. Maeve knows it. And then there's a like a elk one that goes by Wendigo. I told you it was a fucking Wendigo. Yeah. The fuck is so I believe Wendigo? I think Anya's the one that leaves or that uh Anya's the one that lives at uh Karen Lake. But I don't know where the others live. I haven't came across them either. Wendigo's a cannibal. Why don't you just call it a cannibal? Because it's not the same thing. Is well, it? what's the difference? There's a belief that if you eat enough human flesh, etc., um, it it gives you spiritual and physical powers, etc., and turns you into a fucking bullshit. I had lightning strike me today. I didn't get big bullshit. bad monster, etc. That was different. Oh, and I think uh, you tried to kill Cesare. She's she. Your mother has created a entire device that literally pulls lightning from the sky on demand. You have no idea how powerful I am. What? It's it's up at the lab. You use that you know, big really, fucking this tower. This really help with. Yeah, you 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 are like a vampire or something, right? Hundred percent. Yep. Sonny was yep. checking me for bite marks earlier, and he was very ashamed that he found them. Mhm. Mm-hmm. And then Cesare saved him somehow. Ces- <laughs> he walks over to Cesare. He goes, "Sorry, he's got bite marks. He's got bite marks." So, and Cesare, without missing a beat, without like no change of expression, just goes, "They're sexual. Calm down." Wait, what's sexual? Yeah. The, the bite marks. We have to... Oh. I, do you oh. know what? I was quite offended that he went around the room and checked everyone for bite marks. He's never checked me for bite marks once. He just assumes I'm a fucking vampire. Well, he wouldn't find them. Real deep search. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So did you guys really have to do it in that bed? What? Okay. First of all, it was, it was not fault. my fault. It, well, I guess was, it was. We it did was. it first. We were well, here to first. Fair, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Okay. To be fair. There was, there was no fornicating. All right. I just, we just slept in the bed. Oh, you I, just spooned, you romantic oh, no, shitheads! No, I, I, I wish you'd Sam fucked. I told it. <laughs> it would have been better if you fucked. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, disgusting, Carlo. I didn't do anything. I stuck to my side of the bed, right? I'm in no shape to be... Oh, is there a pillow wall? ...relations right now. Yeah. Okay, Kettleman, Jesus Christ. All right. Don't fucking say that. Come on. Pillow wall? What are you, a fucking Mormon? Uh, there was no pillow. <laughs> pillow. <laughs> there was no pillow wall, right? It was just... <laughs> your, fa- your father liked that one. <laughs> yeah, so, something about the word Mormon just makes me laugh. Marmon in this accent is very funny, in Marmon. fairness. Sounds like a name. Marmon. Yeah, Marmon. I oh, know he lives up the coast, doesn't he? He oh, brings a fishing boat every now every summer. Marmon. All right, I don't know what the fuck she just did. But... Never, I'm feeling very Irish tonight. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, don't, don't worry about it. You, 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 you cuddled in. Uh... Yeah, you spooned. We didn't. You know, right? Just for the wreck. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm there hoping, was... I'm just gonna hope that the people who live here clean those sheets. Uh, hmm. What, you don't think they clean them? They have a cleaning, they have a whole cleaning corner over there. They, they, they got fucking... Oh yeah, the bath is very nice as well. I'm familiar with that bath, yeah. Oliver, are you familiar with that bath? Get out of here! When I'm being you, Irish! Get out of my chat! <laughs> How long was, ago was this? It was a long time. Get out of my somebody <laughs> banned ghosts, he's seeing me be there. Irish. Yeah. Who do you think was with me though? Yeah, who right. do, who do you think legitimately fixed his brain? Hmm? Hmm? Right. You think you think he just rolled around in the fucking snow until it was all better? Do you think that is what oh, happened? <laughs> oh my god. I got us. I know, you came to if mock you speak, me. You're in big trouble. If I speak. I am big trouble. 
Good lord. <laughs> Listen, ghost. I know oh, I sound like God. an idiot. We just gotta put up with it. <laughs> My oh, terrible this, this. accent. Oh. You think did it just oh get God. really... Yeah. Are we gonna die? Yeah. It happens. No, it happens. It happens. What do you mean it happens? It's just normal here. What do you mean it's normal here? It's just normal. Also, do you think Anya takes off her deer head like when she fornicates? I don't think she's ever done that before, ever. You know her better than we do. That's a good point. If anybody could tell us that, it'd be you. You don't think she's ever done that? Are you trying to find out? I don't know her. I mean... I know she likes to watch. Yeah, true. She was standing up on that fucking mountain the entire day. Oh, wait, wait, really? Yeah. What? Are there wolves? Is he's... Oh, he's going to be impressive, darling. I'm going to go kill those deer. Yeah, Sloan is a very Irish name. Bryn is actually more Welsh than Irish, but yeah, Sloan is a very Irish name. Are you... Listen, I want to clarify, I'm not one of those <laughs> American people who's like, I'm Irish. My great-great-grandmother well, was from Ireland. You I'm missed. Irish. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's your boy. He missed. Well done. <laughs> well done, you. No, I'm like, I'm like first generation from Ireland. Half Irish. Yeah, Ghost knows exactly what I mean. <laughs> My great great grandmother was an O'Flaherty. Did air. you know her? Really fucking dark as well. It's really weird. <laughs> yeah, it, it was really dark, so you missed your shot. Is that is that the story we're going yeah. with? Oh, uh -huh. well yeah. done you. All right. To be fair, that's very far for a bow. Okay. Keep pulling yeah, myself. Yeah, no, up. sure. I can get my muscle weight back if I just keep doing pull-ups. Yeah, uh, yeah. Eventually, one day. Oh my God! Were you just shooting at the sky? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got to bring the sun up. Oh my god. Can't catch the arrow. I will not catch the arrow. Is it going to come yeah. down? That's gone. No. I don't think you're very good with that. I think you've lied to us. I am good. I bet you I can shoot your head off your head. No, you are not. Let's, no. Let's not, let's not test I'm it. not losing an eye tonight. No, no, absolutely not. What the? Carlo! Would you stop I shooting? I, I need those to get back home, you idiot. Carlo! What? You only need one, realistically, right? Oh! Okay. No, we need both of them. Both. So, what if you are just stuck up here one night with me? Sloan, he misses us. Mm hmm. Uh huh. I'm gonna pile drive him. He's still gonna start doing Cart! What are these horses made oh of? Oh my god, these. Uh... Sloan. I'm oh, gonna boy. rip all your fucking stitches. Ow. That horse is actually made of. I think. Yeah, that. killed him <laughs> look how they have massacred my boy did i actually oh i did <laughs> well he's not dead but there's a bunch of bags in the barrel yeah i have bags you idiot <laughs> oh, no, you, you told your son that you boned and then you knocked him unconscious yeah yeah i'm teaching him life lessons apparently oh my god <laughs> I'm curious how much this horse can take. No! You dumb cunt! What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'll go get the horse. Ow. I can't even... 
I hate both of you. you might, I hate you, you both might, so fucking you might have much. To bring me inside, yeah. I don't want to bring you inside. Why not? Ugh. Why? Ugh. Ugh. You know why? What? Uh huh. Ow. Uh huh. You are an idiot, my god. All is good here. Yeah. All is good. Can't believe Carlo destroyed the wagon. <laughs> Mikey just wants me to shoot Carlo. Oh yeah, destroyed my wagon. I was gonna say, and you are you are so fucking stupid. I can't stand the both of you. I swear to God. He's a bad influence, obviously. Oh, it's a bad influence, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you because you both independently don't make influence. stupid don't fucking decisions. Every day, the both of you make yeah, dumb decisions, completely okay. independent of each other. I, All I right. Probably me that's a bad influence. I'll be you're there. both yeah, a bad influence on influence. each other, but you're both independently fucking stupid. It's like being independently wealthy, but it just has no benefits to it. There's some benefit. Yeah, there, there is a lot of benefits. What kind of benefits? Explain to me the benefits got, of being I fucking just, brain dead. I just got to kill a horse. Exactly. Carlos softened it up for me. Exactly. I, that's no, that's not. No, it's not good. Because now we've got to ride that fucking horse back, you idiot. You'll be fine. You're going to eat like my wolves. I can stay in here. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Yeah, oh yeah, come all the way. Oh, you've been shot, have you? Come all the way up here through the snow. Nothing bad will happen. What could possibly go wrong? Idiots. Absolute fucking idiots about me. Right. At least I only shot one of the horses. Oh, oh, would you like a medal? Do I want to know why uh, her braid's back, or her hair's back in a braid? Because I wear my hair in a braid, Carlo. That's why I have my hair in a fucking braid. That's the only reason? Yeah, Good. that's the only reason. Sure. I will knock you out again. Handle. We'll knock you out too. I'm brittle and weak. Don't touch me. Ugh, I can put you to get together. The thing is, that's you know, I'm your doctor, so I can uh, fix it all. I'm very. Oh shit! Are you fucking stupid? Family vacation. God damn it, Carlo. Oh, she's mad. Look at her, she's balling up her fists. So, uh, what do you guys want for dinner? I gotta hunt something. That thousand looking real good right now. Real fucking good right now. What? <laughs> what? Come on. No. He, he misses us. I do not care. I do not give a fuck. He's gonna kill that one too. No, he's not killing my fucking horse. <laughs> uh, well, he's Carlo. He's firing arrows. Get on the fucking horse. Oh boy. <laughs> Goodbye, Carlo. Ow! <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, he got me in the fucking leg. What the fuck? I 
Carla. Uh huh. Oh, you're mad. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, you are mad, man. They're there. Uh huh. I'm I'm helping. Are, are you helping? I'm I'm helping. Uh huh. I'm calming you. I'm a calming, soothing, <laughs> soothing influence. Not particularly. No. <laughs> this dumb motherfucker. I. Mm -hmm. We'll get, we'll, get, we'll get somebody to bring the wagon back down, all right? I, it's fine. I didn't pack anything in it. It's all right. Don't be so mad. I am mad at him. Why would I Don't not be mad be at him? Mad. It's just a horse. What are you mad about? Stupid shit. I hate fucking stupid shit. You know that I do. Okay, but he hasn't seen us in God knows how long. He's excited. Come on. I know. Cut him some slack. I'm not good at cutting him slack. Well, try. Listen, darling, not to bring the mood down on all of this, but stupid shit, stupid excuse for stupid, stupid shit is why we're here. I know I don't need to explain that to you. You get it, but my patience is very limited. And I love you dearly, darling, but you do encourage him. I'm just happy to see him all right, that's all. I know. He'll be fine up there. Besides, his weird, awkward friends are up there as well. <coughs> what? In the bed, huh? <laughs> oh my god. There's a pillow wall and everything, good lord. Oh my god. That uh. poor boy. I guarantee you he's not sleeping that night. <laughs> no, probably not. I mean, tell me I'm not crazy, but every single woman that Carlo has been involved with almost looks exactly the same as well. Very, very similar. Very yeah. similar. Mm. I mean, I, I think... I think the real saving grace in this is he doesn't appear to have any actual emotional attachment to any of them, which is, you know, good. <laughs> Just like his father. Just like his father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Trailer women with no emotional attachment. All brunettes. Yeah. A good amount. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Now Cesare's got me in trouble because it's convenient for you. Uh, oh my god, do you think I actually care? I'm not a brunette, I don't give a fuck. No, but she... Oh? Not by the family, because she never really talked to the family, but she was compared to a vampire a lot. Oh my fucking god. So when that started up, I was just like, I'm gonna not spit, say anything and hope it dies down, and then it got worse. Yeah, no, it's way worse now, and I, I would, you know, I don't know this other woman. But I would probably say that I'm probably doing far worse at the vampire rumors than she was. Probably. I think she was just pale and had dark eyes shut off. Okay. I do blood tests and I have a laboratory where I electrocute people. 
Yes, yes, you're very impressive. Thank you, darling. So, so impressed. Yeah. Definitely a competition. It, well, I mean, it only has to be when I'm winning, so. <laughs> Do you know how to say shit like that to wind you up? Yes, I'm aware. It works. It works every time. I would stop doing it if it didn't work so well, but it does work very well, you know. Oh, well. Shut up. Oh. What what a zinger to come back with. Yeah. Ah. Like, you like this shit? Yeah, it's zinger. Yeah, shut up. Not mm. Hadn't considered it. Now you have. Huh. Hmm. I'm sorry. What was that noise? Consideration? What is it? You just went, huh? Oh. Uh-huh. Nah, it was, how? The brothers are going away for a while. Uh-huh. Tony and you and Pearly. Uh-huh. I don't know. Nah, I, I have complete faith in, in you and Pearly and... Tony's quite good, but he does seem very disconnected in what's been going on, if I'm honest. Well, he just hasn't been around. I don't, to be honest, I really don't know him much. You don't... I don't think anybody does. Well, he, but says, that's, he says yeah. a lot, but he doesn't say much of anything at all. He's still good for grandfatherly advice, and he's pretty wise sometimes, but he's very... He's so much of a character that his actual personality is close to his chest. Uh, yeah. So much so, I don't know if many people at all have seen it. I mean, I do... I do get that impression, I suppose. I'm just curious as to, to him in a leadership position. He's never had... Well, he wasn't in a leadership position when he had his incident, but... He's never fucked up in a leadership position, as far as I can tell. As I know. Hmm. Guess we'll see. I don't know, it just it feels like the family's turned a corner recently and I mean I know the brothers were very insistent on that when they were talking to us the other day, but I don't wanna lose it. I don't think we will. But at the same time, you know, it is a it's a delicate thing. It can go far too far as well. Oh, am I? Uh oh. Ah! Yep. Oh my god. Why is my... I feel like this time of the night... My internet fucking bubbles for some reason. Weird. Okay, I need a drink super quickly while we reload in. We're gonna be right back super quick, guys. Thank you. 
Good night, Ao. Thanks for sticking around, man. Bruce was having similar issues. Well, so that's the thing. I don't really have these issues when I'm not on Red M. So I wonder if it's something with like the server. It pops my whole internet, but I'm wondering if it's like a throttling thing or something. You know what I mean? Oh no. Do not shoot my horse. What? Hello. I want to shoot your horse. Oh, because you're an asshole. I'm not Carlo. <laughs> you're not Carlo. Why would I ever shoot a horse? I, I've, I've never shot a horse in my life. Mm -hmm. Do you know I got an animal cruelty charge once for fucking shooting a horse during a bank robbery? Not surprised by that. They'll stack whatever the fuck they want on you. Ridiculous. Taking us off the cliff. Relax. Can I go down this way? I can go down this way, can I? <laughs> no. Yeah. <this laughs> sleep frogged, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll figure it out on the go. Tired, darling. I've been speaking for a very long time, okay? Yeah, I'm surprised you're still awake. You should go it to is... bed. No, shut up. Do you my mother? No, but apparently I'm the only one who takes care of you because you won't do it for yourself. Oh, no. Cesare asks me every day, like four or five times a day, how I'm sleeping and how I'm feeling. It's going to be cold. Hang on, hang on. Ooh, okay. You wake it, darling. Oh my god. Ooh. Yep. 
he's uh, he's receded into his cave. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dramatic. Yeah. I'm like freezing cold water. Put you in the mood. Uh -huh. Can you like actually sleep tonight? Oh, what do you mean? I slept like, last night. No, you didn't sleep sleep though. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Kept you're waking being... up. No. You should have been sleeping anyway. I wasn't tired. You are. Your body is exhausted. Okay, well, I, I obviously fell asleep at some point. Mm. I was saying, it would, it would be nice if you actually fucking slept. I did sleep last night. I'll no, sleep again I, I... tonight as well. Yeah, but like, you know, like, sleep. Because, <laughs> yeah, well, how, you went how long without sleep? I don't know, like two weeks or something. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ, I can't even make four days. That sounds like a skill issue. Alright, well, you're gonna sleep tonight. Yes, Aldover, I will sleep tonight, okay? Good. Oh, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. No, it's all you so wanted. Hard. Just bossy. That's, that's, bossy as always, huh? Not so hard. Just sleep. Be a good girl and go to sleep. That's it. <laughs> okay, perhaps I should not have used. <laughs> oh. You're a moron. Yeah, I just... It's late for me, though, okay? I, I know. I know it is. Yes, I... Listen, I'm fine. I am taking... I don't know why everyone was so dramatic the whole time you were out. Everybody, I was acting like I was about to keel over and die the entire fucking time. Maybe because you didn't sleep for two weeks straight. But I am a professional. Nobody else went to Oxford. Just need you to... Train Sophia to do exactly what you do. I need her to be another you. Those were some cow pokes. It was Charlotte from the gun store. Is it? No, she always has a huge, stupid fucking hat on. Unless she doesn't want to be noticed. Oh. It's very smart. You always have this huge, stupid fucking hat on. If you want Until to know I don't want to be noticed, off. yeah. He's got somewhere to be. Busy roads today. Yeah, busy, busy. What the fuck is going on at this hour? Surprisingly busy roads. <laughs> what the hell is happening? People are making money. Uh, yeah, it's fair play. It's business hours. Yeah, yep. Much. I'm gonna have to go back to mining soon. Ugh. So am I. Ugh. Well, there's fishing in Van Horn now, right? Yeah, but. Are you banned from fishing forever? I'm ner I'm nervous about fishing. Last time I went fishing, everything happened. What do you mean? What was the last time like... you went fishing? Last time I went fishing was the day that Mills shot me in front of the house. Oh, Jesus Christ. Was that the last time? That was the last time. Holy shit, yeah. That was before I was in the family. Mm-hmm. Oh. And just when you started to fall for me. I don't know about that at all. Well, of course you deny it. Don't Jeez. worry, I speak, I speak Sloan, so. Do you? Because I... I know. <laughs> I don't know when I became the family translator either, by the way. It comes with the territory. I've, I, you know how long I've played Cesare and Sunny translator? My, they, my entire They're life. brothers. I know. I know. I know. They understand each other, but they don't, like, sometimes people don't understand them. And then you have, like, eventually I started being able to decode shit from other people. Shit said, like, Al Alfonso, mm. like, he, he, he was the translator because he'd been with the family for so long. And then I just started picking it up over time, and now I'm the translator. Actually, that just made me think. Huh. Well, because in the meeting, I wasn't being... I do want to be clear. I was not being a facetious cunt when I tried to correct Leo oh, on what ow, Carlo said earlier. Ow, oh, ow, oh, oh, ow, oh, oh, oh. 
He's disappeared. He's vaporized. Oh my god. It's been a very long stream today, guys. But I am enjoying it. I'm very much enjoying it. He's dead, guys. He vaporized. He's gone forever. It's very sad. Who's still alive in the chat? Who's still here? We're coming up on 10 hours right now. I don't know that we're going to go much longer, to be fair. Is Benucci the longest serving member of the family? Outside of the brothers, I think so, but Benucci's also not around. So Oliver might be... Actually, Oliver might be longer than Benucci. Ugh. It was a quiet stream. It was quiet. It was quiet. A lot of meetings, a lot of family stuff. Hi. Hi, everyone. Oh, hello. Everyone is still here. We all just vibing. Y'all enjoying the late night vibes? Because it, it has been nice. We're just, we're on just some like late night fun shit. You know what I mean? How much more super degen slowly name your price? I, you can't buy me. You guys know you can't buy me. It's not how it works. Family game night? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, ah, I'm wounded. A uh, true and true to my arm. Oh. Surely I will not bleed out. Good lord. <laughs> what are you saying? Something about being a facetious cunt? Yeah, well. Uh, no, but earlier in that meeting when we were talking about Carlo with Leo, I really wasn't being a facetious cunt about things when I tried to correct him on what he was saying there. Because, first of all, accuracy of language fucking matters, but... I don't know, I don't, I... I don't remember what you're talking about. Uh, so it was when they were talking about Carlo and... Well, I mean, I get the impression very much that Leo and Danny don't like the fact that Carlo's alive, gonna be honest. Really? But, well, so they were talking about when Carlo and Sissy brought the book to Jabaz, and Leo brought up the fact that Carlo said... He said... If CC wasn't there, I would have shot him. And framed it in a way that made it sound like Carlo didn't do it because there was oh, a witness there, you right. know what I mean? And I said, no, he said, I'm glad that Sissy was there, so I didn't shoot him. I remember now. Uh, yeah, you just gotta be careful, like, with how you say shit, because it, it doesn't matter how it sounds to you, they can pick it any way. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not concerned about that. I mean, I, it is what it is there. I'm not trying to be an asshole about it. My problem is, well, first of all, the mistranslation of things. And and as much as I, you know, respect Leo and them, and am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I, I didn't know where you were going. I know, I always fucking take this turn wrong. But I, well, I mean, you remember all this shit? The twins have been very aggressive with Leo for a while. Or for with Carlo. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. I mean, they play nice in front of me, so... Well, that's... I don't know. I just... Not that I think anything dramatic is going to happen, but... Keep an eye on it, yeah. I always do. I, I, yeah, I, I always do. There's we, no such thing as a, uh, a resolved issue for me. I keep an eye on literally everything <laughs> that's ever happened. Yes, and I you're, keep it in mind. You're Italian. You bury the hatchet, but you remember where. Um, I know. I leave the handle poking out for me, apparently. <laughs> yeah, for quick draw, yes. For quick release. Yeah, I just, I don't know. There's, it might just be paranoia, it might just be something in my brain, but I have this little feeling like something is gonna... I don't know. I just didn't like the way that the two of them were talking about the whole situation earlier. Well, you gotta understand that Leo is both Carlo and your technically uh not in terms of rank but in terms of tenor superior so mm. 
you, you gotta be careful with how you talk to people who are above you. Like, speak your mind, absolutely. Well, but most of it is my tone, be, darling. You, you know, it's... I, I know most of it is, but you can't sit here and tell me that you don't take little jabs here and there. And even in this business, little jabs can, can cost you. What, they can. What little jabs have I taken recently? I can't think of any, but you can't you can't sit here and tell me you I don't. I have do been it. very well behaved recently. Thank you. Well, I've it's, been in a coma for two weeks, so I, I can't really prove you wrong. For like the last three months, for a month or something, I have been. I I know I've been good because it's been killing my soul, to be honest. Right. It has. Very delicate, you know. Very the well, that is true. I don't know. After. I mean, you saw how shit happened with Olivia. We all saw, you and I specifically, but we saw what happened and how it ended. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I, I am a bit concerned about Leo. Well, what's the uh, running theme with all of this happening? People who should not have been given leadership are given leadership? No. It's solved. I, I, yeah, darling, I know it gets solved, but I don't want him to get shot or something. And I don't want someone else to almost die. And I don't want it to get to that extreme. Do you understand what I mean? I understand, but I just don't think we can prevent everything. Uh, I don't think we can prevent it. I'm just... The lingering issue is there with Carlo. I don't want him getting caught up into the middle of everything. I know he's... I mean, you, we both know he's already going to come back and face fucking... Mikey and everyone else going, well, we should have just fucking shot him. And I know the brothers supported what happened, so it is what it is, but... Mm, I don't know. Just something about the conversation today with Leo and Danny. And to be honest, the fact that they didn't clarify anything, they had you and me there for a while. Did they question you about it at all? Did they talk to you? Well, no, because they talked to Olivia directly. And you, you, I don't, were you there for when Leo and, and Cesare discussed no. like what people need to know? They talked to, did you say it's Olivia? What? So Leo talked to Olivia before everything happened. Yes. And then... Just today, Cesare and Leo talked, and they discussed, like, not everybody needs to know everything. Okay. I it, I was more concerned about the shit with Carlo and all of that shit. Because that was why we initially got sent off with them, was to talk about all of that. Oh, yeah, they never asked any questions. Yeah, that's what I mean. They didn't ask me any questions. They didn't ask you any questions. Well. Yeah, whatever. Listen, I might, I, I may just be being paranoid about shit, but... I, I, I'm starting, Amore, I think you might be a little bit. <sighs> yeah. I understand. I understand. We've been going and going and going for so fucking long. It's, it's hard to not be paranoid. But just, you know, you're smart. You understand to... You, you recognize these things and, and you know you won't forget them. So not everything needs to be addressed immediately. Sometimes things are just something to keep in mind. Everything you said, something to keep in mind. I know, darling. I just... I'm not saying this like you can fix it or change anything or do anything. I just, I sit here and I look at things and I see all this fucking shit happening. And I saw it with Olivia and I saw... It it wasn't all her you know it wasn't all her it was yeah no it was the lack of we, many we things saw, we saw the decline and we and we said something and nothing <sighs> happened and like i said it at the time when things happened there was no consequence there was no
I mean, darling, we both know she did what she did because she thought she could get away with it because that was the culture that it was at the time, you know? Oh my god. Is that Pearly? Am That's I Pearly. Really that Pearly came back? Yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> Am I Howdy. so late that I, I see you wake up? Is that what this is? He's going to shoot us. He doesn't want to talk to us right now. This is not normal at all. This is not normal Look, at all. I might have been fishing, but don't fucking tell nobody I went fishing. Oh. Did you go up to Van Horn? No. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell if you don't. I was over there for an hour. I caught five fish. I hate this shit. See? Really? I think you're doing something wrong. Oliver catches that many in like 15 I minutes. A, I get I get a crate full in like 20, 20, 30 minutes. But it depends though. Because you got good days and you got bad days. Right? That is I've been true. over there. I, one time I was there for three hours. I made over $500. Oh and my God. I'm over here there for two now. hours. I don't get shit. My spot creek. ain't reliable. Ring yeah, next really like fucking goods. I don't care. I'm fishing in the bayou. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, don't fucking bitch and moan about not getting good shit. Not bitching and moaning. I I'm here and bitching. Y'all turn up over here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're at the house, Pearly. We're at the house. We live yeah, in. Yeah, go, go, go somewhere. Don't go check out shit to do. We, no, we just got no. Back. We we just shit, came we here. Yeah. Like literally five seconds before you came in, we came in. Okay. I get a high box. He's so mad at us right now. He's, he's, he did not want to be found. <laughs> he did not want to be found. <laughs> he did not want to be seen. Holy he shit. Did, he did not want to be seen at all. Oh my god. He's very upset. <laughs> Very, very upset. <laughs> it makes me very happy. They haven't seen this. That's Was it, has there always been a no code rule? I feel like you're all uh, just trying to kill me every day. There has always been a no code rule. It's been a code rule. It's been a thing since before I was an associate. I was literally never told that. The first thing I was asked. When I when I came inside for my first meeting in this house, which was a big fucking deal, was take your hat, coat, and long arm off. I got the hat thing. I think the hat is too big. I think everyone literally just focused on the fucking hat the whole time, and they were like, "Take that off," and then <laughs> never asked best, me. To... By the way, is it, is it make it look more professional? Just in case I need, I have an emergency meeting. Uh, kind of. No, not really. I would take the vest off, I think. It's, I, I think I absolutely fucking hate the vest. I think it, it, it's disgusting. That vest is terrible. Yeah, see? Yeah, I told you. He looks more professional without the vest, Wait, let right? Let me see one more time. Why? Yeah, it's a good Why? question, actually. What was you thinking? Yeah. Getting cold. Is that the last one in your size? It's, it's getting cold, so they put on a, a leather vest? You Look, don't... I, they only make so many fucking clothes for the, this fucking stupid small weight I am, all right? Oh, darling. The... You the, what, what you mean? You got the same shit, no? He is very skinny. But uh, the thing is, the, oh, the, right, right. the sweater doesn't look unprofessional. And the, he don't, Roll I mean. Roll your sleeves down. Yeah, take the sleeves down. You rascal. <laughs> Pearly's on is. a whole other thing this early in the morning, for the he, record. He, he is older than me. He, man. Yeah, that doesn't look unprofessional, darling. Pearly? Maybe the, the, the gun belt. I, I don't you know. I don't love the gun belt. Yeah, see, that's it, fucking it is good. business casual. There you are. Maybe get a haircut. Yeah. You just want me to put pomade in my hair. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. Maybe get a haircut. Oh. Look more professional. Are you, the are you prepping the me for, is nice. Prepping, I know it's nice. You're going to Sunday even, school for the first I, time. I don't even have to ask about the coat. I know I look sexy as fuck for that yeah, coat. Yeah, that coat is... You should keep that coat forever. But... What was I saying? I don't know. I don't know. Probably complaining. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love Pearly. 
He's oh. owned that. Oh my god. Do you see what's, that? You see what's happening? I've mastered the art of that. It's good. Anything happened last night? You know, I had this tool on me. Uh... Oh, Sam Bass is dead. I know. I think you were I, there? I, like, I don't remember which parts talking. you were there for or not, Pearly. I don't. I, I left after we got it back. It's been an unusually from, long day. From um, uh, the, the lab. I went to sleep after the lab when Zazari and Sissy. Oh, when got they shot. all got electrocuted. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, oh, yeah, of course. The last thing you said was he flipped <laughs> the bean and then went. <laughs> and then... Watch, now he's going to say, no, like I did not. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, did anything happen? I'm trying to remember. We've been awake the whole time, so I don't know. It, that was a while ago. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm on some I shit these days, that. Pearly. What do you want from me? So yeah, you have to be, be lazy. You have me a minute. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Well, we've decided uh, we're moving. My clinic is going to be in a blue room over there. We're moving into the house. The brother's okay to it. So. What? <laughs> See, I told you. What did I say? I told you. Yeah, Wait, was really? one of the next. Yeah, the is brothers. What, the brothers. The brothers. It was their idea. Like no, no, no. Yeah. It was Cesare's fucking idea. Oh, okay. he's so he's mad. A, he wants, he, he needs Cesare no, and Sonny. Yeah, both of them. Well, it's listen, awesome. Santino. Santino offered the blue room to me two fucking months ago, before I was even an associate or anything. Like you can lay him down on the table, or you can sit in this chair. I guess. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know how this shit works. Yeah, I know you're not a doctor. You know, well, you know what? Drift peacefully off the, the eternal slumber. You know what? Mm. Maybe not a bad idea. Well, I mean, it so could be a terrible idea, but at the same time, it, you know. I mean, they're, here's the thing: they're gonna come. They're gonna sit the on the fuck? porch out there, wait for their opinion for their for oh, their what. The Is that Angelo? Yeah, it's Angelo. Okay. Pearly, <laughs> Pearly. Pearly's gonna Pearly. fucking hammer. <laughs> it's Angelo. It's Angelo. Holy shit. <laughs> My God, I'm good at recognizing people. I'm like a savant. Oh, Danny. Did you no. did you never find Danny? No, I no. She said she was she was headed to the house like just now. So I don't, she's not is she not here yet? Ah, she's not here. No, Pearly showed up. Pearly's not Danny. That's how early it is. Yeah. What do you mean? They look exactly like Where each other. Looking at me like that, bro. Stop looking at me. All right, all right. Come the whole other way. Pearly is a man to be respected, Angelo. Angelo, do you want to be a secretary? How do you feel about pencil skirts? He 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 looked like a, absolutely. He do nah, kind of look I, like a secretary, doesn't he? Nah, I He's don't want to be for a secretary. He best. got the legs for it. He do. Uh, legs. Mm-hmm. How do, you, gams. how do you look at a low cut silk at, blouse? Look at my fucking gams, all right? Look at, look, look at those gams. Look at I get alert. The what? His gams. My gams. Fuck his gams. His legs. It's your legs. Your gams. They're weird. I don't Pearly, fucking you, ask. Pearly, you love old person lingo. <laughs> you love old person lingo. How do you not know gams? Yeah. Look, you know, I don't know where they say that. At, but not you got gams. You got tiny. <laughs> Do you think it's going to be awkward for everyone to be able to see the entire procedures through the windows all the time? But maybe it'll, you know, keep, let, make people shut the fuck up on the porch, right? Well, truly, because this is the thing. I think they come here, you know, you sit, you, you wait for your appointment, and then you come right into the blue room. And then I, you know, get the bones out, and then we take them out. It's fine. I don't know. So they, okay. Cesario's the thing. It, it, legitimately, I had no plan on it at all. Cesare brought it up because he wants it to happen. They want but the house. I don't know. Well, actually, does anybody use? There's a room. There's a room upstairs with a couple of beds in it. I know some people sleep there occasionally, but they did. They get the whole room. What the fuck? What you I lost a duel to a dirty guy. The big bedroom. Well, okay. Well. Hmm. I want to have a look. I'm being nosy upset. Surgical theater. Yeah, exactly. Also, I'm eating seaweed. Sorry if you guys can hear it crunching. It's 
see, because I like, I like this room. I do. I like this room a lot. Free advertising. It might be nice to do like the more intensive surgeries or something up here, and then you can do recovery. I don't know. That might be a conversation we have to have. You know what I mean? Because it's also, the nice thing is it's directly above the blue room. So in terms of like, yeah, I'm eating seaweed. Um, <laughs> in terms of like noise traveling, con conversations traveling, because I can't, I can't really have anyone lay down in, down there. I don't know. Well, well, that'll be, that'll be a conversation to have. People might hear things while going up the stairs. Yeah, but I mean, that's an issue with them even coming here. You know what I mean? Like, you can hear shit while you're coming here. You just need to be careful and... I mean, people are going to be in the house. It's not going to, it's not going to do us any well to... Huh? Eh? Yeah, from my west, yeah. Marquis boys. So he bought a family Litchfield? <laughs> yeah, he did. He paid top dollar for it, too. Luca? Yeah, Luca did. And what a dumb cunt, Jesus Lord. Apparently they got my, uh... No, not that one. They got okay. my, uh... They got my Navy out there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, here's the thing, right? We might be able to get the Litchfield back when we go out there again to uh, trade weapons with them. Because I think mm -hmm. they still got some of ours. And, well, they do. And we got some of theirs. I do still have Mills's gun and I really don't want to give it up. Well, fuck that shit. Give it up. Uh, get your uh, Litchfield back. Uh, just want to remember when we had matching Litchfields for like a day? I, if that I wanted to kill you. I absolutely well, yeah. wanted to beat you to death with that fucking gun. Well, you know what? It got stolen from me, so not my. You know, don't worry about it. No, well, great. There you are then. Fuck, Sam's Club probably has a shit ton. Yeah, yeah probably. My gun, no, neither of them were etched. Well, was poor Sam's shit. Fucking dead, so. What? Yeah. Yeah, no Sam is dead. Shot. How? He's dead as shit. Don't know. Don't know. Figuring it out. I believe he died. He that'll died. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll, something. That'll... Presumably that'll a bullet. Yeah, in my when well, you know maybe that tuberculosis finally fucking caught up with him. Jesus Christ. Maybe he had a, a lethal goiter, or whatever the fuck it was called. Not with the goiter again. Not with the fucking What's goiters. I was just yeah. What's yeah? See, what's that's what we said. Long? It's a growth on your goiter. fucking limb now. Jesus Christ. On my what? On your in your throat. Oh, throat or in your throat. Yeah, I knew somebody was gonna say it. Oh, on the trout. On the trout. On the trout. Oh, you put it on your trout. <laughs> That's offensive. Yeah. She's gonna kick the shit out of me later. Oh yeah. yeah. I am. I am. You're. Hey, you're. Hey, slow. Next time I go talk to the Irish, I'm gonna need you to come through as a translator. As a trout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are they? Have you run into them a good bit, or are they? No, I'm on. I'm on great terms with them. Yeah, because I, I met a lot of them when they first got here. They came to the bar a lot. I helped them out. Uh, good people, yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right. Problem is though, when I went over there by myself and we was having a conversation, I'm just smiling and nodding through the whole shit because I don't, I don't know what the fuck they're saying. Oh, they're the are they like up country thick? They're like proper fucking. I don't know what the fuck they are. Yeah, you know, but none of us know. Only you do. Oh. Well, sorry, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that, that's exactly, the, you know, the shit they say. All right, I'll come translate. It'll be fine. I got a PS. He's like a like a three year old. He really is. Or a dog. Or a dog. Quite often, like a, a dog. A yes. Three year old dog. That's. Right. <laughs> no, he's like a, a thirteen year old elderly dog. In fairness. True. Yeah. He's an old dog. Hey, I was thinking about something. Mhm. Mm Instead of using these two big ass trees on both sides. I think we should all start hitching our horses over there on that on that little patch of grass in a nice clean row. I don't hate that actually. I've been trying to do that, but it gets a little finicky sometimes. Hang on, let me Angela, see. Angelo, try to do that. Where over by the house? A little shed thing. Get your horse and try to hit. Hold on. Oh. 
Holy fuck. Oh. I mean, you can hit on these trees, but I don't know if you can like. No, no, no. So you, so you gotta try. On the on the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trees just very attractive for it, I guess. See, I want, I want them to, you know, for them to be in a row. Yeah, I think the heads are just too small. It could be. I got no. I got no. <laughs> yeah, it's. I don't think it's just too small. I don't think it's gonna work out. Do you know how much I would pay the city to put some fucking hitch posts in there, though? Good God. We should. I mean, I, I guess it's all right. It might just ruin the grass anyway. Yeah, probably, but uh, I don't really care about the grass, to be honest. That's what we got a gardener for. Well, we did. Yeah, yeah we did. We don't got no more. No, really? <laughs> yeah, because the last one, the last one, I don't know what the fuck, what's the deal with her? What do you mean, Maeve? I don't know, she's stupid. Yeah. That's the deal, mostly. Okay, yeah, she's stupid. That's the one the before that got shot. And then the one before that got shot. Wait, which which one was the one? We gotta, I, we gotta put out like an application for gardeners or something. I wonder you, if you they could hazard um, pay. Rob? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, he, he's missing the ear. What do you mean he got shot? What? Huh? What? He, he's missing the ear. What happened? Well, I don't know. Oh, I don't weird. know if it was opening and getting shot. Yeah, weird. You good with, with gardening, Angela? Yeah, how do you feel about gardening for shit? What do you mean? All right, you got two choices, all right? Okay. You either do the gardening or you do the secretary with the pencil skirt. <sighs> you know, I'm pretty confident in my games. Oh my what? god. So no. Pencil skirt may be in order. What's uh, what's our situation with Dahlia? What are you doing with her in that whole fucking business thing? Oh um, did she be really a secretary? I don't. I uh, she came She's to me today. What do you? Mean? That's we... not a very confident start. What do you mean? Why not? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, cause like. You think she could I manage don't... that? She couldn't handle a shot of Rod's raspberry snaps. You're gonna make her handle a fucking secretary work? God fucking what? shit. What? I'm sorry. Oh. Did you just say Dahlia should be my secretary? Absolutely. Might bring oh, y'all a little, little, little closer, you know? I, I cannot even look at you, Pearly. No, do you want to know what happened? After that whole thing on the mountain with Kettleman's gang and everything... I legitimately had to ride around with her and babysit her for four fucking hours by myself. Okay. After she had that sit down where she read off a speech about how terrible I am. She write that like like she like a like a paper and everything. Uh she memorized it beforehand, but yes, it did sound uh, like a a high school performance, such as it was. We know all about performances. Mm. Anyway, what what exactly are you doing business-wise with her? Um, I'm curious. Uh, I'm helping sell tickets, I guess. Sell tickets for what? Uh, the she's doing like a speed dating thing uh, Wednesday the nineteenth, seven p.m. New York time. Uh, she wants ten straight men, ten straight women. Oh, um, straight? What? Yeah, I don't know. She specifically said straight. Oh, that's... Oh, wait, 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 okay. Uh, weird. You don't know if that's gonna go over well. Yeah, that's very weird and also not gonna work out in the crossing, but we... Huh. Yeah, I don't... I don't know why we can't just have 20 participants. Yeah. yeah see, yeah, yeah, work with her, because... Yeah, I'll talk to her about that. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. please talk to her about that. <laughs> thing is is we we had this conversation oh that's in, yeah i don't like that after me and leo fought so i my bell was still fucking rung so i was just kind of nodding and agreeing um yeah i'll talk to her about that um but yeah have you have you sold any tickets 
I'm like, no, she, no. Well, here's the thing. Here, here, here's the catch. She told me she hasn't sold any tickets yet. She's gotten verbal agreement, but she hasn't sold any tickets yet because she didn't know whether she wanted to do paper tickets or sell coins. So and, what? Who's so, what? So, so her plan is the the form of ticket is she wants to buy twenty coins and twenty labels. She wants to label the coins. She she needs to buy coins 20, are, 20 coins and two labels. That that's what she needs because you know. Yeah. You don't need to do them all separately. But uh yeah. So yeah. So she hasn't sold any tickets yet at all. Y yes. That is correct. How much are the tickets going for? I think she's doing I think it's 50. Ooh. And these tickets aren't like like tickets to to like watch which i mean of course you know i, I get that but ain't nobody trying to watch that shit nobody not i'm sorry does she think that there would be viewers of her speed dating event i mean i don't even think there's gonna be participants yeah i don't i'm gonna be honest you could not i don't i didn't uh mm. so so far the only people i've seen her <laughs> speak to as i was alongside her was forest fish uh that one clementine lady oh my and, god uh Flo grant <laughs> Right enough. We. Who, 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 I, what's the last one? Uh, Florence Grant. Yeah, she's um, a cop. She looks like one, right? <laughs> I was she the one who got robbed the other day? She got robbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah she got she got roughed up and robbed, and I had to fix her Good. up because I'm a very charitable, beautiful, oh, dude, lovely bro, surgeon. Bro, bro. When I ran into her, man, she, <laughs> I got nervous. Why? Because she's a cop. Nah, just me and I will have a fucking well that too, but no, nah, me and I will have a bit of a pass with the name Florence. Yeah. So bad name. Fuck. Yeah, it's a bad name. Very bad name. Watch like Maeve. Is that All a bad right, name? Can we... Oh, do you have, Did you know you did you know that Maeve? Maeve is spelled with an N and not an M. Wait, who told you that? What are you talking about? You told me that. No, I said a V. Vave? What? Vave? No, M E A V E. So you said N. Wouldn't that be like, like a No, I button? didn't. You said no, no, no. That's navel. Oh, I thought you said it was pronounced well, like. Ships. How we what do you? Oh my God! They, see, this was a mistranslation of the accent, and us shouting across the room at each other. That's what happened right there. Well, I mean, you know, I feel like there's a lot of miscommunication. I mean, you said you, you know, don't don't spit in wounds, but I, I remember very clearly you saying to spit in wounds. Maybe fucking blow me, because none of you know how to fucking listen to a goddamn sentence at once. You're, you're, I'm going gray. I'm going completely insane trying to coach this family on anything. Not later than Oliver. Listen, uh, Oliver uh, nearly uh, killed Cesare yesterday. Cause there, yeah, because there was a lever. No, no, no. You didn't see. Remember when we went up to the lab, Pearly? What you didn't see was up at the top of that tower was Cesare and Sissy being thrown around like a couple of beans in a mac, like a fucking uh, pot just being rattled oh, yeah. around. No, but I did see Oliver, though. He was having a good time with that He was switch. just <laughs> flipping that switch, yeah. Like a bean, right, Pearly? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> So fifty dollars a ticket. She hasn't sold any tickets. She doesn't have any tickets. She's only gotten verbal agreement because she hasn't wanted to sell a ticket yet because she hasn't decided whether she wants to do paper tickets or sell like commemory coins. And like and her only Look, participants. You, you, you don't feel bad about throwing away after because ain't nobody trying to hold on to that shit. No. The thing is, point is yeah, great. The, the the three people I've seen and talked to about the event, I'm pretty sure there was some fucking weird quiet guy that was rolling around with with clementine or, or, or forest and she got an agreement from forest himself and the the florence lady i don't think you, you could pay anyone to go out with either forest fish or clementine what the fuck is forest fish he's just like this dumb idiot moron who wears green and walks around hey he sounds like this hey is this, this oh he's from time yeah, he's from fucking Valentine. Yeah. He got shot multiple times in the street by James Kelly on more than one occasion as well, so that's... Oh, you know he's coming because you could hear his howdy from howdy. Like 50 feet down the road. That sounds like that, um... What's that sick girl name from, uh, from out west? 
Peaches. No, 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 the other one. I have fucking and peaches, good lord. There's a lot of stuff. The one, the one from a long, long, long time ago. Oh, shit. Uh, fuck, what was it, name? Kimmy? Who? No. Big fucking hat, right? Yeah, yeah big ass hat, yeah. I know who you're talking about, but I, I, I don't remember her name. <laughs> oh, God, I got the hiccups again. <laughs> anyway. Look, anyway, maybe, yeah, maybe maybe the speed dating thing might be good. Okay. I mean, I'm not. I just, don't well, take yeah, this. 50, what's, what's, what's 50 times 20? 200. Oh, 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 oh yeah. No, no, no. That's 50 fucking, some details times 20. Fucking shit. 2, no, it's two, two, 200. No, it's no. a thousand. It's, it's a, a thousand. thousand. Are you into Ooh, Oxford? What is five times two? Ten. I don't know. Ten. Yeah, oh, ten know. plus, and he carried the zeros. Yes, it is. Uh, right. Okay, so there's a thousand dollars. Shut the fuck up, Angie. All right. And, and where where is she gonna do this thing? At? So she wants to. She she's doing this in collaboration with the uh, the Garden of Eden people. How much um, they gonna charge her? I don't remember, but I think she said that her that our expected payout was supposed to be somewhere around three hundred and fifty. Which I don't know where the math is on that. She's doing a whole event for three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, I don't know. She uh, listen. She I'm. She was gonna be her own performer. It's like she was gonna perform herself so that she wouldn't have to spend What's more money to perform? on performance. There's a fucking speed. I don't know. Maybe Wait, host? I thought. I don't know. Yeah, like our, our uh, family's not supposed to be. Oh God. But it's being held in the Garden of Eden. I'm really, really, okay, really spot, trying to not be a cunt about this, but. Good lord. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Well, what is 350? 50 times 20 is 1,000. That's 1,000 bucks at least right there. It's good profit. No, no, no. But you got to pay because you got to pay for the food. You got to pay for the place. You got to pay for... How you much know? is the fucking... Yeah, how much is the restaurant charging her? That's what Look, I don't Garden know. of Eden ain't no cheap shit. No, I, I, no. Yeah, Garden of Eden's probably running her a fucking pound. Damn. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I mean, look. I, at least you're trying to do something, all right? Yeah, I wanna. I mean, I wanna help her with it. Cause yeah, please I, I'm, do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know, I'm. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm more of a assisting guy. I can't come up with business ideas for shit, man. Fucking yeah. Um, no, like, I. I want her to succeed. I want her to do well. I'm just. It, it's hard to do well when your foundation is fucking shit. I think the thing is, is she thinks grand, and grand is hard. Fucking well, she's not fucking the queen of France, so I don't care. Let them eat cake. Oh, exactly. You know she got framed or something? Who got framed? What, Marie Antoinette? What? Marie Antoinette? Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she, she got a lot oh, of she portraits. Like... She got a lot of portraits painted over there. No, like, like somebody, yeah. like, somebody, somebody... Did something but made it seem like it was her, so she would take the fall. Well, I mean, it was the entire court who did it, but yes. Well, I'm not school studies. I didn't go to fucking Oxford. She only broke in. Yeah, there you go then. I mean, technically, we still went. I mean, I say I mean. I mean, we did win, and then we, was, we, the, the, the incident in the dorm, dormitories, but we don't. don't I, far, but. Uh huh. Nice oh, so you was over there with her? No. Yeah, we no. No. Oh, you don't want me to. Pretty you know, sure. The timeline does not quite work out, I believe. Okay. No, it doesn't. Uh-huh. Look, I don't give a fuck. I'm just asking. No, I was very focused on my studies in Oxford. Oh, so were we. Oh, so, so were we. Yeah, I was studying. Mm-hmm. God, I was, I was studying. He was studying. So was studying. fucking hard, yes. You put me to shame. So many artifacts there. <laughs> All right. Well, that's White something, open. I guess. Was there another Green thing she was trying to do as well? Artifacts. Uh, I don't know. She didn't tell me about that. Uh, okay. Lil waking up and talking about Dolly. All right. You know what, Pearly? <laughs> I didn't bring it up. We're talking about business. Listen, the, Santino and Cesare were trying to get me to start a business for harvesting organs and blood from people last night, so... Uh, That's a good idea. You've already see, harvested blood from, these, from us three. 
when we were at the lab. I didn't harvest blood. I took a tiny sample to let. Although we are, I am actually gonna. They, yeah, I have an idea with the blood thing actually. What'd you do with it after you like tested it? What'd you do with it? I, I, I threw it out. It. Yes. No, I didn't drink. I've not. I've not drunk anyone's blood. My God. So be honest. How, how was my blood? You know. Be positive. I know how to taste. A lot of be it. positive. It tastes like be positive. Be positive. Okay. <laughs> All right. Pretty positive guy. I don't know why you tell him to be. I'm positive. very positive. He's incredibly. I did tell you, Angelo. I did tell you yours, right? Yeah. There's something about me being universally. Yes, you are. Yes. Oh, what? Well, there you go. Hi, Danny. Yes, I'm sorry. There's people in the house at this <laughs> hour. That's what I did too when I went through the gate. I see people. I stopped. I thought you went to bed. What the fuck? Good no, I, I haven't slept yet. Yeah, We're talking cool. about the house slums of vampire. Uh, I was also just here like maybe 10 minutes ago and you no one was here. Was we were I here 10 minutes. We've been here for like half a fucking hour at least. At least. I've been here for like 15 minutes. I... Went to the telegram office to send a telegram to Angelo, and then like I ran into this girl who's new to the state and the country, and I gave her like a mini tour around. And then you got her telegram. Well, oh, did you? The first thing I got was a telegram because she <laughs> asked me to write a poster for her because she can't read or write. What? Yeah. What does she need a poster for? To advertise that she's willing to do anything for money within a reason. Oh. Oh, was reason. the telegram? Uh, I need a secretary. Wait, she can't read or write. If you want, I can go get, get her right, right now. Is she still Actually, out there? I'm go going, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go, go get her. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. Do, we're doing an interview right now. So what are we doing? Is this a gardener interview or is this a secretary interview? It's, it could be the gardener. We'll, we'll, I mean, uh, hey, yeah, you, you don't need to read or write, write to fucking yeah. I mean, you don't, yeah, well, you're not gonna read and interpret a flower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not much to read there. Hey, Crow, welcome back. No, this is not the secret 24. Oh, Listen, we're just vibing, flower. guys. So it's just, flower. it's a good stream. Flower. There's people around. Fucking we're flower. vibing, you know? Flower. It's been nice. <laughs> wow. Wow, power. Wow. DJ and hours are back, baby. No one's trying to kill us. Thank you, Angelo. Yeah, we, we appreciate your contribution. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. I, yeah. Uh -huh. Where'd you get that cup? Yeah, where's that cup? I heard that. You take a sip of something. Huh? What? Huh? Where'd you get the cup? I don't got a cup. Nobody's got a cup. You definitely have a cup. I do you not have a cup. Like, yeah, you know, you... No, that's legitimately just my mouth. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 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 Hey, is that me? No. So this is a uh, flick. Flick. Hello. Flick. Hi, flick. Going on, Hi. flick. I uh, not much. I uh, ran into Miss Danny here, and she helped hey, me out. Are you Irish? The... No. Okay. No, pearly. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it's it's all right. I'm kind of used to it. Oh, I'm sorry, flick. We won't interrupt. What do you What do you do? Uh, anything. No, I, was, I was telling you what you should like. What do you do around here specifically? Yeah, anything. Anything. She just within came to reason. State, so but, she doesn't well, really do, do anything. Right you do a backflip right now. Do a backflip. No, that's do not within reason. No. Okay, front that's not not reason. Reason. I'm not limber enough. That's, is that not okay? Well, I guess. Okay. Well, write that down, Pearly. Write that down. Write that down. Write right. that down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See now, if we Don't have a secretary, they could do it for us. Yeah, but see, you can't read or write. Oh, I can't read or write most things, correct? What can you read or write? Yeah. My name. Okay. The flick. Flick, I mean, the, the flick. How long does it take you to write your name? Is it with an F or a PH? Uh, F. Is it yes, with a K or a CK? Both. Both. A CK. Just the, okay. just the one K. Just the one. So which one? CK. Spell your name. Okay. Um, F L I C K. Yeah. There you go. Okay. 
He's a genius. Man, it's up to you. Thank you. Well, yeah, I almost broke the sweat. Boy, are you a boy or a girl? Sorry. Or are you? Excuse not, me? Does it, I don't. I can't tell. <laughs> what like, like I, I respect anything you are. I just don't know what you are. What are you? 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 I almost don't want to answer the question. Answer quickly. Wait, okay. Does it matter? Yes. No. No. Answer. Not really. No. Oh. Absolutely not. Curious. We moving past that. We moving past that. Please. Anyway. <laughs> so don't answer the question, because I mean, so I will if you want me to. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm a girl. Bullshit. Okay, she's a girl. I could have told you that, you fucking moron. Bullshit. Anyway. Then why were you asking, Cheyenne? I just like to verify the yeah, integrity. Sean. Okay. It's Sean to you. Thank you. Hey, Sean. <laughs> Stay flake. Hey, Sean. Yes. What'd you say, Oliver? Don't worry about it. Say, flake. You good with, uh, with, with flowers? You, you know? Can you uh, keep a bush well trimmed? Um, what kind of bush are we talking about? You know what type of bush we're talking about. You know exactly what type of bush we're hey, talking about. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go lie down for a little bit. I'm actually kind of tired. All right, you then. Wanna, you don't want to talk about which bush? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. What the fuck, Oliver? No, we talking about, look, we need a gunner over here. No, uh... Oh, oh, okay. Hydrangeas! I may, I may, may or may not be back in a bit, I don't know. All right. All right. See you All right. Mm -hmm. Bye, Miss Danny. Right. I'll let the bed bug bite. Yeah, yeah. We don't have bed bugs. I'll say that. Yeah, all right, yeah. I, we, we don't. I could find them for you if you did. No, nah, but we don't. All of them with your hands? Do you not bring yeah, bed oh, bugs yeah. into this house? Oh, you meant find them in the house. Never mind. Find them, find them, yeah. yeah. How did you meant find them to bring them here? Yeah, we don't. Plant the bed bugs no, no, no. in somebody else's house for us. Ah. They can do that, yes. They can do that. And then have them pay us to send your services over there to find them. Why the fuck is the medical what wagon the fuck? here? Yeah, wait, why are you... The... Where the fuck is... Hey, the... yo! My coin is... There was a... What the fuck? Who, Who the stole fuck my happened? wagon? That motherfucker's whipping the damn yeah. Yeah, yeah, put it down. Yeah, uh, yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Who the fuck is that? Are you fucking... Are you stupid? Who is this? Uh, it's our own Pearly. It's... Pull your Take fucking your mask, mask down before Pearly shoots you. I'm not... Oh, okay. All right. What are you- you came all the way down the retarded wagon? Yeah. yeah. Really? Motherfucker, I ain't see you in, in days talking about what's going on. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Figured I'd return the wagon. I, uh, found some horses up there. I hitched them to the wagon and brought it back. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You, it was you crazy. coming home or what? Uh, no, I'm going back. Why the fuck you going back for? It's cold as shit up there. Yeah, cuz. Are you taking what down the pillow wall? Job interview? Yeah, I gotta take down hey, the pillow wall tonight. We got this girl on the porch. Yeah, we got attack. no god, man. Yeah, actually, she's a brunette. Go on. I can't keep up. I, I can't. I had another. Too many? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you look like this? His hair like, is too long, man. <laughs> nah, I think the hair is nice, but what's with the, you know, everything? With, oh, going on? yeah. It's just cold up there. Oh, I'm also uh, part mimical now. You what? Part mimical. I've been fucking the mimical. I thought you said there was a pillow wall. Oh, there's a pillow wall between Maeve and I. Oh. Oh. You've been fucking 
the mimical. Is it even a person? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Her name's Anya. Is it Chronicles <sighs> fucking Russian? Well, though, come home. Uh, He's concerned. Flo, please tell the boy to come out. <clears throat> I mean, you, you, I, I, I don't want to rush you, darling. I'm but not gonna lie, I'm sound. learning. I'm learning this. I'm learning the, you know, the way up there. What do you mean the way? The way of what? Well, uh, you know, look at this thing. Oh, oh right, no, 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 no. Thank you. No, you've already. No, yeah, no, no. Sorry about that, by the way. Do you, do you know what you did I wrong? You, I, Are I you, you aware? I told you I have a good shot, though. I don't, you weren't that good. Because you hit me. So you weren't that good. And, and me. Well, well, yeah. I, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hit something. We're in the middle oh, of a job interview, Now that I'm Carlo. here, God damn I actually... Oh, perfect. Right um, it, I actually yeah. have something to give you, Oliver. Now that I'm here. Uh, uh, it's not... No. I'm, it's okay. a smooch! No, no, no. What do you... What do you... What? All right, I gotta go get his at the barber shop. What? Oh, it's at okay, the I'll shop? be here. Okay. Right in the end of you. Don't worry. I'm I'm gonna move my wagon. You're welcome. I thought yeah. I'd get a you know a thank you. Well, you know whose fault was it in the first place, huh? Come on, don't test me. Mm-hmm. Carlo. Oh my god, this fucking guy. Why would I dance? Do you know how to dance? To you know how to dance? Yeah, I know how to dance. You want to get down? Show me. There's no music. Just a little jig. Uh, we can uh, make music. Uh, Ange Angelo? I got I a beat. Okay. She can dance. Oh, yeah, I can dance if I want to. I'm just leave my friend behind. Oh, Come on, we need a gardener. Fuck, fuck dancing. Hey, oh. Oliver. Oliver, you... Okay. Why, why oh. did he punch him? He, he meant that kind of dancing. If the flowers fight back, you know, you gotta... You oh, gotta make sure you okay. Uh, okay, yeah. He didn't mean that. You okay? Oh, good yeah. lords. Yeah. Are you crying? Yeah, like that in a while. Maybe it hurt a little bit. Oh, oh my. Are you gonna die? It could have been much worse. Are you dying? You just wake up from a coma. Do you have that look about you? Oh, does she have quitters? She does. Oh. God damn, really? You've been eating? Yeah, you could say that. Damn. She's gonna live. She's fine. Double cheeked up on a Wednesday afternoon. Morning. It is not afternoon. Wednesday morning. <laughs> it's Wednesday very early morning. Morning. in the morning, my dear. Anyways, um, are you any good at gardening? What? So you just take some some scissors or a knife or something and then cut off some leaves? Yeah. So no is the answer. Okay. Yeah, no. What skills do you possess? To be quite honest with you, none. Oh That's my kind of... god. Well, you can like, I name. can, yes, I can, I can take a letter from A to B. I know those letters. Uh, I can take a package from A to B. Uh, I can, I can pour a nice shot of whiskey or scotch, if that's what you're into. How, how can you tell the difference? Um, the color yeah, and the that? smell. Oh yeah, I guess smell, huh? Yeah, actually, she's right about that one. Yeah. I thought she was gonna say taste. Daddy's well, bad. maybe if I'm feeling. Oh my god! Oh my god! God damn it, Carlo! You, you look. You, <laughs> you should keep it. 
You know what? I like um, it. I, I like it. Is this? Run some pop. What is this? It's just something. Oh, I no. I do not. I you oh. <laughs> So we about to have three motherfuckers with the with the same type of you know, oh, yeah, th and they they all look very very similar as well. Oh, oh, shit. All right, oh. look at them all. Look at them all, Perling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, are you not? Somebody's ultra being busy. No, we're not. Uh, no, this man to my left here is my brother. This man to the right here is my son. I right, well, that explains it. Yeah. Yeah. Usually my hair is not this long. It's but, literally know. just the scars. It's literally the scars. That's all that it fucking per is. Pearly is, uh, Pearly is our father. Yep. yep. There's my oh. boys yep. right there. Well, your grandfather to, to the one on the left. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> But look, if, if you're trying to get Mo you a job behind the bar, you can talk to uh, Miss Sophia at the Blue Pearl. I'm Oliver. I'm Oliver from the from the waist up. You know what I mean? But you too dirty to work. Damn the straight. Bar clothes on. You He's got. Oliver, maybe 17 years ago. What's wrong with my clothes? They're dirty and you stink. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, <laughs> that's fair. Lay it that's out fair. on the table. I mean, Wait, who's I mean, this? I've been on a boat for like three months. I can't read this right so. now. Right, right, right. No, it's, it's Thank fine. You. I'm just, you know, letting you know if you work behind the bike, nobody won't come through Thank if you. you over there stinking up the place, you know? No, I, I understand. I understand. Yeah. Wait, who is That's this? It's, it's, what's it, what's this your name? Is Carlo. Do anything for money. Yeah. Oh. Within reason. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought you said you had a woman up in the mountains. What happened to that? Uh, yeah, there's, just, there's two. There's two up in the there's two up in the mountains. That ain't stopping him. Yeah. Yeah. Look. <laughs> uh huh. Stop it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So do we get a job for for Ricky or no? Mm. I mean, I I have a job I could pay her for. <clears throat> What's that? Mm. Watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So. Uh, yeah. Never mind. I mean, you said you you run errands and whatnot. So of course, I need to enter the medical office and, and tell you to pick up bottles of this or that or whatever else. You know, you'd be able to do that. But he can't fucking read. God she damn it! Well, you tell me what it what smells like, and I'll I'll look for, I'll look for it. I what well, what smells like? <laughs> She's gonna huff ethanol one My time, fingers. and that's gonna be it. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you do, don't sniff all of his fingers. Don't sniff his ear. Or his beard. Ow, why'd you hit me? Oh. This is deserved. Very much deserved. And both of those accounts. Ow. All right, all right. I that don't know. So nice. here, I mean, here's a question. You don't know how to read. Why do you not know how to read? Is this a choice that you've made in your life? Or is this a, a victim of circumstance sort of situation? I guess, I guess the second part is... Okay, all right. So I'll teach you how to read. Well, that's the thing. Oh, five minutes. All right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then you put them to, and you know, etc. Uh, are you are you looking to learn how to read, or is that like beyond I mean, you? I can't pay for the lessons, but I mean, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah. Will you work for free if I teach you how to read? Hmm. What was for what was you? That? Yes, because Miss Danny might give me a a job as well. Oh, oh my god. Who's doing that shit? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Oliver. No, it's Carl. Well, yeah. You know, Oliver, I have a sweater just like this. Pearly, these three are going to be a problem. Would you shut the fuck up so Pearly can have a goddamn meeting, please? I'm not <laughs> having this meeting. It's between slow and her. Yeah. Okay, well, so what? Fucking make a weird ass fucking noises and let a goddamn do it. What, what job is Danny giving you? Uh, she says she's got like a fight place or something and she might need someone to do like coat check and drinks and stuff so i i could do that all right well uh, to give you some perspective on it i'm a surgeon myself and i do run a bit of a private medical practice so i uh, you know ideally I, w I may have a job for you but it does include reading and writing so that would either have to be a skill that you acquire very quickly uh or or you really severely limit your potential of employment with me you know what i mean I do know what you mean. Mm. So 
I could you know, be like you. you. Uh, hold on, oh, Flick. Yeah, yeah. You know how, how you teach a little kid how to read? You, you say shit like you, you write the word dog and a cat, right? But you can do that with her. Just write the, uh, the names of the different medicine and, and the shit that you need. Yeah, like mental methotherapy and shit like right, that. That's yeah. a lot more complicated, apparently, than, than dog and teach cat. you the stuff she needs to know. The important things. Well, I mean, it's here's the thing. If you maybe get started on, on learning to read, because I don't know how much time I have to devote to that, I'm very honest with you, darling. Uh, I can help you along a bit, but if you maybe, you know, get the get the wheels rolling, so to speak, there there might be something I, I can put you to work through with uh, uh, secretary work sort of thing, but you'd have to start it yourself, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so who... How do I find someone to teach me how to read? I mean, that is a good question. They, they got a school Not going at, um, in, in Valentine at the church. I don't know what time, though, but a principal butcher is over there doing that. Wait, they really? Teach, they teach, like, English? I thought yeah, they taught... yeah, yeah, Betty. Uh, I'm I thought they teach how to... God. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I thought no, they no, teach no, you no, how no, to, like... No, 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 but they, they got actual school over there, too. Reading around. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, shit. Yeah, yeah Betty, Betty's running it. You know, they need to they need to fucking advertise that to all the West. Put it in the newspaper or something. How are they going to advertise when motherfuckers don't know how to read? Wait, that's a good point. <laughs> Holy point. shit. Yeah, that's a yeah, very good no point. Holy shit. Well, then they need to start spreading word of mouth, I guess. There is another problem with that. Listen, I slightly. love giving side quests. I'm all so about it, guys. So I don't know how I'd get myself to wherever Valentine is. So you don't have ours. That that is a bit of an issue. Ooh. You know, I do have a shitty horse. I I actually do have a horse. I kind of need to get rid of, to be honest. But to give her the horse, don't you still you still have to like pay the stable right to write up a paper for her? Oh, yeah, yeah. The papers are like a hundred dollars to get it written up. Yeah, hundred dollars. Doesn't horse. doesn't matter the horse, whoa, right? Whoa, whoa, now. It doesn't matter the horse. With the profanity. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Uh, good to <laughs> know. Laura's name is Vane. Good mm -hmm. giblets. That is a lot of money. A giblet? Gib What's a giblet? I don't know. I heard someone in Brown Town say it. It's the, it's the bit in the, the birds that goes in their trout, you know what I mean? Oh. What? Never sure. mind. <sighs> okay. What what was that side for? You don't even know what that side was for. Okay. Uh, it's never mind. Okay. I do actually have a horse. I need to get rid of though. All right. Look, if you go if you go get the paperwork for that, right? You you paid a hundred dollars. Uh huh. And and you hand the paperwork over to her kid. Does she need a hundred dollars? I don't think so. No, no, she doesn't. No. You don't? Okay. All right, no. let me run by the bank because I need to get rid of. I, I, I'll, I sold, I'll, I'll, I'll pay. Gave, I sold my horse to somebody. Yeah, I'll pay a hundred just to get it on my fucking saber, to be honest. Yeah, I'll stay here. I'm gonna come with. Thank you, Miss. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Probably should make sure Maeve's all right. Is is Maeve in the city with you? Yeah, she she ran to the medical office to get some bandages and shit for going back. Uh, didn't come back to the house though. Oh, uh, well, I told her to meet at the theater because I was gonna go there and change and see how my hair looked with my uh, my different outfits. You mm -hmm. know, I I hate that hair so much, Carla. Why? I just hate just that hair so much. It. I, know. I don't want I'll to embrace it. I'll get it cut. I'll get it cut. Ugh. It's kind of nice, though, no? No, it's really not. You look depressed. I look, you look like a what? depressed pirate. What the fuck? I'm just being honest with you. I wouldn't let you walk around with that otherwise. A depressed pirate? Mm-hmm. Henderson's got competition all of a sudden. All right. <laughs> where, you, where are you going to the bank in the stable? Yeah, bank in the stable. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get Maeve. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll swing back by the theater then. Well, I'm going to go to the barber shop now because I'm self-conscious. Okay, okay, wow, all right. I'll see you back at the house then. All right. <laughs> oh, we on some late degen shit, baby. Late, late fucking degen. This is fun, though. Yeah, we're coming up on fucking 11 hours. Oh, my God. I've missed Sloan. I've missed the casual shit. I've missed Sloan. I've missed going around and talking to people. I've missed Oliver. It was good to, um... Oh, my God. I'm getting, I'm getting tired, though. Ooh. It was good to see Oliver again. It's It's been a while since him and I got to, like, just hang around and vibe and, and talk and all of that, so... That was fun. We are going to probably end it pretty soon, though. Here, guys. Yeah, I know. I know. Storm's coming up. I know. I know. I know. I know. It is nice get not getting shot. It is. It's, it's very nice being able to actually RP. Who would have thunk? Hit a fucking thunk it. Oh, oops. I forgot I was going to the bank. I was going to the medical office just like on autopilot. I forgot I was going to the bank. <laughs> God, a hundred dollars for a horse transfer is f fucking obscene. I hate that. Absolutely hate that. I'm in a hurry because the storm's coming. I just want to get this out of the way before the storm. Being serious, Sloan, for too long? I mean, she still is very serious, in fairness. And I will say, I mean, it's D-Gen right now. It's just a couple of us who are hanging around. It's nice. She's definitely a lot more casual in front of, like, Oliver as well. Um, but serious Sloan is going to be the norm during the day and in front of family stuff and all of that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Sloan is, uh, Schlan. Schlan's real down bad on the money as well. You're not wrong. I do want to, I need to take this horse out and make sure there's nothing in the saddlebags first, though. This was my very first horse in the crossing. My very first horse. Ooh. He's cute, he's a little fucking saddler. Oh, another medical bag? Oh, and a hatchet? And a bow. How fun. Time to get money from Cesare. I mean, Cesare's not. I'm supposed to be paying fucking kick ups and shit, dude. I need to get the uh, medical practice off the ground, to be honest. To be honest. There we go. Horse deed. Yeah, I just need to get the medical shit going. and We'll make a lot of money, though. Well, but th the other thing, too, is, like, I, I do a ton of mining and stuff in the off hours, you know? Um, but I couldn't do that during the war because... Dur during the multiple wars, because pretty much every area that you'd go, people would turn up and you risk getting kidnapped and fucked up all the time. It's functional family mining trip? Probably not. I'll be honest, guys. Like, I like going in mining places and, uh, and, you know, and you're paying attention, you're playing the game or whatever, but you flick on a fucking podcast or something in the background while you're mining for a few hours. It's not so bad. It's really not so bad. Silence loan is more scary. True. What's she thinking about? Who knows?
Families do need business going, yeah. It don't really matter. There is. Ah, right. It's not really mm -hmm. the number of it. It's just it's the visual. Okay. So she knows how to count. There you go. She needs some new clothes too. She does. Have her coming in like that, you know? Yeah. You smell like shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, as we've already established. We just want to be very clear on that point. For a couple months. Despicable. Okay. You're ashamed of yourself. I am. Sorry. When's the last time you've taken a bath? <clears throat> Two months ago. You go to the What's tailor this? and you get yourself something that doesn't smell and look like shit. He's not telling you to go buy you, you know, a, a suit. Sloan doesn't right? sniff no, people. What are you talking something that doesn't about? look and smell like shit. Yeah, anything okay. clean. No well, holes how in how it. Many, how much money is in that envelope? You want me to count? I want yes. you to count it. Well, there's a 20, another 20, and a 10. So. And what does that, what does that make? 50. Good. It costs, it's going to cost you $50 if you go to a tailor, say the name Oliver Toscano. We'll give you a deal for $50, whatever you want. I'm not saying you got to do a suit, a dress, whatever the fuck. Just not, not whatever the fuck that is. Ugh. I mean, look at you. Look at you. I just, just you. looked at you. There's no mirror, so I, I can't really look. Look at you. <sighs> I'll take a good long look when I go to the tailor. Let it sink. I'd be even more ashamed. Mm -hmm. Is hey, it, somebody, is it um, a color or nah, something? Nah, it don't fucking matter. No, it doesn't right. matter. Get, get, get a telegram, because... I don't know who the fuck gonna be in touch with it. We're not usually around at this time, or I'm not. And no, I'm, I'm, I'm not usually around, but you, you, you are, right? Yeah, Angelo, meet your new hi. friend, Flick. Hi. It's me. Hello, Mr. Angelo. I'm Angelo. What's your telegram? Uh. Oh my God. How many copies of this do you? She can't read. I gathered that much. So to make sure you know. It's only one copy, so you have to just you just take that down. Oh, you just oh, I'm not okay. Fuck Clerk up. person seemed really annoyed See, when I asked for the first relying, one. So he's relying on uh, other people being able to read and write. Rapid zebras. Okay. Interesting. All right. Yeah, I got it. The zebras rapid. Uh, they can you, be. You they have are. R and Z. Yeah, they can be. Quite fast. About, what is it, 40, 42 kilometers an hour or something like that? The fuck is I a kilometer? I don't know. What the fuck is a kilometer? It's what a, a, it's a kilom is a kilometer. Never mind. Lamidia. I was like, fucking. Uh, Kalagoida. Kala I'm going to bed. All right. Congratulations on your new horse and your new outfit and, and, and whatever else. Thank you, Miss Sloan. Mm hmm. Well, the Saints Crossing. It's all downhill from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll celebrate when you get shot for the first one. Oh, lovely. Uh -huh. I can, I can pop the fairy if you want. No. Can we just get you used to it? <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to call it, guys. I am f uh, almost... I mean, we did a full 11 hours. Holy shit, we did a full 11 hours. That's crazy. Kalazy! <laughs> really making her want to work for the family? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Ugh. Today was fun, though. It was... It was, uh... It was quiet, but there was a lot of shit that happened. A lot of meetings, a lot of information, stuff like that. Yeah, it was a good long run. It felt... Today felt really good. Today felt like we got back into the slow and stuff. You know what I mean? Felt good. 
Um, but yeah, I don't think anyone is probably live right now. Hang on a moment, let me have a look. Let me go have a little look, shay. A little look, shay. It was fun. It 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 was it was yeah. It was very very good to get back in things. Oh my fucking god! All right, so t I was doing so well, and now I'm just. Like, <laughs> I can feel it flagging. I'm so tired. Oh, we'll do. Here we go. We'll send you over to Flicker streaming, I guess. So you can go say hi to Flick. Um, she seems lovely. So that'll be fun. Uh, but yeah. We're gonna be back tomorrow. Stream, I'm gonna be honest, stream is probably gonna be later than it usually is. Uh, cause we were up so long today. And I usually am in bed like five hours ago. But that's totally fine. We're gonna be back tomorrow. More Sloan stuff. More drama. More whatever. Uh, so we'll see you when you see ya. Stay frosty, yo. I'll send a storm to capture your heart and bring you your heart and bring you home even though the landscape stretches like a hot day even though the old man says i have a fool's plan oh despite the distance you will see my Share your heart and bring